Let, let me just stare, let me zoom out a little bit. Hello, welcome in. <gasps> Today, Clause of 09, the sequel. Yesterday had such hits as a necrophiliac rapist murder pedophile and a, a guy jumping off the building to impress us, leading to us getting YouTube famous. That was actually one of the better endings. And, and also a school shooting. That, th thanks, Jeffrey. So, <laughs> oh, and how can we forget the multiple you endings of white supremacists taking over a school <laughs> and failing in every way, it, except for the time they killed Jeffrey. <laughs> Hi, hello. Thank you so much for the nine months. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, what's the chat baby called? What's the chat baby called? And Peel11, thank you for just seven months. Hello. How you doing? Oh, yes. And also the lying about being molested leading to a $500,000 settlement. And the fact that one third of the faculty was pedophiles. Seven months of Mako makes me feel lucky to have found you as you've really been a joy to watch. Aw, cheers. Thank you, Rex. Thank you so much for seven months. Hell yeah. But yeah, hello. Tell me about your chat baby name. You've been pregnant. It's it's born. The afterbirth is everywhere. You gotta tell us. Just join with the fun. Yeah, so this game is great. Let me show you some clips that people got from yesterday. Let's let's do a little looky do. As as for me, uh it's a it's a Saturday, so I was planning on doing work, but instead it kind of became a bit of a Marco the Therapist day. Which, like, you know, honestly, I do enjoy these days sometimes because I get to catch up with friends. I do all sorts of fun conversations. But there were some people that needed my help, including family and friends. So I spend most of my day inside just, just talking to people. Yeah. Unless Kyle is our day, it's a Kyle V2. Kyle is a good name. I wish him to drink monster and punch holes in walls. Except he does it in a nice setting. Like a professional break room. You know, you know, like the places where you, where you pay money to break stuff. Because you've broken the cycle of, of family violence. And are a good father. Now grow him up like me. No. You're breaking the cycle of violence, right? Like you... Right? And thank you, grateful LOC for the fuller. And also, Miley Vi, thank you so much for the seven months out. That was during the BRB screen. Thank you so much. Yeah, 2009, all over again. Cycle hot. <laughs> yeah, just, just make it worse. I didn't have enough trauma. My children must suffer. But, but, but no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. The sins of the father shall not be passed unto the child. Same thing as the sins of the mother. What was I doing? As it is 7 p.m., so I did forget. Uh, I was going to Google something. Heck yeah. More 2009 gonna... family-friendly fun times. I am Patty Rickery. Things under two months. Hell yeah. Clips from yesterday. Oh, clips from yesterday. Right. Right, 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 right. Thank you very much. Good soon. So the clips I was going to do, I'll also get some music in the background. Let's do some... There we go. And submarine there. Thank you so much for two months. New model to the ninth. Uh, no, so new model is still a bit of wait. There's still a little bit of wait for the new model, as there was some redraws necessary for some of the, re the, the rigging to look as great as it could be. 
But don't worry, Jets is right on it. She's finishing up. And once Ham has it, he'll be ready to finish the model he said he wants it to be as, and I quote, as sexy as possible. So good job, Ham. So playing Project Zombie, nice. Yeah, Jets is extremely talented. All right, where's the clips? All right, so yesterday's stream was fantastic. If you missed the first game yesterday, let me go through and dem. Oh, okay, yes. Let me let me go through and demonstrate. Where is she? I also, I dislike how Twitch does the, where is it? I dislike how Twitch does the featured clips only thing like automatically. Cause I, I keep forgetting like, wait, where are my clips? So if we go to top, just, just take her. Oh god. Can you you can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I uh, thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh thanks. Coach. Stop looking. Now please. You know something. He's a great, oh, great god. horrible I like person. Female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students too. Okay, I'll stop the you don't stop believing. Like oh like god, she's sexy. sixteen. She is sixteen. You are saying this to a sixteen year old in the girls' locker yeah. room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. <laughs> so yeah, if you missed the context today, this is the context. Let's every option, every option is horrible. Every person is horrible. Some more horrible than others, like Animal Farm. But it will be fun. But uh, I, I'm obliged to, unlike anything I would ever do, put a content warning for once again. Literally every, everything. Literally everything. Fuck T-Mobile. Also agreed. I paid for a T-Mobile eSIM in the US that they said was unlimited. And guess what? It didn't fucking activate. And they said, yeah, actually, you need to call us. You can't just go through the app to cancel. You need to call us. I'm like, what the fuck? Because I couldn't call them because I was in Las Vegas and their sim didn't work. How am I meant to call you? And so I was like, well, fuck this. And now I'm going to have to call them likely tomorrow <laughs> to say, hey, I spent $80 on this unlimited internet sim just to be in Vegas and it didn't fucking work. And I also couldn't call you up. <laughs> Yeah, just got, I hate, I despise having calls be every business interaction. The cool is, although yes, I, I can, you know, riz up the phone operator. But also, I will forget what transpired in that phone call because I have bad memory. I need to write shit down. You know what isn't written down? A phone call. That's sound waves. <laughs> yeah, dementia. So that means that I, I lose track of so much shit because everyone's like, hey, you want to call? Want to call? Hey, can I call you? Can I get, call you? I want to arrange a call. I need to arrange a call at this time. Would you like to call? Have you considered calling? I'm like, no. I want a textual record of everything that I can look back on for no reason at certain points of my life. And also because I don't want to call. I just, let me put the music back on. Dear God, why do business bros want to call for everything? Is it just to like bluster people into bad deals verbally so that they feel pressured because they know that most people are going to be pressured by a guy that's more charismatic and confident in a phone setting? A German guy that steals minds has to get, I find everything that I think of this dude though. Let me see if I can find it. Guy with finger to his temple. There's a really good. There's a. There's a really good. Where is it? Oh, 
Okay, does anyone know the image of the guy that is like, it's, it's like really weird lighting. And he's like, he, he, he's like, and it's like, you're now breathing manually. Or like, he, he's, he's now te twisted your testes. I, I, I love that guy. What was dementia? Hey, Mark, do you have five bucks you owe me? I'll check my textual records. And if there isn't tough shit enforcing that loan. You have a call and it could have been in text email to one of them. Exactly. Yeah, you should call us Steve's Lonely. The guy tapping head name? No, not that one. It's a... An older gentleman wearing glasses. Let me see if I can... Older man wearing glasses. I feel like Google search has become so much worse. Yeah, Google search is so much worse now. It used to be way better. Not dying, no, not, not him, not, not hide the pain, Harold. You don't email because they never get back to you in time. That's true. That's because they always want polls. And that's bullshit. I think the people who want records of everything would appreciate emails. Because you can just like come back to emails. It's great. You can't come back to a call. The call is over. And when the call is over, I have forgotten every single thing that has happened in that call. Like, okay, how about you guys? Do, do you experience the same thing? Because I swear to God, it drives me insane. Also, let's go through and welcome everyone. Hello, cutie. I'm moving great library. Aster, Emsols, Jetpack, Kyra Kulevsky, Monsters, Mars, Cooks, Meltberry, Pug, Tazen Tactics, Kazman, Lexi, Gowich, Towns, Hello, Peter 11, Digital Sarcasm, Full and Dreadful, Rex, Gmanx. Noble Moose. Ephelin. Patty Rickery. Submarine Bell. Postmodern. Miley Vi. Zulfix. Element Destroyer. Monkey. Spaghetti. Shin Beetle Rider. 004873 Kayuk Tuk Iron Legion Teddy 007 Net Exile And I believe we are caught up Nice And thank you for having your homework, I really appreciate it And Hoods, I'm sorry Hoods, hello, I'm sorry I, I didn't mean to forget a student. Your teacher is just unfortunately very forgetful. But you know what I didn't forget? Okay, actually I did forget, I did forget. Hello Fresh got delivered to my tour today. And I forgot, so it was it, it was out in the rain. But you know what you know what they gave me? A packet of chips. I, I got some simply pure deliciousness. Potato, sour cream, and chives chips. That that's just like extra. They they they, they, they give freebies now. Apparently, eat them now. Right. Say less. Let's see. Let, let, let's rank them. That's a good crunch. Yeah, there are, oh, that's why they taste like that, okay. So there are 25% less fat than regular potato chips. They have a servings per package of 4.3. There is 18 chips in a serving. 
You know, surprisingly, that's actually pretty reasonable for serving. Like, usually they're like, yes, yeah, so two chips is one serving. So that is 136 calories, 568 kilojoules. That's not bad, actually. Like, the 18 chips, that's, that, that's, that's not bad. Your cat ate your dog, which ate your homework. Okay, now you need to swallow a fly. And I, I don't know why, but you gotta do it. Oh, I, oh, okay, this isn't 2009, but. How can I survive with the chips if it is my daily new caloric intake? Ideally, you aren't surviving off of chips. As. I, I don't think there's like any nu nutrition. I, I think it has probably negative nutrition. It is still junk food. Ideally, you eat something like this, which if we go back to grandma's fax machine for a second. You left off here. 7,000 followers. I should put that in title. Seven K, thank you so much. I, I I really appreciate it. This is it's still weird seeing like these numbers. I'm just like, what the fuck? So thank you everyone, both old and new, for your support. I was actually looking through the mod applications today, as you know, we didn't forget about them. We're just being very methodical and deliberate with reading them. Again, no one, no one say who applied. Don't don't worry. We will evaluate everyone's applications equally. But those people, it was like they checked the follow age, and like we're, we're doing like pulling all the stats, doing a full FBI background check. No, not really. But doing a doing a full background check in terms of Twitch stats. And I looked at it. and It was like January. I was like, damn, we got some we got some new ones that are really eager. And then I looked at the month. It's November. It's... It's November. I'm in physical pain. So, <laughs> congratulations. A lot of you are very lovely significantly around people I, I don't think there's a good way to even say that is there you remember when the twitch thing was how do you just remember the month I what, what do you mean I, I we can inspect everything Alcatus thanks for the follow welcome in okay okay don't don't clog up the chat with the stream elements but you can just click. You can you can just click your profile. You can just click your name, but it brings it up. Hi, a dragon. You're welcome in. Sorry, we're too lazy. Okay. I'm local. Welcome in. Thank you so much. Yahoo. <laughs> but yeah, seven thousand. Thank you all so much. Now. Uh, there's, there's also this little, like, look at this little fellow. An opossum on the field about the 15-yard line. He was not happy about being escorted out of the stadium. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad that guy had that stick with the thing on. Has Pork let him in? Let him in. He deserves it. He is a cute fellow. I hope he's been inoculated against rabies, but he is a cute fellow. And Polychrome that are into center, welcome in. Yeah, he wanna do sport. Put him in, coach, put him in. Hiya, Thomas Polinski. That person looks pissed. Yeah, American possums just look angry all of the time. It's incredibly, like, every face they make, every frame of this is screenshotable. But they just look so angry. Like, wait, for any Americans in the audience, of which I imagine there's, there's like a, a considerable amount. 
I, are, are they like this? Like, I, I hope they're not, I hope they're not sad and angry all the time. I hope it's just like a, like a resting bitch face situation. And paratacks are going to rip to hell though. Rome the Rubik's is a state of possum complex. Very true. You should be a lawyer. <laughs> Mom dragging me out of bed at 11 a.m. I... Wake up earlier. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Your mother doesn't have to bring you up. You can use alarms. And a honey bucket, meal lover, and peck spitter is welcome in. When they see you, they're like, okay, so just don't like people. They play dead. Oh, right, the, that movie, that, that movie from a little bit ago, like a couple years ago, uh, what's it called? Yeah, okay, see, look, I was trying to really, really hard find that. Over the hedge from a couple years back. The, the possum. The po where, where, where's, where's the possum? Yeah, there they are. A couple years back. Yeah, a couple years back. Where, where you was released. Never mind, never mind. Ignore, disregard. Bruce Willis, is it, wait, Bruce Willis was... Oh, wait, Steve Carell and Bruce Willis, that's right. I love this, because he, he looks like Mr. Beast. For, for the kiddos. He, he's, he's doing the, the Mr. Beast thing. Exactly. Beautiful. Yeah, two th it, right now, for all intents and purposes, it is 2009, 2006 is only a couple years ago. In fact, let's, let's get into the American mood. Gary time. <gasps> Hello. I am from California. I drink pumpkin spice lattes and and say like a lot. I do that already, but I more. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, no, no Californians. Okay, it's very true. I, I don't like Californians. Have you had pumpkin spice before? I did try it. It's not a big thing in Australia, but they did have it like, I think this year and last year. And so, Pumpkin Spice Latte was thing in 2009. That's a good question because I don't believe Starbucks was really in Australia in 2009. For good reason, because they tried to expand here and fucking bombed. The only reason Starbucks exists in Australia now, so if you go back to Starbucks, the only reason Starbucks exists now is to essentially be a dessert drink place, like a bubble tea place, or like a gelato place. It does not exist to be a coffee store. It is there for internationals to get like a little taste of what they're used to and as a dessert drink place because the coffee sucks and is overpriced and it's huge and full of sugar. Even then, all of the drinks have reduced sugar compared to their American variants. Get packets of powder you put in hot water for pumpkin spice. Ooh, that does sound nice. They're here in 2007. Okay, well, I was still very rural at that time. On the topic of pronunciation, in Discord earlier. Can you pronounce source? Source. And no, I, I don't differentiate between source, the condiment, and source, the point of information that it came from. Source. Oh yes, high fructose corn syrup. Incredible. And, and horrible. It tastes really bad. It's incredibly noticeable in a lot of the American stuff I tried that they used milk powder and everything and high fructose corn syrup very cute accent thank you it's adorable glad you think so tomato sauce and image sauce same thing because Australians have no hard R and we instead have a invasive R. I think I think that's the term, right? Like an invasive R. So when Americans say, let's let's go to Google and let's say drawing pronunciation.
Drawing. 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 British derived Commonwealth countries like Australia that are not rhotic languages say things with an invasive R. So it is drawing. Draw ring. Whereas Americans say draw ing. Australians have an invasive R halfway through the word. Yeah, we were British, but we survived. I don't say draw in New Zealand. Well, congratulations. You also say chup. I will die on the hill of drawing. <laughs> They also pronounce Sutter Sutter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so Amer do, do Americans really say solder? Hiya, Milk Apocalypse. And Beaker, uh, welcome in. Oh, it's Hags are cute. That's just universal. Thank you. That's very sweet. No, no, solder? No. Is there a right in it? History of Australia is what it is. It is. But yeah. Uh, Commonwealth countries say solder. It's not solder, the L is silent. Yeah, and it's aluminium, not aluminum. It's aluminium. Hi, Bevis Monster. Do you like bucklet bib bookies? I. I assume you do mean chocolate chip cookies, unless this does refer to something else. In, in which case, yes, I, I do like. Bocklet bib bookies. Tastes very good with milk. There, there is an age limit of, at the very least, 13. <laughs> as long as you clear that, and once again, don't joke about it, Twitch will literally ban you, that's not a joke. How is the American bread? Very weird. Like, American bread, if you go to it. American bread is sweet. So there'll be stuff like this, like Wonder Bread. I did try Wonder Bread. This shit, I'm, I don't think is actually bread. I think they're lying. It does, it does not taste right. Like this doesn't taste right. This doesn't taste like bread. This tastes like cake. It was so, so weird. Twitch can suck on my pee pee. Uh, well, hopefully you're old enough for that. I'm a courier, welcome in. Pretty awful cake. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, American bread is sweet. Fruit snacks sometimes with cake frosting and a sandwich of white bread. That is the most American thing I think I have heard. Good job. Neck, welcome in. And a Google, hello. Try to think when it's called the wonder. I, I assume it's like a wartime thing, right? Like that's what I would have, oh my god, that, okay, that is very cute. And Zigzagoy, welcome in. Cake paper. <laughs> Rather than doing sugar to kill small animals. Amazing. But yes, I also tried Hershey's again. And for the Americans, the rest of the world is not joking. It does taste like vomit. You were just used to it. It, it. That's not a joke. Americans just are actually used to the taste of vomit. That's that's not an exaggeration. It is butyric acid because Hershey's was made with off milk, and people got used to the taste in war times, so they kept it. American bread isn't classified as bread. Yeah, no, it's like cake. Same thing with like Subway in Ireland. Subway is not classified as bread, it's classified as cake. I can't unassociate Wonder Bread with him. I don't understand that reference. I want to know a real chocolate, and there are a bunch of different dialer chocolate brands. They kick us. Yeah, so if it's like British chocolate, it's generally pretty decent and close to Australian. It still tastes good to you. Yeah, that's because you grew up with it. 
Is this why Americans are more likely to have a vomit fetish? M maybe. That, that would unfortunately make sense. It's just different. <laughs> Y'all just don't want to accept both kind of chocolate can be good. Well, no, it's you've been Stockholm syndromed. Like, like this is this is the joke about Nintendo players will justify anything, even if the controller popped out razor blades. They would ask where they are in the next version. Like you have been conditioned into thinking this tastes good from birth. It it's for the rest of the world. It is horrific, and it's like seeing an abused child. Again, legitimately, it tastes like vomit. If you look at the FDA allowed limit to hot dog, you get love Hershey. What does that mean? Well, I, I assume American meat standards are not that great. Because I've seen like the, the big chickens that are mostly water and, and hormone. Tell me a sweet tooth dies. Also very fair, you do get less Hello, of a sweet Michael. tooth the older you get. Hi, Ishfloof. Thank you so much for six months. How you doing? There's a guy who was a little too into Wonder Bread and had his commission turned down by... Okay. A guy turned... Like... Shad man of all people turning down someone is insane. I will not Google that as that is 100% not safe. But... Amazing. Have you tried lint? Yeah, so lint is a very common one in Australia. It's it's nice chocolate. It's not Australian, but we, we do eat a lot. We also have plenty of Cadbury, but even then Cadbury is just cheap. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like vomit. It's just cheap and very sugary. Real chocolate is like the dark chocolate stuff or my personal favorite brand, Whitaker's. This is made in New Zealand. It is actual cocoa butter and cocoa powder from actual beans. And they say how much is in it on each block. It is really, really good. If you can get this imported, this is not even like a specialty brand. This is just like a regular brand here. It's very, very good. It's very well made. Like, please try it, please try it. it th this is a very good balance. The dark chocolate is also good. Yeah, pretty much everything except the... I mean, I, I don't like oat milk. So, that one. Cold to be worst could be hydrogenated chocolate. Hydrogenated chocolate. Hydrogenated chocolate. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, so the cheapest stuff. Right, so. Hydrogenated fats. So I, I assume that, yes, they, they bloom a lot more. Yeah, the chocolate fat. As it happens with different ones. Yeah, when you leave it out, temperature changes. That's why chocolate is very hard to ship because that has to be temperature controlled. $15 for Whitakers. It is worth it to try good chocolate for the first time in your life if you're an American. And Jo Mama, welcome to stream. Nordic licorice. Nordic licorice, I am curious. Oh, I, I think I have tried this. It's, it's actually really nice. And as a nine, welcome in. Yeah, a uh, clear again. Her body could not take anything in in the U.S. Cleo could not have five guys inside of her. Cleo could not have anything inside of her. She was dying. It also goes with ketchup because the first time trying non-American ketchup. Tastes different. Yeah, catch up. I remember being very sweet. Wild Seven and a full for now. Welcome in. Hate licorice so much. 
That's that's fair, but I feel like a lot of it's based on shitty licorice as a, as a child. Like, your, your taste buds do change to appreciate licorice the older you get. I just never what a burger in Vegas. I had Shake Shack. And a lot of Mexican food. Because, okay, again, Mexican food in the, U in the US is so good because, well, Me Mexico is also America, just not the United States of America. So it was lovely. Mexican food in Australia, like, our Taco Bell is so bad here. Like the, the Taco Bell Cantina is so nice. The, the options you have at Taco Bell, it's actually decent. Like I'll say it's cheap. It's not incredible Mexican food, but it's it's nice. I like it. It's 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 fast food, but like you can appreciate it. In Australia, so Australian Taco Bell is overall much worse. We don't have the beefy five layer burrito. We don't have Baja Blast. We don't have any of the sauces like Diablo sauce. There's there's nothing. This this is basically it. Except the cheesy gordita crunch was a limited time only thing. The only good item we have is the crunch wrap supreme. There's no extra salsas. Baja Bless is illegal. Wait, what? Wait. The fuck is in it? Crack? I. Baja Blast illegal. I wait. You have fucking bromine? I drank that shit. Why the fuck is this in the soda? Why is there brominated vegetable oil in fucking soft drink? What the fuck is wrong with your, like, standards? Oh yeah, and Tea Club, it, Gus, Guzman is decent, but it's still not, like, incredibly authentic. It's just, like, it's just alright. It's not incredible, but it it does the job, I suppose. And also Wild Sevens and Gmo, welcome in. And and Faint Thumb, hello. <laughs> and Adventurous, welcome, welcome. Did you explain why that's a problem? Br bromine is incredibly bad for your lungs. Is this the cock song? Do Americans really consider this the cock song instead of just Mr. Brightside? I blame gamers from South Park for winning the shit, and maybe Warcraft code red and blue. I am now terrified to consider what the red and the blue is. Like, you just have, like, fucking cobalt. <laughs> you don't breathe it, you drink it, but still, you, you shouldn't have this shit. Let's see. Bromine works by directly irritating the skin, mucous membranes, and tissues. It builds up in the body and leads to memory loss, skin, and nerve problems. Kona. Yeah, that, that is true. Australia has really good Asian food, Middle Eastern food, Mediterranean food, and Brazilian food. We don't really have Mexican food. There is Guzmani Gomez, which ironically is an Australian chain that also then went on to Japan for some reason. And a coffee, yes. Australia is the coffee capital of the world. We have dethroned Italy. Italy is actually surprisingly bad at coffee in the modern day. They, they never evolved. They're, they're purists who believe that the traditional way is the extreme, like the best way, absolutely. So they never improved. It's like discovering fire and, and saying, no, fire good, engine bad, for the rest of history. You'll only be claiming you invented flat whites now too. Australians invented a lot of the good coffees. 
Yeah, they also do the same with pizza in America. Americanized pizza is actually really decent. It's, it's a different thing, but it's also very good. They <laughs> took all their baristas. Yeah, well, uh, Italians did have a massive uh, immigration to Australia. So they, they set up cafes, and that's why Starbucks failed, because we already had an entrenched good coffee culture. It's funny that under the daily recommended dose of bromine, I, I can't imagine there should be any dose of bromine. <laughs> Tech Sodi, welcome in, how you doing? Yeah, it becomes better when you put more on it than two basil leaves and a, 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 the teensiest slice of mozzarella. They built our early. Yeah. American pizzas are in front of God. I will agree with you on the Chicago deep dish, though I would love to try one. This, I am 100% sure, is an affront to humanity, but it also does look good. Just not as a pizza. Like, this is the only time I'll consider it being called a pie, because that's basically just a pie. Yeah, it's like a, it's more like a lasagna with, with breading. Yeah, it's a pie masquerading as pizza. It's in Illinois and they're awesome. Interesting. Full of lives and bees, welcome in. It's one of soup in a bread bowl. I do love cob loaf. Like, do, do Americans have this? Co co cob loaf. Yeah, the ship. French onion dip and cheeses in the middle and you break off the bits and you, it, it's delicious. Cobbler is incredible. Panera does that stuff. Oh, right, you have like the chain things, right. I mean, so much coffee is because they're really big in the cafes. Yeah, yeah, Australians love coffee. Like, tons of people I know have just have an espresso machine at home. Like basically everyone gets their coffee from a cafe. They they don't do drip coffee. You you go to a cafe or like you make it at home with an espresso machine. And only like the older, older generation, like my grandparents, use uh, powdered instant coffee. Like Makona or Nescafe. Which is still better than American drip coffee. Despite being freeze dried. America doesn't have bread bowls, they have cake bowls. Touche. Yeah, yeah, so, so Nescafe is this one. So it's like the freeze dried stuff. It's, it's serviceable. It's not incredible, but it's all right. I was just amazed that Americans like really love drip coffee like so, so much when it's, it's not that good. Just getting some messages. Ah, nice. I need to cut back on my Starbucks and takes thirteen dollars. Why? How? Just, just make coffee at home. Just get an espresso machine, some beans. I like American foods because you got all the sweetness I need in my life. Thank you. But as as far as sugar goes, I'm definitely like a one or two teaspoon type of person. I really try to limit my sugar intake because it's not good for you. All workplaces, yeah, like they, they all have the, the four-year-old tin of Nescafe coffee. It's, it's, it's kind of congealed, like, like a little bit. It's like really weirdly congealed. It's got like a little bit of a crust. But it's, it's there. If you hate yourself one day. It's because we need to drink it quick for our quick lives. You spend 90% of your time driving though. As a Starbucks barista, McDonald's has better coffee. Also, yes, McDonald's does have better coffee than Starbucks. It's more authentic, it's more reasonable serving sizes, and it's less sweet. You know what America does have? America does have, again, fantastic Mexican food. 
from trucks. Ugh, I miss it. Oh, I miss it. They also have guns. They also have guns. Guns are, guns are pretty cool. As long as they aren't shooting people. <clears throat> the server the guy that put a face is worth 43. Did you just like whack him with the tin? That's great. How many of those interning lab? Yeah, so like in a lab setting, they're probably only gonna have uh, the, the tin of Blend 43. And Lucas Ipsum, welcome in. The southern states have those things. I do not care for New York Mexican. Yeah, the, okay, that, um, that's that's very fair, actually. Yeah, as long as you don't use them for their intended purpose. Because killing people is not a good idea. It's a lot of paperwork. If you're a federal agent, which I'm not. So yeah. And New York has really good pizza. God. God, I want to try New York pizza. Like, just, it's cheap. Do you know how much the slice of pizza was in Vegas? Like, $8. There was like $8 slices of pizza in Vegas. It, that's fucked. That's, that's just bullshit. I'm pretty sure that that would be considered a war crime against Italians. For a slice. For a singular slice. Casinos are a ripoff. Unless you're gambling, in which case they will throw free shit at you in the hopes that you will camp there. Kill a crocodile, welcome then. A slice of pizza here is like two, three bucks. Oh god, that's so good. That's so good. She in New York to drive does buy a slice. Yeah, but unfortunately I could not keep catching plane rides to New York to get my pizza. And I also do not have a Costco membership. That that would be nice. Hang on, is is Cleo still live? I just gotta She's been live for seven, she's been live since 3 a.m. It's it's 8 p.m. She has COVID. <sighs> well, I hope she's okay. I do worry about it. I'm in the Vegas, but ever look at the fat Okay, look, I've seen it. It was just terrifying. I didn't go inside. Live 10 hours left of it. They got back on the grind. Oh, uh, how I worry. Philadelphia called Big Ass Pizza. That does, I do love me a Big Ass Pizza. Okay, she just died. Maybe she'll go to bed. And Max, damn it, welcome to stream. But yeah. I, we, we love Cleo. I hope she's okay. Because, Jesus Christ, she should be resting. Yeah, she can handle 17 hours of streaming, but not a single piece of American food. I should order a clearer pizza. No, I, I think I should order her to go to bed. $75 for three pizzas and two garlic beds. Jesus, that's a bit. But then again, I do pay like $30 for pizza sometimes, so. And Behamoka, welcome in. She's coughing and she's like, oh my god, Cleo. Oh, no. Don't make me pull up the image. Don't make me put out like another fucking silver alert. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. She has been working when she should be resting. Please direct her gently to the nearest bed with a cup of warm cocoa and a pack of digestives. But also she is an adult, but, but Jesus. Demon that, I will. I will right now.
There we go. She's been DM'd. She sounded delirious when I checked in earlier today. And that was hours ago. But anyways. Yeah. That's that's the update and everything. There's a cute possum. Um we can now play Class of 09. You guys ready? The second one is gonna be just as deranged and apparently a little longer too. And now we're extra American looking. Mr. Wife would be proud. Obligatory again. Fuck Mr. White. He was a bad person. And fame bomb. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, time for the re up. Alright, we're starting. Here it comes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, this is gonna be awful, but I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, there is an option to go outside. Just quits the game. Yeah, he fucked up a single bombing. It's a shame. And Zinda, welcome to stream. Ted Kaczynski is rolling in his grave. I, I love how it's it's just like this beautiful piano. At, as complete contrast to the sheer mental illness we're about to witness. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Honey, you got a big storm coming. I love that video. You can shop at six stores on just one. Hiya, Dutchie. Yeah, it's like what I always study in Philadelphia. And then, welcome to stream. How you doing? Kaczynski died, wait, really? Oh wait, shit, he did. The Unabomber will never be minor bomber. And Krakenism, welcome in. All right. Let's see, the gang ruined high school. I, I know he was a math professor and also involved in MK Ultra. It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Ooh, how's Almost the as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was oh. that bad. It was just really standard. Other oh. girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. Yeah. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. I'll do my best, Nicole. Chat, we can save her. She is savable. She's not savable. She's not savable. Hi, the slide is uh, the hey, boy. Welcome in. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? Oh yeah, we should probably. The volume is just a little loud for me, but that's okay. There we go. I can fix it. You can't fix him. No one in this game deserves to be saved. And Chaotix, welcome in. Remember, if someone's this horrible. You don't have to keep talking to them unless you're literally in high school. I, at that point, recommend therapy and 
back away slowly. Hi, I'm Mulkfire. I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something. They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? No. Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm going to miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. But that's oh God, that's promising. You Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. Her heart See, is now not I in feel it. better. This is why we have friends. Yeah, we're really white. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? Fuck off, Crispin. That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh, nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns. Oh, God, like the little stuff. beard tilty you mean what, games? Oh, those ones. It, it's not even, like, games. It, it's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this. Yeah, you did have to explain what an app is was an back app then. Is make you fuck off and kill yourself? <laughs> um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way yeah, too much in the morning. They, they There's are. no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? I totally what dated Chris. I would not date a I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day, or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? <gasps> okay, our first decision. Fantastic. Nicole would love Twitter. Nicole would hate Twitter. I think Nicole hates everything. There is not a single thing she likes except drugs. And a little bit of Jekka. Crispin reminds you of your first boyfriend. He's very... <laughs> yep, Choice is about to get super normal for some reason. Alright. Let's, let's go to the mall. Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, no. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle. Oh, they geez. might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI because you're so... Normal. Bitch, I can help myself just it. as much as you do. I just have better shit to do. Oh okay? my god, it's okay. Not how it, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. I Why never actually steal stole shit. You don't steal twice in the same trip? The only people here is us and some dad buying sketchers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. <laughs> How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the it's already a lot. I am vote now. Welcome in. Uh, incredible. Way. Steal a ten dollar shirt or steal a CD in two thousand and eight. Fucking Windows ninety eight. Game looks kind of concerning. Once again. The content warning is everything. Pass or pass, these are children. Let's, yeah, let's be cool. Let's steal a CD. I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you what expect? What is FYE? Acknowledgement of the alphabet. Don't you have the songs on your iTouch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Yeah, look the at cool my kids at iPods. Who's gonna want to look at your CD collection other than you? The, the less cool kids had MP3 players. See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along, I have no intention of fucking them in the first ah. place. That's genius. Why is Flaming Lips in the M section? Wait, what is Flaming Lips? Shitty. Okay, I'll give it a try. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 oh, seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what bands we like. Oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. Yeah, what the fuck, Jacka? College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. 
Oh my god, that was such a rush. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo, do you? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a single person say stereo without yeah, dad like, in front it, of it. Yeah, it's very much oh, like a yeah, dad thing. Stereos are for old people without iPods. Yeah, ever end I think up the old picture of the guy in the chair. Ew, I don't want to think about being old. Yeah, I probably kill myself before that happens anyway. If you do, can you like leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it too? Jack. Yeah, what are friends for? Yeah, cuz my mom was telling me about the Zodiac killer and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. <laughs> oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my god, yeah. It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. Oh, I'll probably god. say that about every girl he kills. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill someone else. I get that. The, the Zodiac killer is there for that? No, we're just hot. These are hot girl problems. Totally. Should we leave before we get caught or? Yeah, let's go. Ted to Kaczynski is now. the <laughs> Unabomber. Oh, oh fuck. Here. Looks like the jig is up, girls. Oh god, is this cop? Caught over stealing a 1299 CD. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? Michael back. She's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price yeah. label and security tag still on it? She collects, ah. right? Yeah, yeah, they lose yeah. collector's value if you mm -hmm. take those mm -hmm. off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. It fell in. Flow with the baker one. Okay. All right, all right, let's make a run for it. He just has a baton. Come on, what? We have a runner, free! Oh, fuck! God damn it! Oh my god, oh my god, no! He actually fucking shot me, what the fuck is wrong with you? Maybe now you'll think twice about breaking the law. You shot five bullets, so she'll think twice <laughs> Could have been less, but I find with my Moment. eyes closed. A little inside challenge oh, at the precinct. What? Are you actually fucking insane? You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. Oh, oh. I want to fucking kill my wife! Oh, oh my God. fuck. <laughs> Shut your mouth before I blow your fucking brains out on the tile floor! Oh, no, please don't. I'm sorry. Now that's more like it. I'll call you girls an ambulance. One sec. Okay, I, I, I like the, the new scenes. But yeah. Do you want to go to my party this Saturday? I don't know. It's just kind of oh, tricky shit. for me lately. Like okay. PTSD and oh, everything. It's me again. One of the guys from All Time Low might be there. I'm fucking All Time Low. I have therapy twice a day now. Oh. What happened? You don't remember? I hope it's not the counselor. I hope it's not the counselor. Please don't be the counselor. <laughs> yeah, we're off to a great two start. Weeks ago? Oh, that was um. No, I don't. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, totally. Just RSVP by right Thursday so we know. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, you're out? Hey. Yeah, they cleared me last week, but I didn't feel like going to school. You didn't feel like answering your texts either. I thought you were dying. Well, yeah, I was emotionally. Oh I'm my god. always dying emotionally. Yeah, I'm in therapy twice a day. Shit was wild. So what happened with your leg? Oh, yeah, so they said the bullet went deep into my thigh and almost hit an artery. Ooh. But they got it out, right? The surgery went well? I mean, I'm walking as well as it could go. Yeah. What? Like that, I don't know. That could be less. When they were putting me under, I was so afraid they were going to, like, violate me or something. Oh, shit. They're doctors, Nicole. They're not going to do that. Okay, well, that's what they said about teachers, parents, and police, so who the fuck can we trust anymore? Oh, God. By the way, yeah, do you know what happened with that cop? My dad heard they gave the cop paid leave or something. What the fuck? Being a cop has to be the most cathartic job in the world. Really? Think about it. You're some Classic. loser with a gun and your wife doesn't want to fuck you, so you go out, shoot a teenager, and get a paid trip to Bermuda. That he, sounds kind of yeah. good, actually. You gonna join the academy? Why would I? I'll never be Everyone in a situation where my spouse Winsler. doesn't want to fuck me because I'm a perfect ten with a high libido. How many times a day you say you go to therapy? Hello, girls. Are we staying oh, out of fuck. trouble here? Whoa, what are you doing here? After our little skirmish at the mall, the county reassigned me to patrol this school but to you pay shot my a debt child. to the youth. So let's stay in school this time, huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, bye, dude. Sure, but one more thing. If either one of you get in any trouble, I will not hesitate to Fucking murder you. Oh, Have fun in school, hey. you girls. Yeah, sure this thing. This is great. Why Why did they send him here? Dude, you didn't even get shot. Calm down. He said he was gonna... 
blow my brains out, Nicole. Oh, Jack, oh, you're such oh, a poser. Fuck. What the fuck am I supposed to do? We can't all be sociopaths like you, Nicole. Yeah. We'll get there. So why are you here? Are you gonna skip again or what? There's a lot of choices already. Yeah, De Decker is traumatized, un understandably. The the cop is a cunt. Let's let's skip again and get shot twice. Well, a sixth time. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right let's now. Let's see. Oh, hey Nicole, you over here too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just like. I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had a It'd be more surprising off, you know? if Nicole was like, not a total know, bitch. teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. <laughs> it looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Uh, oh, well, hold up. I'm not really like a bad religion fan. I only like maybe like four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but I Why mean, Chris cool like you know this? about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weak and dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, Hi, hey, Megan. What's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's like mega fucking cool. Is oh my like God, Crispin. Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Uh, so it was custom made and it was basically a whole story on my journey with like- Okay, they deserve each other. I'm glad, I'm glad they're very happy together. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Well, it's Ari and she doesn't know about a twist like, camera. Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's Orange a bunch sliced. of girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game. <coughs> what game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the to... fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Okay. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. Oh. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my Fair. problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good Yes, excuse. this is the one that is it like had a the butt to the yeah. project or a three week project? Closer to three weeks. Oh. What's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. It All is right, 2009. I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. Nicole, you give very bad what advice. Why do you keep like trying? Me? You there, hold it. Here we go. Wait. How could you run this fast? Don't make me call security. Hey, you dropped something. Whoa, that is a shit ton of cocaine. Oh, fuck. You. you just wait till I call your parents. Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. Oh, well, Yeah, MS-13 is like no, the fucked up okay. game. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Okay. Wow, are you gonna ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. <laughs> And as I hope you remembered, today it's, it's the same is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh wait, that's the oh thing in America? Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust Ouch. the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously. I guess. You guess? Wait, why did they turn him in Seinfeld? Who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's lame. 
Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. How cute! Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? Oh God, Nicole isn't. Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. Depression is an excuse. Commit charity fraud. Oh, it's going great. All right, which one? The choice is yours. Depression, depression, fraud, depression. Fraud. Okay, there's a, there's a lot more fraud. Midnight Fox, welcome in. Fraud. It's a, uh, it's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? Kids. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make I them have healthy? I blood dragon. Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical non-profit? Ooh, MS-13. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Yeah. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Mexico. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, it let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> So then my mom's Jesus, like, Nicole. I'm too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. Shame. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Yeah, Mr. Katz is just grown up Hi. Jeffrey. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me <gasps> Kyla. talk? Kyla! Hi then. No, no, alright. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. Hi, the DG. We haven't found anything festival. yet. Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. Oh, oh. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee, and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. <laughs> I think he was lonely. Like we oh, didn't even know people who church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they oh. don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing too? That's the thing. Uh, no, I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. Good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Oh my god. Charity. Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, Hi, Kari, and now I gotta either in. find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. E no. Yeah. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacate in Florida and write it off as a conference. True. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works <laughs> in the charity business. Okay, Emily. Okay, we want to explore that one. Like no, but that's actually help. a good idea. 
Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. Oh, no, my God. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a Coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite oh God, gym there he is. students. We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Uh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite oh, gym teacher. God, the pedophile is here. That? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, camera. not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. He has like $300. <laughs> How many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. Free so you free Been seven. Long enough. Okay, well, okay back so home. I need a chair. Oh, wait, this is the first time we in the bedroom. This badass brick and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it would mix well with my mom's Vicodin. Oh, my God. How is this a prescription that? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to free base. Do not Google this. Wait, we actually get- we actually get to- oh god, okay. Okay. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh. FUCK! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, where's Mr. Katz? Thank you, Hunter. Today I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had uh, another two days to think of oh. a charity. God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care God to remind me of it. your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, uh I have my charity. I was not saying. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't oh, I Oh no, she's actually going for it. I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer Technically, for something that could actually all use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! Uh, I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? N no. no. They don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. <laughs> what do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. She got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. How? Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks. With signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system, but don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm Hi, Lee, we'll welcome that? in. Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take right. elective His gym? Joker. It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. Yeah. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, oh. I haven't told my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. <laughs> exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only I, way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. High bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace it, it, girl it, it isn't just, even it just fun keeps to going. bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project. It, it's just it's just rapid fire, like constantly. I I don't have room to breathe. It's it's great though. I thought the writing is still good. Hi, it's Inez. For what? And for school? Excellent. Hello. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a oh, Zippo fuck. lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Okay, Where no, the she's hell making am crack. I gonna get really she's, tiny she's Ziplocs? making crack. Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. That's, that's how okay, you make so crack. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Don't Thanks. do this. I'll explain later. 
How long is it gonna take to find this shit? Hey, sweet cheeks. God damn it. You got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shit? Oh god. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we just got an Aussie. Super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Holy shit, Those there it is. Or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running yeah, from very school stupid. security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law. I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking yeah. bed. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's <laughs> cousin's in MS-13. How'd you carry no discreetly? way it's MS-13. Just like the CD. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty-ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? That's a very Don't fair worry point. About it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? <coughs> yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling cracks is Well, story. it provides opportunity. Who's gonna buy this? To, to, to do crack. Here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany. Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for. Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. I, I just... Incredible. This is now the, the baking crack stream. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? There it the is. The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. <coughs> All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Yeah. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? <laughs> I'll help you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just I drive me to the Franconia river. station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not no, driving to She didn't do crack. Back. She did no coke. Problem. I'll have it's, plenty there, for a there's cop a difference. when I'm done. They're, they're the same drug, but one's a different form. I actually form. sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? What? I Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, okay. Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just any fake Holy shit, she's a genius. A hundred bucks in a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Hi, well, luck. Cool. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard yes, on have. your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and okay. have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Thank Here. you, Hunter. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice oh, of cool you hoodie. to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> yeah, Kelly is a suck up now. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community oh, hours. Oh, he's on the coke habit, isn't he? Pull out your sheet then. He's Let's going see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected, you. Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. I only have three. All the signatures yeah, are fuck different, you, Kelly. different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm 
Shockingly surprised, Nicole. Hell yeah, take Good an to initiative. See you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime CSU someone's in need, for, they know ooh, who that to sucks. Call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. <laughs> Excuse thank you, me? Hunter. What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate oh, from the God, National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, oh, show it God. to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. Yeah, that would be really sad. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm Oh, God, it's the what principal. It? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. Wait, that's uh, why? I don't really have anything under this. But then turn it that's, inside that's, out that's and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, <laughs> I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? I, oh, it's so a some hoodie. Asian guy shoes up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's going to think I what? would shoot That's up like a, a school? That's like a fucking egg. He's only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, nice. oh one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations oh. on your hours. Oh. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Money. Uh, I don't know. The that's right, that's true. We have not seen Jeffrey the yet. Community. You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. E what are you, my dom? <laughs> Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Because the principal is oh, hey, is, is there. Good. Fucking yeah. our mom, isn't she? Cool. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other thirty people who take the class with you? Yeah. Um. It's like I don't know. I feel like they're gonna flake on me. And a girl who I doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's going to come through. W you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, Ouch. like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy, though. It's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa. Quit jumping around and shit. What's the end game, then? You're going to awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends kind of have a lot of definitions too. No. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun oh my, okay, while I Nicole. sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. <laughs> you didn't even say something like that. Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, oh, thank Christ, it's Jekka. Oh my god. no. See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. Yeah, he, he talks like to every like. For? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he anyway. came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? Hi, Tara. I was Dayton. flirting with I'm my teacher. Little, hello. For business or pleasure? He's fifty. What do you think? I was trying to get an A minus. Cool. Yeah, I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it. He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Yeah. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to no. yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Dude, except you're such for a the hater. other you crack sound like Lynn right now. What bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my bay hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. Well, it's like suspicious or whatever. Technically, but... You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. <laughs> Giving pregnant women two for ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, uh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want yeah, to come somehow with me Jekka. I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. Is the How voice of reason. Do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. <laughs> Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. It's a, it's oh, a so hard life in the crack game. Or... 
are. Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Croc's gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Hi, hey, come feel like a fox. Welcome in. That's a very good car. Is this a cop? That's too hey, good of a car. A cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? It's a teacher. White guy buying rocks in PG. Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound... Hold it. Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class. That's rolls. You're Called it. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till, Wait till I tell, I you tell you're the crackhead. school board you're buying ready rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Yeah, most service civic station. Huh? Oh shit! A little midnight marketplace here. How God the damn it! It's the cop. You? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner. What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. Oh, I. That was a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Holy fuck. We're now you in jail. Two weeks to visit me. Okay, I have gonna be a bitch about it. I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bit, and there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, oh. no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was, like, three years oh. of good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two wow. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block, and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system yeah. works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? No, because you can use service hours. Not for us. You're born into bullshit. No tools to get out of it. And they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. Ooh, when she's becoming out, institutionalized. Bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. Holy but shit. most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about well, yeah, is she, Yeah, she is a suburban white kid that sold crack to a black right. neighborhood. Sir. Right about what? Is get rich or die trying? Is this a I movie quote? I, I feel like this is a movie quote. You're white. <laughs> what? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean Thank to you? Thank you, Jacka. Get her. Yeah, sorta. So, all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. Oh, shit. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next Holy week, Holy shit, maybe. Jekka, oh, wait, no, get no, it. No, no, go! I love Jekka so much. I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two oh, years in jail. Shit. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted is, than others. Is she, is she making... And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. 
I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. So that's you go a by months pizza. when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here, no therapists in here, no well, nothing. Uh, so yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? At least in the Every school counselor. Every now I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. Yeah. So, compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed yeah. up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Uh, now I, I just serve my I, time. I guess that's get positive. Get back in society. Maybe make some new friends. And buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first. Watch her cry for mercy okay, before I finish that, her off. That was preemptive. Change feels pretty good. That was preemptive. Somehow that's actually not one of the worst endings. She actually considered and reflected on herself. Which is the first time she has ever done that. It's still Nicole, but she considered that she was wrong. So that's... Her. Huh. She... Pr prison and selling crack helped. Oh yeah, there is faces in the top left. Hi, it's Spider May. Welcome in. Incredible. All right. Yeah, all she needed was three years in the slammer and a bunch of tattoos. Hi, Erunga Miniata. Welcome in. All right, let's let's go back to the last choice. Instead of committing charity for and selling crack cocaine, we're gonna be depressed. About that. Hi, luck. See, um. I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, well you're a I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started... Cutting myself. Why? Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Even Hunter That's isn't saying really anything. not good. Oh, no. Am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could oh, borrow, Jesus I could Christ. just take care of myself now. A gun? <laughs> Shit, I left mine at home today. <laughs> Do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, okay, Nicole, this I... is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's Holy office. Holy shit, all right. Don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay, well, now you have to deal okay. with the pedophile. And, and you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My oh, nose my... will okay, be like the chocolate river from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Katz? Well, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. How's? Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. Sure, Holy but shit. I thought All these right. were one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's she doing here? Okay. Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different, given you're both here for the same okay. reason. Okay. What reason? Depression. You uh -oh. bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out Damn at it. Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement. What the fuck please is tell an Nicole I statement? How that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation. Nicole does not consider too. anyone else's that's situation. That's very good. Thank you. Yeah, now, this Nicole, is a HIPAA violation. Please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. Oh, How's God. that? This is going to be a long session. <sighs> yeah. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Yeah, he actually did making his job, and he did not try to uh, first uh, communicate to pedophilia. I I'd lie about the depression. Uh, that's a first, after actually. The counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Oh. Talk to him about it. 
I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait. What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. Oh. What are you, gay? What? How did you know? I've never oh. told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. Right, this, she, this is meant to be a real you? place, so she does have red hair. Okay, okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not I, that. Really. I meant the other thing. Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. 2009, they definitely did. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've I ever had. I have My cousin in West Virginia's in the Virginia is gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the <laughs> fuck isn't horrible there? The Blue Ridge so Mountains. around here, you really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's going to be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school 10 minutes from the Capitol. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get okay. married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still going to worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Oh, my what? God, Crispin. Hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh, my God, don't. Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part to the story, or...? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. Oh, my that's God. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you well, lived in Texas, it that, would be, but this worked. is civilization, dude. Well, I'll see you around somewhere. I... And thanks a lot, Nicole. Holy I shit, we actually helped someone. Free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Okay, there it is. Now I have to think of a new one. Yeah, Crispin is on a lesbian you didn't scavenger start hunt. depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, it. everybody's going to water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know. Hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Yeah, Holy what shit, I'm doing is my big thing. Oh, wait! Schizophrenia. Good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me okay, in the middle of the hallway. Okay, to tell everybody. Closet with a glass door. I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. <laughs> this area's like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. This is a very because progressive 2009 or... school. I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda show a lot, I guess he was funny. <laughs> no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's oh, happy, God, like, Kyler is whatever, uh -oh. right? I'm so happy for her. So happy oh, I have fuck. to see your ass every week with the counselor now. Okay, so and Kyler to say, is her homophobic. Ari, how proud I bad. am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. I, Thanks, it's just uh, kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Oh God, oh, oh God. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hate it's called 2009 it was still it, it's still for there was there was gay bashings it, it's still not a this this is a very very somehow not horrible area despite the concentration of horrible people and yes i think that may be a pride shirt but then again jekka also did wear a pride dress so yeah there's gonna be some foreshadowing my bets on kyla my my bets on kyla doing hate crimes in Australia. Australia is, was definitely a little behind. I I knew kids that were still bullied for being gay. Absolute hair owls, welcome in. I mean, I've, I've been spat on, so. Alright. Let's see. You did. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't that in a sexy, to be no, not in a sexy way. Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? 
just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a Why society. Why is that the question? Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual The tone was very obvious. Acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Okay. Age? Why would someone have a problem oh, with fuck, age here it is. legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? God damn it. The state law says I knew it was you can't a fucking marry point to another this. girl. But does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty oh, sure boy. age is one we... The marathon you know, pedophile society strikes again. Society creates laws. But laws didn't create society. I knew he was being too positive. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV <laughs> says. Like gender, age is just another thing on no, your driver's no, it license. Isn't. No, no, um, it isn't. How do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like, I the feel like he wants to fuck <coughs> children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. The Did you say is in illegal. the wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of oh, anyone God. of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia <laughs> using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Fuck your therapy. Tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's Tennis just pedophile. having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I, I didn't want to make you, Nicole you don't jealous, but have your to hair looks humor absolutely him. beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't Holy shit, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. That wasn't like a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty yeah, normal it's, it's, thing it's around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like also that. Also true. She she I is never correct. Really seen you do that. She has sticking not ever done for that. Who? Me. Okay. I. I really appreciate it. Oh, this is it. this is nice. This is sweet. Uh huh. This is um. Oh, oh my God, so Ari no. Ari no. Nicole, I've um. Since we started doing this Ari, group counseling together, you can't together, fix her. I've you can't fix her. I've been thinking a lot about oh, you. Fuck. But not in a weird way, right? No, it's. It's in a weird way. Shit. Oh my god. I really, really like you. This. I'm sorry. It's just you were the first person I came out to, and what you said oh, in there, god. and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. You're not like all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? It's, it is Men different. kind of have a tendency to rape yeah. and murder. I'm not yeah. sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me why. What? You, um. Do you like girls too? Oh fuck. This is I I want to save Ari from Nicole because Nicole is not a good influence. Like in in any aspect really. What are these choices? Bad ones. Hi, help they can welcome in. There are no good options and the people are horrible except Ari. I think Ari hasn't really ever done anything bad yet. I will be proven wrong. I'm 100% sure I will be proven wrong and Ari is going to be fucking insane or some shit. Or she's going to wear Nicole's skin or some weird thing. Something's gonna happen, despite the fact that currently I think she is. Well, yeah, she might be under. She might be under. Hi, Nilbon. Welcome in. All right. Do you want me to? Y yeah. Oh. How badly? Oh Extremely. God. Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? N On my Nicole. upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. 
It is. Yeah, because you look too normal to hug, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. <laughs> really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens though. <laughs> so, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? All right, please run. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. Shit. Really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows That's are broken. That's a pretty good deal. Does it have power I seats? I was. No, they're just manual. Ugh. Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. All right. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Shit. Bye. I feel so bad. Why do you take me to a bookstore? I have it's like the library, but all the books are new. I just got like a an intense an intense feeling of relatability. God. Every fuck okay. I was also invited to a bookstore as a date. And I was also like would you would you like to get coffee of or, or food? And she just wanted to look at Yowie the whole time. And I I I love a good Yowie, but but we were just in a bookstore for at least an hour. We didn't buy anything. So I have like a visceral reaction to this because that I was also invited to a bookstore for like two other dates. Yeah, it's it's just to go to the bookstore, look at smut. Okay. Damn that much but you're in the bookstore? Yes. There he is. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here. There he is. Jeffrey's back. Jeffrey's back. He, boy is back. The boy is back. Let's, he does not have a firearm on him. We are golden. Till. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So, are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, fuck. oh she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Oh. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little okay, different. Well, that, like me. That's good, Jeffrey. We are nothing like you. And why is that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. <laughs> hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's real, <laughs> though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I yeah, started a YouTube fellas, channel. Please don't, don't tell you them that you jerk off the anime. No, we gotta go like, by just whippets. in a regular conversation. That's not a normal thing to do. I, I trust you. I trust you. You're not all Jeffrey. And then the counselor. I trust you. I have faith. As despite you may have some relatable elements to Jeffrey. You are savable. I believe in you. Who starts a conversation with that? Multiple people that I've known in schools. That's not a joke. Everything I say is a lived experience. I live in hell. Got so weird. He called my mom. Is the actual sequel? I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. But and it's still in school. Say? Like it's, it's like a him. it's we like, had like a an hour long fight over it, right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it, it in was... private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Well, she's trying. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Oh fuck, Kyler. Dude, he's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys. We're dating now. What are you special or something? 
Why do you care? It's hard to hose like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this Here room who comes. cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck I, thank Obama. You, He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. <laughs> Oh. Sea of irradiated well, cobalt. Sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. <laughs> no, no, you're gay. Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. <gasps> hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Nicole. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Mwah. Okay, oh god. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. Yeah. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was uh, in my okay. room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you, like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting I, like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. Yeah, she just but sounds so very old gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing also, on earth. Also, yes. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about oh, this. Oh, God, Kelly. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just Ugh. so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. <laughs> Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. This is why you should go in the Lexus. But I never a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are oh god, the little, no, the little key tabs, the little key tabs in the fucking- I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh shit. Nicole. I, um. That was, hey, that was listen, mean. Uh, I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. You made her oh. apologize for being what? a- I was little. totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. No. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you too. Oh no. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight I three weeks them and ago. Blank. Yeah, oh, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universal. Oh that. god, it's I toxic. Saw a it's to it's toxic. It was okay. Well, Does I mean, that's expected. That it's okay. Um, no, just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. She's it's a mocker. Spicy chicken I, sandwich day. That that is slander. I don't like being abused in everyday contexts. I'm actually quite proud. Except except in private con. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. <laughs> all right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting God. something? Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. Oh, God. That's nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything yeah, so this is fucked. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, yes. it this sounds abuse. like abuse. This is abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Oh, Don't fuck. knock it till you try it. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Oh, because shit. Because you're her only option. 
So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there are any other lesbians to date. Hi, Have a good sleep. Everything is awful here. How you doing? She can break up any time she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so I she rate it. Up to move on to who? The only girl the main character her is her abuse is an awful person. Uh, let me get up a clip for what what you may have missed. Let me let me. Hi, Raiders. I'm Marker. I'm Australian. I'm in the same group as Clear. Love that bitch. I'm glad she's getting some rest. 18 hours, 18 hours. Let's go to watch this. Change. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Oh, God. Can you? You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Coach. Stop looking. Every man is now, horrible please. in this game. You know something? You're first. Oh god. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students too. See, you just snap back like Oh god, he's oh, like god. She Ew. Is 16. She is 16. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker yeah. room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. And the Look options you. are bad. <laughs> Everyone is awful. There are no good decisions. Welcome to the class of 09, where in our current route, we have been shot by a police officer five times for stealing a CD. We just got an ending where we sold crack to communities, including our teacher, for community service hours and got three years in prison. And now what's happening is we are unfortunately... A horrible person who is taking advantage of and abusing a gay girl. So, welcome in. There are no good decisions. Everyone is awful. Content warning for literally everything. I'm Mark. A, a, also Australian and I, ideally not awful. Re resident shark hag. I teach at universities. I'm having a new model soon. Good day. All right, let's continue. The ex girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're looking evil, fucking. She bitch. is. She no, really okay. is. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. <laughs> You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Oh. Shit, don't say it that loud. Got him. Again, I apologize. Also, this counselor is what's known as a marathon pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome in. What a marathon pedophile. Welcome. He plays the long game. Last time the two of you came in here, I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole, it's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. I you could speak about what you did over the weekend, or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Oh god. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? <laughs> Tell me more. Um, he was in jail, and then he the was in jail. The dialogue is fantastic. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera, and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? Do you think it'll be I... as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. That's not a clip that I... Name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any oh, off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, <laughs> you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. She is I'm gay, gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect I... <laughs> to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask okay, something. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? When Stick you up for yourself. I mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? You, you weren't violent or anything. 
I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical Holy assault. shit, he's actually going to help her understand. emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? <coughs> Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't... Out! Finally, fuck. Holy shit, Start he was actually doing his job. Pedophile oh my god. Every Aris has makes a pedophile fuller. episode? I think yeah, he deserves a great sense of guest on to Clown Wrangler. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry. Yes. I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was... The, uh, the abuse. The, why the abuse. are you dating me? Oh, why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just... I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about Hi, us Doc Raven. right now. Hi, Dolph Raven. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. She's almost there. Awesome. Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it uh, okay. kind of made me Ari. worried. So I'm abusing Please. you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think I'm you need to. Heller. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse... And sleep again. And how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows he, about this He stuff. does know... I'm your girlfriend. So, I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How uh, am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole. Sorry, hello. I've had these ideas for a while. Good, good. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Yeah? Tell me what? I don't think we should see you. <gasps> oh, thank God. Anymore. Oh, thank God. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? Hey, well. I'm sorry, Nicole. Holy shit, then Christ. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Oh, fuck. Is dust off the same high as Whippets? I never okay, tried Okay, she did not off. kill herself. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like $3. Please, do not do that. Do not inhale $3? that. Do not inhale yeah, that. Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Inhalance are very bad Staples? Here. What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Oh. Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? Yeah, I'm not going to make out with the manager for a free pencil yeah. case. Don't, don't do it. Are you saying you made out with the guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not <laughs> gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, oh, shit. try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, and the water was really nice and warm, and I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi. I just wanted to talk a little again. Sorry, you no. Dying. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and Ari, everything. Ari, don't go back like to this. the girl that I've used to. I know. Don't I do that. Worry a lot. I don't care how horny uh, you are. Are you trying to get back don't together do again? That. I don't get it. Yeah, uh. That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Oh. Hey, Ari, oh. what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up oh. here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, but this is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about... Holy shit, we made it straight. A store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Well, he does seem Snookums? like How actually a good oh, sorry. person. sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this I mean, eventually. she could just be bisexual. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. Holy shit, what we made a straight. Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is... I still love everything about girls. Oh god, we traumatize like how her. How they talk, how we, they we laugh, just, how they okay. use moisturizer, how they do makeup. 
I love how girls do their hair. How okay, no, she's nice, still very gay. How they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand. Okay, yeah, she's still very gay. How it feels when they kiss you back. She just has PTSD Maybe now. Can you help me find the words for that, Nicole? Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like, even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. Ouch. And so the month we had together made me realize something oh. else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now. She's just going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying Ugh. a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? One's homophobic. The other's just regular bad. <laughs> you get how bad this is then. Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even God. care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do yeah. it to men. I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? Yeah. Bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. Oh, fuck. The... You should have said nothing. Yeah, Nicole. Jesus Christ. You ever feel guilty for just oh, wondering shit. if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me. But it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. Oh, and God. Say, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it Ugh. feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. Okay, that, that was relatable. Ouch. Oh, you have the messages. That's right, messages. So the first one, not, not this one. Not sure if they let you have your phone in jail, but I guess you'll see this and they let you out. Since you're an adult now, I sold all your furniture, thrifted you your clothes at the shop in Arlington, and I'm renting out your room at Craigslist. You can visit every now and then, but you don't have a home here. So find a job in your own place and get out. Recession shouldn't make it too hard. So that was our mother in the first prison ending. Ari the gay one. Every time you miss here, I remind myself it's exclusively for the sex and I can pay for that. So bitch, you're not prized. That's not even close. Call me for friends with benefits. Sorry, I'm high as fuck right now. <laughs> the prison ending is the closest we've had to a good end. Wait, that- oh, oh, wait, no, yeah, sorry, sis. Okay, that's our brother. All right. This also has only seven endings. But I, I, I guess they are like longer roots. Alright, well... Let's make a, a gay girl cry. Instead. Honestly, that was- that that's probably a better ending. Oh, this shit's fun. Fun. Okay, Why? we had to save her you don't think it's before she gets to attached. Tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay. Oh God. I, I guess I wasn't thinking. I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you were my girlfriend, what would oh, you do for fuck. me? Oh fuck. Oh shit. I don't know. Anything. Oh jeez. Anything? Damn. So any depraved ass shit, you're just down for. For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you want. Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, Nicole. please. Ah, self-esteem. Am I too desperate? No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. 
How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Oh. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. You're a off. lot better off. Speaking of off, you're not going to off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? Why the fuck would I give my eye touch to a girl okay, good, she's me? angry at us. Sorry, that's that's, that's guys, way better. That's Does way better. Is this a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm going to be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them is bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're not? Worst case scenario, they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. This is somehow a lot better. Do you like date movie? Is that the parody movie? Yeah, the one with the milkshake song. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to watch it online and the movie website said it was three out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. I know. I tried clicking nine stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. Did you? Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. Huh. That means all the opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. <gasps> I know, it's so yeah. dumb. Like maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. Are you yeah. saying that hating date movie makes you a virgin? I mean, basically. I could get behind that. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like what did they think is a good You're movie? So and cute. all their nine star movies are so boring. Have you seen The Godfather? I've heard of it. Insists it. My dad upon made itself. me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History Oh X, God, not again. I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Kind of long though. What's it about? A racist guy. You like a movie about a racist guy? <laughs> it's like a whole moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. What the hell was that? I what? Yeah, I don't know where you got that. Oh no. But so another movie was- Oh look who it is. It's oh, the fuck. school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. We heard what you said. And we heard what you did to Ari. You'll really reject a gay girl then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here? Oh, so now conversations are worth broadcasting? I only mentioned it to one person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. Ari told God people to- You're sick, Nicole. Pretending there isn't bigotry here. It must be nice to ignore it. What, are you gay? No. Then fuck off. You don't need to be gay to fight homophobia. I never said she can't be gay. I said no one here would hate her for being gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. I, okay. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? Do you just Trust have a me. list of sayings memorized? The alternative memorized? is Actually, much worse. we have a list of 500 signatures. 500 signatures in favor of expelling you for gay bashing Ari. That's not what yeah, that means. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Over the last two days. And I think it's safe to say the people have spoken. Okay, when I was in school, Gay bashing men physically beating the shit out of gay people. And would happen. I was not in a good area. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate gay people? If there's such a mass homophobia problem at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Ugh, so ignorant. The GSA club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for a conversation about this. Come on, let's get more signatures. Homophobic? Come on, man. God damn it, I'm Hunter. crazy here? Yeah, this feels a little over the top. Can you, like, talk to people for me and clear this up? Hell no, not getting involved. Oh, Ari! Yeah? What's this shit about me hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they just kind of had their own Can conclusion. you kind of clear well, it up, please? Can you please? tell them to chill out? Why the fuck would I do anything for you? You rejected me. Also this is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I got your picture. You did? Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like... No, sorry, I'm not there yet. Maybe <laughs> in college. Dumbest advice ever. Who would advise her to randomly sext people? Oh, shit. What? Nothing. Show me the picture. No, get your own. <laughs> as you might be aware, the school's GSA has been...
I, I was very angsty. All right, all right. Welcome back. This is the obligatory reminder to join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And, and also YouTubes. Like the shit out song? Hell yeah. Fuck it. Oh my god, simple plan. <sighs> all right, all right. Yeah, they, I, it was like a whole like wife swap in the music video. That was quick. Yeah. I got my water. I got my pee. In, in the bathroom. Let's play the game. Do you wash hands? Of course I wash my hands. Of course. Seem to be relevant in the documentation for this petition. Her what do I have to do to men. prove I'm not homophobic? Make out with her on public access? Nicole, you know the public access stations wouldn't allow this. <laughs> Don't be disingenuous. Okay, then channel yeah. four, five, the CW, what? That's not what I meant. Well, what do I have to do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit. Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? <laughs> Probably better. She stole one of my homework excuses and I got stuck in group counseling with her. Ari screwed me oh over god, first. Nicole. Nicole, this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed. I wouldn't put selling a bag of stems past her either. <coughs> Look, it's either write her a letter, go to a sensitivity retreat, or be expelled. A sensitivity, sensitivity retreat. retreat? Is that like conversion therapy? Third person reverse conversion therapy. You have a week to decide. You're excused. What a waste That's of gonna time. make her gay? Karen? Homophobe. Even Karen? <laughs> Even Karen. Karen. Bitch. Holy Jesus. shit, get a hobby. Sucks, don't it? Okay, let's hear your Hi, dumbass probably a real insult. Human. What? Pilot on. I'm a homophobe, right? You think I'm just another sheep, don't well, you? He hates Is gay sheep people. interchangeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's oh, just God. say I know a place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know. Maybe the straight club. Oh, the straight club? Shh, it's on the DL, dude. Jeffrey is in the straight, straight club, club, isn't he? Just a place Jeffrey for us got straight, very you know? lonely and joined the straight club. avoid bitches in the GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. I gotta be dreaming right now. That good, huh? Oh, fuck. And we're like so incredibly fucking stupid. There's oh, geez. no way it's Jeffrey, real. Jeffrey, please, oh, please, please have some right. self respect. You're please don't join the straight club. Please don't join the straight club. I feel so special. Come on, it's fun. We make signs, plan events, we make talk signs. about John McCain, have pizza parties, just a wholesome get together. Wholesome, huh? 100%. Can you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, where is it? Oh god, Jets is here. Okay, so, sweetie, this is a game about my experiences in the year 2009. Everyone is horrible. There are no good decisions. Nicole, in the previous route, decided to try dating the gay girl and ended up being extremely abusive to the point where the gay girl decided to just date men because it was easier than feeling horrible with her. And now we just decided to instead abuse her before dating her so that we inadvertently saved her from ourselves. Nicole is a bad person. Also, I feel like this sets the tone quite well of the decisions because this to a 16 year old in the girls locker yeah. room. Come on, what's age? Look at you, you're mature enough. So this game is, again, everyone is horrible. Let's see what happens. Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? Okay. You're in luck, too. It's straight club movie night. What the fuck are you gonna watch? Guys, welcome our new God member, God damn it, Nicole. Jeffrey. Oh, what's up? Fancy seeing you here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? No, nah, but I got it. Cool, let me help you. God damn it, so Jeffrey. you're in the straight club, huh? Let's we covered this when you're in the white Isn't pride it? party. I guess. You're just here because you're lonely. Straight club. Isn't it obvious? Don't make me say it. <laughs> well, okay, maybe it's kind of a long story. It all goes back oh, yeah, Braxton to when I finally started Coke, narrowing it's cousin down my interest gang. to a couple key hobbies, like video games and anime for starters. God damn Don't it. make me say it. And I love stuff like that so much, I wasn't afraid to tell anyone about it. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. 
and ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. Good. Okay, yeah, Jeff's, that's what they said. Jeffrey is a school shooter. <laughs> like, unironically, he, he killed us in a previous ending. Yeah, but he also does have a 50-foot-tall Catwoman stepping on him fetish. So, yeah, we, we also, we de-radicalized him from the White Pride Party, but then they decided to honor kill him in the school for leaving the White Pride Party. Yeah, they, they did lynch him. But you, you can save him. He just got stomped to death. He was only sure one of the endings. Yes. Whereas we have been in jail in like five of the endings. It's not, the, the outlook is not good. The best one is that we were a YouTuber. After a guy decided to kill himself for our affection. And we made a video about it. But then again, the other content in 2009 was Fred, so that's like a step up. Too. I saw other kids get bullied yeah, you missed for a being lot. gay or foreign, and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Almost as if liking anime is a choice. Exactly. And that's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. <laughs> okay, that surprisingly clicks. Except for one thing. What's that? Why the fuck did you pick the straight club? I couldn't really pull off being gay. I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda God damn it, shows, Jeffrey. but then he came out as gay, and it was like no one was allowed to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight <laughs> pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if that's true, why do we have to be so secretive of the straight pride club? Okay, I gotta, pl I gotta plug my headphones. There we go. Yeah, Je Je Jets, Je Jeffrey is, he's, he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a dork. And, yeah. Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's called a Redskins tailgate. <laughs> uh, never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. What are they going to watch really on movie night? not the time for politics. It's not politics. It's fucking dumb as shit. What teacher would even sponsor this? We couldn't get an official sponsor, but oh, one no. teacher agreed to under the table sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Greetings, God damn it! Friends. I brought the movie, Nicole. Of course. Now that we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. What's the movie this week, Coach? It's not Rambo Three again, is it? Nah, I thought we'd switch things up from the last. Oh, movie. for fuck's I sake, got no! A very special copy of American History X. Seen it? I'm leaving. Not so fast, young lady. What makes it so special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. Just a man proud of his heritage kicking ass. Oh, no. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in the BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. So this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 <laughs> Oh, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. This is going to rule. So, Nicole. What brought you to the straight club, anyway? Some drama, don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone Nicole was homophobic because she didn't want to date her. What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? I'm not blaming all of them. Yeah, that's what they always say, but these freaks <laughs> have stopped so society's underwater. We should publicly execute those oh. weirdos. Oh, now fuck. that's what I expected oh, to hear at a straight oh, fuck. club. What's your address, Nicole? Let's show that bitch a lesson. Whoa, chill out. I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm going to choke slam you into the sugar cube. Castle. I told you I didn't know her fucking address! Kyla, Kyla, calm down! This is way over the top. I don't get it, coach. I thought this was the straight club. I know, but you're being messy. Besides, I'm a teacher. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. <laughs> what are you thinking, coach? Get her address! 
address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. Come on, straight club. First a student files, then a drive down 95. The voice when acting you dance. is so is good. Down 95, wouldn't that take forever? I'm not gonna burn her house down with expensive gas. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Let's go, boys. Finally, reparations. I'm hating these hobos. I wonder if I'll get blamed for this too. Who could help me out of this shit? Jacko, Jacko, please. What the? Where'd everybody go? Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Maybe I should find something other than being straight. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, I'm trying not to get blamed for a hate crime. I'm watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking good. It's actually really bad. Oh, yeah, you can save I'll him. See you later. Dude, wait. What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now. We have to stop it. Okay, slow. Way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. They all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us. <laughs> no, it's all men. Oh. How are they victims? They're jealous of gay pride rallies. That's all I gathered. They should be. They're fun. <laughs> it's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. Cool. So they're on their way to kill Ari right now. Oh, yeah. Why would they burn her house down? Because they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me, and now they want revenge or something. They were set off, like, instantly. And so why is that your problem? I thought you hated her. Because it's a hate crime that I am going to get blamed oh, for. Oh, God. These guys are insane. They watch American History X with the ending cut out. But it's about a racist guy. Isn't cutting it down good? The end's where they learn how to not be racist. Okay, okay, I get it. Except for one little detail. What? Why the fuck did you come here? Call the police! <laughs> When have the police ever done anything good for us? Fair point. <sighs> All right, let that's me actually my a shoes. very that's actually a very fair point. Is she already asleep? Ari, Ari! The, the police I officer like did the shoot us. Conveniently, ten feet from the door. It better be like the movie soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge, where the gas is cheap. So we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh yeah, to burn the house down. <laughs> Drake and Josh is on this. Better be. <laughs> what the fuck? Still? Marathon. What do you want? It's almost 10. Is your family home? No, they're out of town. Oh, what the fuck do you I, want? I, I you can't. gotta get out of here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. What? Who would set my house on fire? Coach Colby Straight Club. They're mad at the general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even funny. You already rejected me. Now you want to prank me? She's not making it up there on the way. Please believe Why the hell would Nicole go us. out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make also any sense. True. Because if you die, the school would indict me as the cause of the hate crime. You really gotta get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up ten minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera! No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no... The guy from Drumline? Come Americans on! Americans apparently what do we have to do to prove actually this sound How like this. I, know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. This is incredible. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, herpes fully loaded. <laughs> I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. Why me? I thought you were mad at her. Oh, I am. I hate her. Oh. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. Yes. I would be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general, just a heartless bitch. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser, and I don't give a shit. You're the kind of girl who'd choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole. And I need you bad. Bitch, you need therapy. Okay, but she confessed her yes. love for you. Are you gonna kiss her now? No way! Fuck this bitch! Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How God else is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. <coughs> Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh... What if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Oh my god. Do you want to hear yes? <coughs> I'll get my shoes. No time, get in the car. Remember how oh. being nice lands you in hostage friendships? Well, the oh. fear of being blamed for inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So, after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. 
I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't think it was my fault. And I gotta keep this up for another six and hope she doesn't figure the charade out before graduation. She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you wanna watch Heroes? No, I don't wanna watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks. Jekka's the only person who's in on it, and every day... <laughs> See, there's homophobia here, but them burning our house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. <laughs> if a plane crashes, does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn, or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. Fucking heroes. Look, at least... At least... Nicole has to be nice to her and not too abusive, like the last time. That's a surprise. Okay, well, for someone's house getting burned down in a lynching, that wasn't that bad. Jetsy still with us? I'm sorry you have to watch this. The first season was good. Well, I already got her house burned down, but there is insurance. Barely. <laughs> All right, so we, we uh, tried dating her and that turned out somehow worse than that ending. So instead, uh, let's go back a little bit. And okay, so we ran from the police and they shot us. So instead, we're gonna go to theater. Cl oh, you're gonna check the message, right? Right, right, right. I know where you live. Oh, fuck, all right. Let's see, what's the message? I bunch of hell, this is 911 for some SNS update. The approximate wait time for your police officer arrival is in one hour. Please find a safe location until your first responder arrives to assist with your arson hate crime. <laughs> Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs> to no longer receive these messages, reply stop. All text 911 is subject to a 25 cent service chat. Oh my god. Is, is this, like, is this, like, fucking Night City? Or is this, is this, like, actually what happens in America? I, I can't tell. Amazing. Mostly true. Parts of the U.S. Life imitates art. <laughs> yeah, max tack would only take five minutes. All right, let's let's go to the theater class. Crispin. God damn it, Crispin. Emily. Uh huh. Emily. Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Oh, Taking yeah. attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Tegan made student me student teacher, teacher while God she's off working it, on a professional stage production. I'm a teacher and I think so you're a teacher's pet I was pet top of the fuck. drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Uh. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a I'm table so read sorry, exercise, Jets. the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for I drama do like if Emily. you Emily care about is, acting? It's the it's nicest character here. Class. Like we're going to be actors one day? The alternative yeah, is Crispin no or Megan. Megan. But you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Oh. Stop calling me ugly. No, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... Uh, like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yes, God, 2009 dude. was really all like right, this. I'm done with this. Get in your groups while yeah, writing yes, yes, all Yes, yes, it was. I do, okay, let's go back. Let's, let's do a history. Okay, 2009 fashion. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's get it up. Oh, God. Ugh. Y yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. It was a thing. There was lots of belts. 
There was lots of sparkles. There was lots of leopard print. And there was lots of just tons of different patterns, like mishmash together. That is also Harajuku, but still. Oh yeah, there was always there was always fucking guys like this. Always these hipster ass fucks. The fucking fedora and like a blazer with all these weird patterns and shit. And some for some reason he's wearing those like really short shorts. And always the fucking glasses. You look like a fucking blues brother. Yeah, it's like a fucking ska band. Can you search up young- oh my god, I know that picture. Elon Musk holding a katana. Wait, wait, no, it's, it's, it's the young version of him. Yeah, here it is, here it is. This is... Not holding a katana, but this is the real picture of young Elon Musk. Just, yeah. Fashion today is much better. Fashion today is very boring, actually. Like, like let's take a look at 2023 fashion. It's, it's very, it's, it, it's just very normal. Like, there's, there's tons of solid colors. There's no, like, insane patterns on anything. It's just very, it's just, like, basics, usually. Every, everything is just, like, well, this is fucking fashion trends. This is the runway. It's an exaggeration meant to push the boundaries of fashion so that it kind of counts for something and people go like, hey, that's a nice idea. Fine, fine. 2023 women's fashion for normal people. Yeah, like this. It, it's, just, it's just pretty normal. It, it's just straight, loose clothing. And Lindstone, thanks for the gifts of the Vivi. Wait, wait, is Vivi here? Vivi, how was 2009 for you? How much leopard print did you have? Yeah, like this, this is all like pretty basic. Did Venus go out of fashion? Venus go in and out of fashion like every week. And did she, thanks for the floor. You type ready, all oh, ready to wear, right. Yeah, so like, it's, it's mostly just like big block colors. Everyone looks like a crayon. Do you have a cat suit in the box like for emergency? <laughs> so, uh, another thing was the belts. You'll see them in the game, but there's those, those lots of belts. <laughs> they look like they should be in scoop. Okay, they do. They do. They're about to solve a mystery. But yeah, there's just lots of like very basic clothing and block colors. Like this is this this is a runway. But even then the runway is not that over the top. Like it's it's intense, but it's honestly not that over the top for a runway. Oh <laughs> keep looking like a twin peaks extra. Oh Jets, you look adorable. No, strong. Very strong and handsome. Not adorable. Yeah, she's she's punk. Jets is yep. Punk and strong. And does not dress like a librarian. Yes, dog. <laughs> yes, a handsome lass. All right, all right, that was, that was a fun little tangent. If you also want something from a very similar time period in history, but I guess kind of trends over to more towards like the YOLO swag era of fashion, it is LMF, LMFAO. Just, just LMFAO. This was the YOLO swag era of fashion, which is still, yeah, the, the snapback era. Very, very quick. All the shutter shades. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so having the glasses, like with no with no actual glasses inside of them, was like a big trend. 
Thank you, Madal, for the prime sub. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying your stay. Uh, so, everyone would go to the cinema for a 3D movie, and they would, wouldn't give the glasses back. they just pop out the lenses. And then they would wear them. Just, just the, the shitty cinema, because they didn't want to spend money for actual glasses if they aren't going to put the fucking lenses in. So they, they would just go to the cinema. And they get those, their, those 3D geek glasses. They're fucking... I... for uh, cinema. So they, they get like the... Where the fuck are they? Like the event cinema, event cinema, let's just say event cinema 3D glasses. Cause it wasn't the blue and red ones. It was... Yeah, like these, these fucking things. They would pop the lenses out and they just wear those. That was a trend, because L LMFAO. That's hilarious. Yes. I'm like cousin and uncle. I think so. Nephew and uncle. Gotcha. All the girls. Yeah, like it was. It was a thing. I hate this. Congratulations. This is just nostalgia for me. I've been called out for doing. <laughs> Wait, Cupid, did, did you go to the cinema and take the lenses out of the glasses to look cool? Nah. Oh, this is cool. Everyone's playing into the Harlem Shake. Oh, right. The Harlem Shake was a thing, which was actually was like Filthy Frank. And um, the, the first time you put on like the pink suit. Domer fake nerd glasses, wait. Let me see if I recognize those. Oh. These kind of ones, right? Jet, Jets pitch it. Handsome creature. <laughs> Oh yeah, those, yeah, like they're, the blue and red ones are very funny. But uh, give you a massive headache when you watch the cinema. Yeah, Dormen was adorable. Like, I, I like that cartoon. <laughs> Why is this so funny? This, this feels like the, the cat raising an eyebrow. Wait, where is it? Let me... Cat, you also fired me. It's not the... <laughs> okay, there are more of these than I originally thought. Oh, uh, eyebrow. This one! This one, this one, this one. Yeah, here it is, here it is. So this reminds me of... <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Watch Toy Story 3 and 3D. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the horrible people game. And let's see some more fucked up shit. Okay, group improv with table reading. What do you think? Once Vine, don't say that. You know what it is. Don't pretend. Improv or table reading. Improv, improv, improv. All right. Improv. So how do we do this? I give you guys a scenario and you play it out and get feedback okay. afterwards. Oh, yeah. Hi, sense. Mr. Hi, so the scene is you're a newlywed husband and wife in 1949. Uh, and the wife wants to know what the war was like. What if he doesn't know what the war was like? It was 1949. <laughs> Everybody was just getting out of the war. Yeah, or Patty. I, someone, th right? That's how I feel all the time. Okay, so, so we go now? Yeah, uh, action. Hey, you seem kind of upset. Is there a thing you oh, want to talk about? Nah, I'm good. Oh, well, do you want to hear about the war? <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Megan said you can never say no for improv. It just makes it go nowhere. <laughs> this is just that normal crispy. Well, I guess don't do that. All right, let's try this again. Hey, wife, something on your mind? Yeah, uh, there's something oh. I've been wanting to say lately. Oh, what's that? The N-word. <laughs> why would you want to say that? 
It's 1949, isn't it? Don't we usually say the N-word? Oh, may maybe, yeah. The N-word is probably my favorite thing to just scream in public with no repercussions. 1949 is a great year for us. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? See what? That different colored family pulling out their who want to do the honors. What are the honors? Calling them the N-word, duh. Why would I do that? It's 1949. Why wouldn't you? Oh, right. Um... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, do you want to join the KKK? It's normal right now. No? Dude, what the fuck? Megan! What's the matter? Crispin said no during the improv. What the hell, Crispin? We went over this. No, but... Another God no! Damn it. I told you to get that word out of your vocabulary if you're gonna do this exercise. Yeah, but the situation got kinda... The situation doesn't matter. It's improv. No matter what, you never use that N-word. <laughs> then I have the power to fail you for the quarter. All right, so, uh, resume scene. Yeah, honey, should we sign up for the 1949 KKK initiation? Okay. Great to hear. By the way, could you tell me about the war? Oh, and use the N-word as much as possible when describing it. And scene. Oh, all right. So how'd we do? Uh, I'm gonna have a talk with Megan. Shit. I need a moment of recovery. I need a moment of recovery. <laughs> Holy shit! No, Nicole. <laughs> you were factually accurate, but that was out of pocket. Okay. That was... That was well written. This game is incredible in a horrible way. Why could this game be about Hunter? I just... Wow. Paul? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About... Okay, here Your we participation are. today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or...? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat oh, me Jesus as such. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is Megan, that how it, you it, talk it to is, your teachers? It's improv. Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me. Oh, my oh, God, also, chill out. Yes, she does. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss no, Tegan Megan and tell her everything. Teacher. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's she all fun and games, Nicole. Power tripping. Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject. We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus, please, Christ, uh, yes. Okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I have no part of that. Go ahead. Call me ugly again. No, thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss, Miss Megan. Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie. But sweetie. work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist. Holy shit. So then she went shut the fuck that up was over a lot. how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. Ugh. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be well, more I boring than a regular Well, I haven't had any trip like Weird. that. Yeah, I had a sub today, like, I too. Just cut, I, How'd that go? I just asked students to clean the whiteboard. That's... That's about it, really. God damn, Megan. Jesus. The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? <laughs> it's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama King kids the are so talk. fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, oh, that's boy. pretty much the student teacher. Careful. She's a massive Megan's bitch, Megan's gonna by get you expelled. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring. And then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking write you up, get you suspended, like, all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? I... She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Uh... Every week was a freakout. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum yeah. kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass, though. 
Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? I, is no, she gonna, like, no, fucking steal I support steal you. Chair? I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, do you what seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Holy shit, no, she I is a sociopath. you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza is just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk Jacker about this is in the correct. courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. <laughs> and you got the tickets, right? Oh, Megan. Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. Yeah, the Jack dinner best theater. Girl. Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll try better next time. Hunter. I'm stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? Hey, what? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. Also, I know for a fact hi, nobody he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. Megan and Hunter, you're gonna get married and Megan's be sleep. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. <laughs> this is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Oh, like boy. what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway. Me and Hunter share a science class next period. I, That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna order a hot pizza and wait for it to get cold. You know me so well. And so what does that mean? that's why I oh, wasn't super broken up. Okay, I think so far Mr. Bolliday is the only male teacher who is not a pedophile, white supremacist, rapist, or murderer. Or a crackhead. And also there is Jeffrey. Not confirmed yet. Okay, well, yet. We'll, we'll see. And my wife killed herself. We were going so good. We were going so well. God damn it. Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab gonna be about today? I meant questions <laughs> about my wife killing herself. Oh, sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Get the plan, Jeffrey. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's gonna be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other oh, if God. we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, like pizza. I thought we were lab partners. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Go away! <laughs> oh. Well, isn't Nicole. that kind of harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. <laughs> cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Oh, he's blushing. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not God, the TMI, voice tone. The uh, voice tone. I'm okay with it, but... Okay, fellas. If a girl's actually into you, she's not using that tone. That is, that is like the, the pretty princess, stereotypical, like, over the top. She's trying to either steal your wallet, a, a, a tension pickpocket, or buy a shit. No shit, well, there are some very, very intensely 
unworldly newborn babes in this room. Dense. That's, that's the word. So, fellas, if you, if you hear the tone, just, just, just don't, all right? It's not worth it. It doesn't matter if your pee-pee gets big. It's not worth it. Uh, well, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it. I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I got to go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? <clears throat> what? No, I meant gagging. I don't know <clears throat> the gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean Thankfully, like... Thankfully, Hunter uh, is too stupid. Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Say nothing. Um, I guess so. She's an actor actor too. Do you guys ever role play? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah. I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role playing. Oh, cool. What are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships. God, she's and winking. I can tell Megan's she's a winking. lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay. Don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing oh, head. Boy. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might oh, need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Hunter. Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Oh, but yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. He is like jumping straight in. that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative I wonder why, Nicole. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini Ooh. production of Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now, who's going to play the other side? Oh, fuck. Emily? Oh, this fuck. This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. <laughs> I'll do it. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Oh, shit. Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. This is gonna be messy. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking this good. This poor Amber. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just going to serve the time? No other options. But what about me? <laughs> what am I going to do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look... I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just Ouch. telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But, but what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh. Uh, and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. <laughs> okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? <laughs> uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh, oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over I what? Open, I Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know uh, I really appreciated the effort today. 
Seriously? What? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion is, and actually kind of moved me. Is, it's is like she, you were really she... trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Yes, weapons oh, is well. nitrous oxide. Okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. I, At first I is, thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? I, yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. Oh god. She's she's still like that. Alright, what's you know gonna happen? I honestly don't know. No, what's that? It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. No, the with it is the inhaling the yeah, nitrous oxide. I don't get it plant. either, but when they screw it up, it it's just bad, don't slides you? around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Like, instead of whippets, just, just do, like, cocaine or something. It's honestly better for you. For legal reasons, I, I'm not actually endorsing cocaine. Hi, Ginger, Sneer, and Coffee and Talk Beast, and Penguin stuff for you. Yeah, okay, so, health class. Whippets are also known as nitrous oxide. In a safe setting, controlled setting like a dentist chair, this is safe. It works by depriving, well, by filling up your brain and create a bunch of receptors, blah, 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 usual drug stuff, that causes you to hallucinate. It is essentially a psychedelic for a short acting amount of time, or a dissociative. Now, this is dangerous because if you're breathing it in, you're not breathing in oxygen. And if you breathe in oxygen, it's fine. But if you are acting like a drug fiend and not breathing in oxygen, it's really bad and can and does cause brain cells to die and you to pass out. So, the stupidest way to do this it's by getting cans of whipped cream and breathing them in. That's really fucking stupid. Don't do that. Because there's all sorts of other chemicals they put in, that goes into your lungs, that goes into all manner of other parts of your body, and you also get oxygen deprivation. And it's very silly. Don't do that. There are safer ways to do it, which I will not educate you on. Just do ketamine. It's a lot safer. Why do you know so much about this? I am of age. And I believe in harm reduction. Don't breathe shit from a can. It will fuck your brain up. Don't do it. Do other things instead. It's a lot more reward for your risk. Ketamine is also legal, by the way. I'd say that, not, of course, I'm no, I'm, would never say by street... Ketamine. I mean, sign up for a ketamine therapy trial. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone like all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. That's God damn, um, he's impressive. Yeah, I'm like, but I'm trying to get one with his face different. in it too so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for Ew. me. Ew. Uh, why would he do that Nicole. in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. Okay, that's an see? impressive amount of speed. Ugh. That's like yes. Lightning McQueen. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing <sighs> in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill them! Right, this is America. They're really weird about that for some reason. Right. In Australia, that doesn't happen. Like, the majority- no. Yeah, so she, that's right, she is also a porn addict, so that does explain it. <laughs> you can tell what people's uh, state is, so to speak, based on their, their messages about that. 
You love Venus preference in America? Yes. America is a very status-driven society based off of really weird reasons, like whether or not a penis is circumcised or whether or not you have an iPhone or an Android. I, I don't know why. Hello, Chunky Monkey. Welcome in. Yeah, especially in the 2000s. There, there's been a, a reduction in circumcisions over time. There, there is no actual tangible benefit to it. Yeah. It's just, it's just an American, like one doctor, I think, convinced America about it. Like, like it's like fucking cholesterol. Just, just, just wash behind your foreskin. It's not that difficult. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes, and also you can fit an Oreo in there. Like, you can, like, peel it back like the packet. Themselves. Maybe that's why you want to include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Shit. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. Damn it. So, um... Do we divide the mass by the volume? What the fuck is that? Is that like the guy from How You Met Your Mother? Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway. Who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really. It's just caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Jeffrey. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just... Us. What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I well, liked it well, too. Well, Hunter is it's actually just, trying. I think about how I feel talking to you and compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes I'll me. Oh, Hunter, you poor sweet how boy. So? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves oh, me. Oh, Hunter. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. Oh. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you I gotta be there said. when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? <laughs> yeah, actually, for the... No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? Yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. <laughs> I love Mr. Billiday. I love Mr. Billiday. Yeah, Mr. Normal, he's, he's, he's very normal. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, his voice is exactly what it should be. Wow. Yeah, most normal teacher in the school. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had Wait, an... Yeah. The, yeah, the jewelry box? Oh, the jewelry box. Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Oh, great. Another Tell me more. Box? No, it was on my brother's Uno Oh, then the you know. Like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. God damn it. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? Like, all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah, and while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and, oh God, listen to me. Not the, What's wrong? Oh no. We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about Not it like this. Not on Saturday Night Live, Bruno. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. 
If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. So far, well, he's just very stupid. It's only cheating if you say you love me. And, and really Seriously? naive. Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. That's yeah, not that's how it works. Cool. That's a very Japanese way of at looking like at that. things. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. <laughs> Do you want to go to I'm church? Sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? <laughs> Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father but not daddy? What? Well, I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat. Oh, Nicole, God. Please report to the counselor's office. Okay, what do we do? Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. I, Just let me know by Friday. Wh what do we do? This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. It's the marathon pedophile. Hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh. Okay. They have? Yes. They're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. How is this well, going to back way, into it? Great to see one of our most beautiful God students damn it. isn't just a pretty face. Immediately. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. Oh, fuck. Sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Ew. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off. Oh, fucking off Christ. Here. Okay. Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can <laughs> I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I, I was in French too and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like <sighs> Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. While well, he was there to his face? I'm sorry, Jess. Talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Uh. I was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No, he invited me to church this Saturday. Oh, Isn't church on God. Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's yeah, one of those the second game, by the way. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, <coughs> okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. <coughs> who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? Do you think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. <laughs> High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. 
Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do want to do? You know what I want to do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Megan. Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's yeah, kid? Yeah, this one was like relentless. Out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough. So, playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement? Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, 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 thanks, guys. You've said and one. Playing the role of Juliet will be. Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Wait. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but you're on stage. Oh my God, she is actually. Has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. Wait, is she like actually? No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. I... Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Holy oh, shit, it's the brother. Dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? It's him. Can not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that He's works. He's exactly no, what I expected. Like every, well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Technically correct. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece and stuff. Ugh. Ew. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. I haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic. But let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would... I really, yeah, I really hope he doesn't have, like, a camera. Just, like, in the box. That would be bad. What? You know what? Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key oh, the belt. ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. I bet he sent that many pictures of the same thing over and over. Oh yeah, the, the oh, brother and different things and pirated some a CD. Pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control yeah, that, felt that, that, that really awesome. Out. That, that, that Nicole, checks that's out. that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. <laughs> exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely awful. Run less than five guys, phones off, let's get it together. Oh no. Megan's number? Check. Oh no. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. Hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. Good luck Nicole. to you too. Nicole. Oh fuck, there's only one option. Megan is gonna stab us. Oh fuck. Well, we've made our bed. It's time to lie in our cradle of of dick pics and shame. And we lack got of circumcision. Two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. Oh. What an amateur. 
So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo okay, she's line, not a yelling out of control, and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Oh. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough. Holy shit, Nicole. Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow. I want to let you know I'm not mad at you or anything. It's so to hang out. She broke up with me, but that isn't why I'm texting. I just genuinely like you. Not even for the sexting, because I think you're a good person on the inside. I want a real relationship that's cool with you. Hunter. Oh, that, that poor, sweet, stupid boy. That's not a good ending. We made a woman feel like shit. Well, okay, well, there wasn't a school shooting, but still. That's just an ending where people didn't die. Let's instead go to art class. For this week's assignment, let's really okay, open let's the floor life. of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're gonna draw a few characters. We're gonna draw a newspaper? It's like newspaper without the ink. Our teachers are either really, really nice or really, really old. For drawing on newspaper. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And oh. with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be it's drawing same characters. VA. Any characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you okay. feel is worth the time to draw. Can my characters murder bitches? Kyla. Be mindful that anything we do in this class okay, what's gonna be must the fuck, be what's, what's gonna be the fucked up thing? Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole. What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. She is correct. Think, why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? God, bitches and shit. If there are no further questions, I'll hand you your papers he and we can begin. He has not launched into a tirade. So this is going remarkably well. Mind you, this is also the reality where we got shot by a police officer. All right, well, let's, what do you, what do you think? Fuck drawing or actually draw? What would you like? Draw, okay. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's, it's negative negativity. to think your class is a waste of time. That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch Ugh. the language. Watch The Office. The Office? The TV show? Yeah, it's for people who aren't funny. You'll love it. Hey, I like The Office. <laughs> So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year of high school. Oh, that was me. Never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing. Or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. Next terrorist attack better be in art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? 
Your friend's it's 2008. doing it. Why not join her? Because she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. Why would you put any of this on MySpace? Online networking is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? That only happens if of Kyla Owl jumps Town? off the roof. You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. And MySpace is that future. Welcome aboard, Nicole. Oh my god. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do you a little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability? Yes. Oh, yeah. You'll see. I will. Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. Do you like drawing or whatever? No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so Oh god, so Jeffrey's gonna put a shit on. Too. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. See? No, I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? <laughs> God, I drew for an hour, and then in two days, I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? <laughs> Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Laurie? <gasps> uh, both. Well, I wish more people understood him. He's been through a lot this year well, in his home life. He doesn't make you draw How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. Oh, we Jeffrey. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing and oh, his God. wife cheating on him. Oh, and... wait, wait. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um, I think this might have been private. Yes, I don't Jeffrey, know if you I should, should not tell, tell Nicole. You. No, come on. I can't. Come on, Jeffrey. Oh, don't damn you want to make me happy? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you go ahead and tell me, okay? It was the UPS man. <laughs> Holy shit. What? From teacher to mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Jeffrey, uh, don't you trust me? Uh, okay, I trust Jeffrey. you. Thank you. She's fucking down? Yeah, he's pathetic, right? What if she's just really ugly? When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Yeah, but she still cheated. It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Oh, totally. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? Sup, bitches. Who invited you? Me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with like games and shit. Is it 1920? Oh, Why confidence. would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920 is a cool year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. God, shut up. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your Oh, loss. yeah, he is also hey, whoa, a rapist. What's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fuck. Like, like, not in the future. As a positive, no, like he actually did rape, rape. So he's no, Kyler is not a good person. He also plays the cross at a non professional level, and it's really, really sad. You, dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to, like, he, he was kind of going at you. We're not gonna fuck either of you. Oh, whatever then. Yeah, you play yeah. lacrosse professionally, oh. also no. They literally do that every week. Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? Nah, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No, just every commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. They're the gay channel. It's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, hey. God. Let's huh? keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Why, why is oh, he I here? I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final prize. Beautiful okay, you girls can leave that out. Beautiful pictures. Right, girls? When it's a mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit God damn it. Cool, another child predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. Ugh. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies. 
right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Yeah. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers flirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, No, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls who make bad decisions. A little late for that. This is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. Name one incident. The time you dated your gym teacher? I needed money, that doesn't count. (laughs) Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If they're beautiful and hot, absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together and we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine! Stop lying! Quit shoplifting! Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem! What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now! Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho trials? You have two options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth. The MILF window's closing, Mom. I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my balance? Top shelf on the left. Ooh. Why did I say oh, we when shit. they talk about okay. football teams? All Hold right. on. What are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing Holy for this class, shit. but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if art Well, considering all the other stuff happens, the mom is at the oh, end of the I just finished my drawing. What'd you draw? Bitches getting killed. Women dying is cool. You should move when you graduate. Yeah. Unfortunately, the deadline for your character drawings has come. Oh, I will now walk around you. to provide feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, yeah, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not <laughs> even real. You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, <laughs> shit, sorry. I mean... Whatever. Now, I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? You worked hard on it. Let's share it <gasps> oh with the God. class. If you say so. This is... What is this? Oh, it's a picture of you killing yourself while your wife blows the UPS man. <laughs> what? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lynn handle you. I'm sorry, sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. (laughs) This bitch better have some Valium left. Expelled! Oh, fuck. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely! Yeah. Indefinitely, meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, Mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know. It's not even your problem. Just oh, fuck wait. off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Oh, fuck. Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. Pack your shit. Get out of shit. my house. Go drink some wine. You're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Like, come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it. Oh, shit. God damn it. 
Well... Oh, I texted like five minutes ago. Okay, what the hell is going on? Do you still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Pib, but yeah. Oh, I guess Mr. that's fine. Pib. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch, tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. Mr. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Well, you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. What the fuck is Mr. Pib? I need to see what the- what the fuck is this? Artificially flavored spicy cherry soda. Huh. Fucked up Dr. Pepper, okay. Interesting. Dr. Pepper tastes like cold medicine in Australia, so we don't drink it. Mom will get pissed. That'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Yeah, it does look like okay, mom so me. you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least give me all the fruit roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Wonder which mall has the softest benches. Those are the worst benches ever. Uh, sorry, some water went down the wrong way. Uh. Oof. Alright, I'm okay. I'm okay, alright, so... Nicole is harmless. This is going fantastically. I am choking. This is also going fantastically. Let's continue. Fucking up what homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here oh, early. early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his uh, oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from right. you where you do illegal shit. Oh, I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You add the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. That was true. Drugs, guns, and ass. But and the there are a lot of feds. That? No, they're old ass cops. So, so. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear, because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money on MySpace. Oh, I don't have any drugs or guns to sell. Of games. You know what I meant. Uh, oh, I don't know fuck. I'm ready to be a MySpace escort. Have you never thought about it before? Can I no, I think about it every week. Oh, I just never God, thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. I think you'd be very yeah, but would I think Thank less you. of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Yeah, I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. One ten. You said a hundred on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, one ten. Here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. Oh, let me know when you're Tom. not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate <laughs> the homeless. Okay. Seriously, like a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. Yeah, but that's an opinion. Like, the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping in a meat grinder so we have something to feed farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Whoa, fine. Are you like an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Jesus Christ! What? Oh, uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I, I gotta I just, go. I have no words. Okay, I gotta figure something out. All right, let's, let's save. There are, there are many. Now 
many pathways in front of us. Also, I should have some chips. I just realized I opened the pack of the chips and I didn't, I only ate one. It goes stale at a remarkable rate. It's a simply pure deliciousness, potato, sour cream, and chives. 25% less fat. Maybe, that, maybe the, the lack of fat is what makes it go stale. Hi, Lillian. No, they, they weren't stale like a couple hours ago. I, I like, I just opened them. But also, I do like chives. Hi, little lime. You want to shrimp show? Yeah, probably. Alright, all right, I'll, I'll get the fuck, I'll get the fuck at your phone. Just, 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 like, a... Th I actually really like these chips. You wish you were a trip. Like, you, you want me to like, eat you? And like a nut, and, and just like a, a death way? I'm sorry, I kind of forgot where I was for a second. I'm, I'm just eating chips. Hi, you guys doing? I, I, are, you <laughs> are you enjoying the game? I'm, I'm enjoying these chips. Hey, experience. Yeah, it is a game. Hi, cold bolts. We're doing great. We're homeless. I'm eating chips. Teacher's gonna kill you. The teacher is definitely gonna kill us in at least one thing. Maybe several that did, did that also happen in the last game, so. <laughs> the HD and Blu ray are about to take off. Unfortunately for them, Netflix is a thing. No, we did not find the origami killer. I love chips. I like fucking like crack in there. Made with Australia grown potatoes. No MSG. 
That's impressive. Fuck it. Fuck, okay, what the fuck is in these chips? All right. Potatoes. That's always a good start. Sunflower oil. And or canola oil. Whey powder, salt, dextrose, onion powder, yeast extract, mineral salt, sugar, garlic powder, natural flavors, milk, herb chives, rice flour, food acid, lactic acid, citric acid, buttermilk powder, sour cream powder, soy, protein, maltodextrin, antioxidants, tocopherol, ascorbic acid, rosemary extract. Yeah, how can we and or? You made the recipe. What, what do you mean or no? Hi, McMarshall. Welcome in. Yeah, like, you can't just, like, sell a can of beans and say it has beans and or meat. It, it doesn't work like that. Like, you can't have a superposition of chips. Yeah, whatever falls into the grinder that there. Like, you can't just say that. Otherwise, like, yeah, so there's this bag. This bag of drugs. It has meth and or heroin. That's just bad business. That's, that's just not being specific. The world is a bad place because people aren't specific enough. It has been in separate locations that use different oils but both export to the same locations. And theoretically, they could just put every ingredient on the planet as and or. It doesn't mean they should. Yeah, may or may not contain fentanyl. Contents partially unknown. The fuck does that mean? Yeah, allergen warning. May contain. Alright, alright, one more, one more chip. It's a Saturday. That was a nice break. Yes, I was licking my fingers. Let's go back to the horrible game. Yeah, potato chip gold in it. Okay, so welcome to FYE. Wait, shit, did we say if we did? Okay. I thought it was FI. Uh, no, FYE, it's an abbreviation. I'm Kelly, I'll be your manager. Yeah, we go to school I, together. I, I, I know do you, we? Kelly. I don't think we properly met. Are you yes. fucking with me? Okay, Nicole, that language is okay amongst coworkers, but not in front of the customers. So, first training question, what does FYE stand for? For your excitement? Try again. For your ejaculation? No, that's our adult video branch. <laughs> for your entertainment? Good. But not only are the products for the there customer's it entertainment, it's also the store experience. Are you saying we gotta flirt with the customers? If you wanna sell that rewards Hi, program- Hi, welcome then. Is that optional? How you doing? Sell it once a month or else you're fired. Oh, and after hours, am I allowed to sleep in the break room? I mean, I don't care, but the regional manager might. I can close every night. Even the days I'm not working, I'll just show up to close. Dang, really? Yeah, do whatever you want That's, then. that's a very better. attractive business and do you proposition. Drug test? No, it's an FYE, not a hospital. This is gonna be sick. <clears throat> Glad to hear. Let's go out on the floor so I can this show you how great. it's done. Exit. Okay, if you didn't know, so this game is about horrible soon. people Remember and horrible the four decisions. Remember to the register? 
greet, compliment, help, entertain. Oh my god, good memory. I try. Because I have to now. It's oh, fucking Crispin. Hey, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Oh, yeah, hey. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Uh, oh, god damn. Yeah, most people were kind of down on this Guns N' Roses. Really? I thought it was even better than the first movie. Movie? So oh you looking god. for anything in particular? Uh, some DVD box sets for a road trip. Oh, yeah. Collections are right over here. But you gotta pick the right one this or you're in for great. a miserable drive. Yeah, really? My ex-boyfriend picked the most boring movies. That's why I'm single now. Oh, man, sorry to hear. What a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess it's like JB Hi Fi, like Sanity. My space is. I wonder if this place has Anna. Oh, no. Nicole? Hi, welcome to FYE. I didn't know you worked here. Well, now you do. By the way, nice, um, damn. Nice what? Compliment. Uh, you nice shirt. don't look like a regular. That's rapist. not much of it. Thanks. So, are you looking for anything, Nicole? Well, actually, I wandered in here under the assumption there would be anime DVDs. Cool. Um, do you have any? No, we don't carry anime, so sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Leave? But why? You're just gross. You look like you were breastfed. Nicole eight. What? You're just saying that because of my breast milk fetish. So now you really have to leave. But what? But Nicole, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Hello. I like your shirt, dude. Really funny. Oh, thanks. Aww. My mom got it for me at Target. That's uh. really hot. What brings you here today? Anime. So we only have a few anime DVDs, but you can look at them on that back shelf. She's a skilled oh, salesman. Okay, I could browse for a moment. And I'll be with you in just a sec. Nicole, could I have a word with you in the break room? Okay, I got a redo. That was Nicole, a psycho customer. you're fucking up. Sure, he was a little off, but you can't just insult the customers like that. You saw how I handled him. I it's Yeah, but he didn't see the other weird shit about his breast milk fetish. Nicole, it, we're in the yeah. business of sales. If the customer yeah. says he has a breast milk fetish, you tell that bitch to drink up. <laughs> That's insane. That's customer service. He won't remember what he bought, the, the, the but the he will get remember tips. telling the pretty girl working at FYE about breast milk and her being totally cool with it. I don't get it. Is this Hooters? Basically. But instead of wings, we sell DVDs. And instead of a boob job, you get a lip ring. Why the hell did I get Oh my a job? god, it's this just like JB Hi Fi. Holy shit, it's just like JB Hi Fi. This is like a universal constant. I've literally seen it. FYE sell porn duties at Guko and Sailor Moon. Oh my god. It's literally JB Hi Fi. For the Australians. Wow. Do we do we get like a do like like do we have to dye our hair and and also wear a tie? But like not a cool not like a business tie, like a cool tie. With like a t-shirt. MySpace. You can do that? Hell yeah, I Emily told me. It's on the internet so the cops don't track it. I've been having sex for free this whole time. You're telling me I could have got paid for it? <laughs> yeah, you want to try it with me? Fuck this place, let's quit. I'm the manager, remember? So you get a lanyard, big deal. This lanyard means I make $9.25 an hour, plus discounts, plus Ouch. benefits. Yeah, you're kind of set that's, for life here. That's not much. How long do we have to work before they give us the lip ring? We don't give you one. You just get it yourself. Oh. Well, I quit then. Okay, it was nice working with you. Yeah, good luck. Shit. God, my Nicole, sucks on the we phone. are now homeless. Do I make a new oh shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Oh, stop. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now, though. What should my name be? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. How about dirty little rental? Ew. Little slutty. All right, what about... I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX <laughs> Pierced Princess XX. It's available. There you go. Damn, you went from like hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that. When you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with yeah. these people against your will. So who do I ask? Yeah. How do I even know they're around here? Like, like, like working in retail is basically just prostituting your brain. 
it's 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 not fun. I I don't recommend it. Done over ten years. You poor poor slut. It's a t-shirt of, of Teddy Bear blowing its brains out. It is. The customer service voice, yes. Thankfully was fired. Oof. Yeah, everyone just has like a, a service mode setting. One guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? Uh, Cream Pie oh my Casanova God, Jesus. 420. Yeah, I see him here. Added. So when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but I, how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you I, done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Oh. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I right. gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. This is sketchy. I guess this, I this is not good. Make my mom mad. Nicole. You know, for two weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. No, I think homeless. she's 17. What, do you think everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit and Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Yeah. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, <laughs> but... How's being a whore going? Escort? Or that... Whatever means... Oh, Jekker is so worried. Sex. On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. So, what are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even oh. worth hard. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this wide range of emotions oh. from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. Oh. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not uh, paying it. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. They're not free if you're doing favors for them. Let's not get that deep. But you're only the, the doing math this because you're that good. For real? What I'm saying is being a regular hoe for actual cash would be better yes. than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs oh, fuck. because I can't do this sober. Well, I can't beg sober. Shit. I can't starve sober. And I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but why not go to a women's shelter or something? You can't have drugs in a women's shelter, I, which is the last place you oh. want to be sober in. I guess. It's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this. It's so gross. Well, a month ago, I wasn't homeless. But when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't normally do. Are you trying to guilt me right now? She is trying to guilt me. I don't need to try. I gave you fruit roll-ups. What do you want <laughs> from me? Jacka. This is so much easier than phone my space. Let's see. I can only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. That's that, I that's guess I good. have enough on me to get me through it. Also, please keep this to yourself. I have a high profile career. And I don't I the want this just like around. the sugar. High profile means rich. And rich means blackmail. It's definitely money. a teacher. But I can't hold up a camera phone in his it's face for definitely the proof. a teacher. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace on the library. Shut computers. the fuck up, Karen. Karen. Right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? Rules are rules, Nicole. That you is need fair. to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um... Your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Oh my Did god. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. 
I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're like really distinctive in a hot way. You could like be in Playboy with a quadratic formula tramp stamp. <laughs> tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic to dogs. Christ, whatever. Karen, do you see what I'm saying? You're a hot bitch. Act like one. What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing <sighs> unpaid internship at the local library. Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta right. log off. Thank you, Karen. Enough. So how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay, so you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Okay. Th thank you, Karen. That, okay, was, that was very that helpful. camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player. Do not or say Steve truly Jobs, a white wood. Or the guy who invented Adderall. Oh, I think that's him. It's so dark, you probably can't even recognize oh, me. Oh God. It better not just be the coach. Better be someone else. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged. Oh Here's God damn it. What the fuck? You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori! Oh, God! You work at a school and you're on that part of my space? Uh, Nicole, please don't! Oh, no! That's why your wife left you! You kept paying for ass on the internet! Emily, come out here! Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what was this? We thought you were gonna be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. I have two witnesses! Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been doing this? Girls, please! I'm just very anxious! <laughs> I popped three Zans and I'm still <laughs> freaking out! How do you think I feel? No, come on. Let, let's work something out here. Oh like my what? god, this no, is fuck great. That. This dude got me expelled. He ruined my life. I'm sorry, Nicole. Just please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand each. But on a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you gotta worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All yeah. right, fine. Ouch. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. We won't tell a soul. Why would you trust them? You know, damn well we told after we got the money. <laughs> I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board. Ugh. And the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Well, that's Everything good. Everything just kind of worked out. That's... Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. It, yeah. Jekka was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Bend over, bitch. Well, for, for all intents and purposes, that, that wasn't a bad ending, I, I suppose. I, well, so there's only two more. Are you still- Hey, my buddy Craig gave me your number. Are you still offering the whipped creamed ham jobs? Or is it Sam's whipped cream now? Not sure if that was a limited time only thing like the Pizza Hut 4 for all. God, that was such a convenient option because I hated when me and my golf buddies would order half onions and the entire pizza tasted like onions. Anyway, I'll be a very gentle and respectful client. By the way, is it extra for when you pretend to be my daughter who died last year? Like we talk about how you're doing in social studies or something. Well, you pound my hog to Jenny McCarthy show reruns playing in the background. Brownie points if you can cry on command XOXO. Pound my hog. Wow. Yeah, who up pounding they hog? Incredible. I hate it here. No, you love it here. This this is great. This is a great time. I love the, the pizza on Fofu. 
Oh, incredible. All right, all right. Our next option is Steiger and Car Wash. In a hardware store alone. Now I know how it feels to be racist. Hey, Nicole. Uh, oh, oh God wait, damn it's it. not awkward. Uh, what's awkward? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them, but I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Yeah, it is Did really well read. No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Do you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash. Near the chemical supplies, but I'm still class president. Could you not interrupt me? I'm not in class anymore. You're not I was my luckily president. Getting two shoes. Well, I'm still a person, so you should respect me. Dude, I'm like I said last time, the worst thing my school had was a problem with. Well, we, we did have a slave auction, but. It, it wasn't malicious, it was... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just realizing... Yeah. <clears throat> Look, I mentioned it last time, alright, so Australian schools, especially in uh. rural areas, at some periods of time, had slave auction... <laughs> had slave auctions. Uh, for the for the students, so the the older students, like the the final years, would be auctioned off to who are the highest bidder of students in the school, and sometimes it'd be wholesome, like you had to follow around as their friend. Other, other my schools had slave auctions, you were missing out, and uh yeah, sometimes it'd be you'd be sold to a little shit of a kid that would just want to punch you for money, for actual money. It was for fundraising. Yeah, sometimes you do your other favors, like a high five. No, you fucking didn't. Oh shit, yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> yeah, so like, some schools did it. S some schools had slave auctions. That was a thing. They really didn't think of it. No, they did not think about it. At all. They they definitely did not. What'd you go for? I did not. Shockingly. I didn't participate in the slave auction. Because. I was terrified. <laughs> Thank you, Barbarian, for the gifts of the Dark Lord Dentalian. Oh, you have slave auction for teachers in my school. One male teacher dress up in a pink tutu. Yeah. Yeah. What was the real name instead of slave auction? That was the, the real name. They, they didn't use a euphemism. They, they just called it the slave auction. It was a different time. Yeah. Realizing that they, they probably should have realized a, a long time ago that, that, yeah. So, hmm. duct tape people and beans to charity. Oh, that was also a thing of mine. They would also uh, throw toilet paper covered in their piss to the ceiling. So, like a, like an alien hive. It would rain piss on you. Yeah. Come to think of it, school was not that great. We... We had slaves. Okay, yeah, school was not good. I'm out of high school. You're just a memory now. There's zero consequences for anything I say to you. Are you even- You're a whore. Excuse me? I have a 
boyfriend and a purity ring. Oh, for real? Get one. that's like, why. No, it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you. I don't need to take this. I'm on the honor roll, something you'll never do. Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Are you threatening me? Jesus. No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. Hey, <laughs> slut. And there is no one she can report me to. Awesome. Hand wash for only eight bucks. Great deal. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. With that sponge, fuck the homeless. <laughs> you drive a Corolla. What are you worried about? Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look... I mean, yeah. And I'd really like to wash a car like yours. I bet it's fast. Yeah, 300 horsepower. Oh, good. Every guy from Let's Dance like this. Of course not. It is what it is, right? Every dude. Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats oh, yeah, and the everything. The, the leather, leather is seats. so sexy. You want to take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. <laughs> Since when the fuck do gay people drive Mustangs? I gotta find a new spot. <laughs> Teachers are charitable, right? Damn, he went 60 and a 10. He's gone bowling, Jesus. Oh, hey, sweetie, what oh, you doing here on fuck. a Saturday? I'm doing a car wash. Are you sure you're allowed to do that at school without staff I supervision? Crackism. I'm a student here. It's whatever. Are you sure you're allowed to go that fast? Ah, there's no kids around today. And even if I hit one, it's just a write-off. How is that a write-off? Because you write them off the student list. <laughs> wow, so you want a car wash? I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet and I'll give you Ew. ten. I'm in high school, Mr. Colby. You're right, you're right. Fifteen then. Ew. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? Years in prison at this rate. <laughs> Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is this true? I didn't get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Honey, you can't be here. God you gotta damn. go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. <laughs> well, I'll report you for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh... Well, maybe we could just forget about all this. Oh, what? I didn't see anything. You were literally walking oh. up as he said it. No, actually, as Megan, I recall, you, you were offering fuck. him a topless car wash. Right, Mr. Colby? Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Are you actually fucking kidding me? Who's the whore now, Nicole? You Jesus bitches are fucked up. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh, shit, what's up? Let's hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. Oh, just wait, shit. Is there a repeat? Are you homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks. Did you... I'm, I, yeah. Uh, is there, I, I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom mad. What do you think, everybody? No, but... What do you think? You know? I guess if one of them... God, this... Anyway, I gotta go. I guess... Wouldn't a lot of guys that you're meeting... Uh, well, uh, what, they're, they're, oh, plus, but you wouldn't... I can't... And there's there's a lot of dialogue in this one. Okay, so it's just the same one. Well, it's just I guess the same you one. can use the computer for uh Hey, you okay. repeat ending. All right, let's let's go back to the so college is a repeat. Let's say fuck bitch, drawing. you do that shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art. Not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? Well, yes. So what are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, oh. and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? For the easy GPA. What fucking college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? Hi, it's like I'd rather be an A in an easy class than a B in a hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. You have a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? Well, you have a teaching yes. a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> Let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. She, she knows. Nicole, we're not even a weekend and you're getting sent to the principal. Like, New trust, record, trust don't be me. jealous.
She doesn't. You're on your care. final warning, Nicole. Oh. Final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. Oh. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. Also what am I supposed true. to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here is a game to you? No, yes. Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into yeah, a her different program is back. here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. <laughs> Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push, and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have alternative learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. I, really now? I wouldn't look at it as an out. Believe me when I tell you, the classes you're in now are a lot more like pleasant. a prison class. We'll see about that. Again, this is gonna be great. final warning. I just don't understand why oh, we Jeffrey. can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Oh, uh -huh. Jeffrey. Besides, I can't even stomach the American version. They just change so much. He's just it's not like a this. faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online community. All right. The Digital Millennium Copyright oh, yeah, this Act. Is about Have when. you heard of it? This is about when. shut the fuck up? What? Hey! You're going off about copyright and shit. You can't even tie your era. shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all? You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what's wrong <laughs> about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite. Second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want <sighs> Jeffrey. one. Jeffrey. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things. But one day, Jeffrey. yes. Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck you. Who, who said I was trying to do that with you? Just to talk between friends, I don't think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that there way... It is. Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I Holy hope you kill shit. yourself while your mom watches. I'm hearing a bit of profanity over here. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing. Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. At least he's making him draw his don't dead worry, life. Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. But I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I'd better myself. No, That's I was not, extra mean no. to get written up, so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. <sighs> oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a- Just stop there. Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? Even Jack is yeah. worried. That's really good. Never mind. I know, right? And that didn't get you written up? Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for Little major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, kids who are going to go to jail straight after graduation. It's like yeah. the worst of the worst. You don't every be in day classes. is Saturday school, really but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me Sir, story time. I've been in bad classes before for bad kids because... There was this newfangled teaching style in the 2000s where they figured that if you put the really, really good, really fucking nerdy kids with the really fucking bad kids, that the good kids would rub off on them. Instead, it meant that the good kids were rubbed off on the pavement. It was not a very fun time. They had Play-Doh. That led to the, the bad kids figuring out that they could put it in the freezer and essentially have a shot put that was really easy to throw. 
and they threw it at my knees. They would also pull my hair. They would punch students. Someone held a lighter up to me and threatened to burn my face. But they also got computer time. <laughs> because it was meant to be a classroom where the good kids and the bad, like the good kids rub off and the bad. Yeah, it's a great fucking time. That was a wonderful decision that those people and the faculty made because high school teachers are overwhelmingly skilled. How the news today, I have arthritis. Listen to my bones. Kids to be cool. Kids are bad. Kids have no empathy. They eventually grow into it. Did you grow up in the ghetto? I've lived in very bad areas, yes. I made a friend. But only because, uh, well, technically, not really, though. Well, there was a girl who wanted to beat me up, so he instead punched her in the face. And so, like, I guess I was like, well, I, I guess he's my friend. I, I don't want him to punch me in the face. He's suddenly capable. So he caused a girl, well, no, she was bullying me. He, he just decided to beat the shit out of her. I, I, I guess it was for a good reason. She was a bully, but, but also I was terrified of him. Beat the shit out of her. He got suspended. And, and, and she, had to go to a doctor. They test out being psychos, see if they like it. If they have empathy, they stop. If not, they keep being little psychos. Also, yes, that is something that very much happens. Is the, the, the difference between a psycho and a non psycho is just how much they try it as kids. Non set up fear in bad schools. No, that's called being weak. Because generally, or when you let yourself get picked on, it means everyone else sees you as someone that they can easily pick on. Yeah, it's it's different from like a normal school. I I really wanted to move out of this area. <laughs> I told my dad he was not very happy. This is also within the span of like weeks. This was this was not years. This was like weeks. It was a really bad school. For watching two shows, I don't know, know how people could be suspended from school, it never happened. Oh, I did punch a kid in the face. But I didn't get suspended for it, instead my dad bought me ice cream. Because technically it was self-defense. And, and the laws were weaker back then. None, none of like this stupid bullshit where they punish both sides today. No, one of the tallest people. No, actually, I was I was quite short. I ain't never done. Yeah. Well, in rural schools, uh, you don't get suspended for smoking because the 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 Darrow kids un understood that you could just stash a bong in 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 the bush. Not not the bushes in a shrub, but the bushes in the gigantic. Out back behind the school. And and they would just ditch ditch cloths to go into the bush and and smoke a bong. Cause what the fuck are the teachers gonna do? Fall on the snakes. The school boy decided to pick on me one week. After the last day where he said breaks under mine, I lifted him up, spun him in the air, I was about to tombstone him. <laughs> Just, just the phrase, I was about to tombstone him. Fantastic. I'm glad you stopped and you didn't paralyze him from the neck down. I punched a kid in the face because he's a dick to me. I only got away with it because boys will be boys. See, that, that's the positive. I got this benefit video kid with a book and pulling a knife on a bully of school function. They thought I'd end up as the quiet kid. 
the group in the school. That's kind of impressive, actually. I was a big kid. I was 6'3". Incredible. But yeah, schools battle around. Slave auctions. Bad children. Brutality. Yeah. All right, all right, let's let's go back to the alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just gonna let you do whatever you want? If I just wanna sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. Mm -hmm. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Well, hold on, what's your textbook there? It's for government, why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. Yeah. What the fuck? You should do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong. Because you're surprising. disappointing us here. Wait, are you not gonna write me up? Hi, it's the no child left behind, actually. Oh, god damn it. I don't wanna escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. So, why'd you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, is there a hostility <laughs> towards government class? Are you really not gonna write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh, because our government hates women. <laughs> Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence oh God, you to spread your message? That. You say that if you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. Oh, fuck. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principal. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I can sit with you if you want. Oh, no, fuck off. You really don't waste any time, do you? Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously. Is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Yeah, that well, makes a lot of sense. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women. That's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism oh. as communism. See? He's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with you. Wait, wait. So, are you writing me up? Fuck. Or... Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. God damn You're it. very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, Nicole. <laughs> I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. Damn it. Good news, Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you get eight alimony checks a month. Where the eight. fuck did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and All when right. that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at P.F. Chang's <laughs> not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I got a job in catering for that little kosher deli in Falls Church. What, Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. Nicole, I do not hate Jewish people. Uh -oh. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust uh -oh. go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Let's not read into it. I won't feed into your negativity and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is I, that from? Again, happy thoughts. So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know. <laughs> it took them long enough. No, what the fuck? 
fuck is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. <gasps> excuses, Aww. excuses. But weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm going to go up to my room and <coughs> up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. How do you fold the strong? Gotta find a real fucking job, is, bitch. Is, is it like your? Is like a special way? Jacko is freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough and crazy. Oh yeah, she's hey, really good at being remedial English too. Wait, just English? I thought all my classes would be here. Nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still uh, have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. Oh, I wish the Holocaust fuck. happened. What was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. So this is remedial classes. All right, time to start. I want to see you all in your assigned oh, seats. Lady. I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. I... Are we finished? Oh, she didn't say shit. Jeez. I see we have a new She's student. Good. Welcome to Remedial English. My name is Miss Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Oh, fuck, she's Listen good. Listen iPods. Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the She's course? Good. Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one earbud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate Yeah, what the for fuck's English. wrong with her? Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge caravan, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. Oh, shit. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. Oh, he's just a His conspiracy music? theorist in general. He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, guys. Okay? Socially conscious music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of modern poetry by the African-American community. I, I, you wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article on it. Yeah, do you have Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern okay. poetry. It needs she, to be she four pages, be a good teacher. double spaced, that would and actually be more surprising. citations of proper modern poetry we don't Friday. read Welcome proper modern poetry and this assignment will force you to do so what about our music poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers the misogyny alone is sickening what misogyny a variety of things i'd rather not repeat are you bad at pronouncing the slang i might too it's okay why is lunch at like Thank you, 10 Emily. 30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Yeah. Tyler, was that a negative remark I just heard? Oh. This fucking guy. It wasn't even negative. How's calling some bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat oh, yeah. last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Oh Why don't fuck, you come he's with even me up to Kyler. I hate talking. Talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. <laughs> Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? What's wrong with your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. Goddamn. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, where do All right, well, we'll like, let him go around Emily. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. Ouch. So do you guys actually do the essays here? Yeah, and remedial you have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. Ooh. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting a good paper. It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? Triple C's? No, C's. bitch. Quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. What I stole a bunch from C? Rite Aid yesterday. 
They weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the beltway, they don't care at all. No, if only I had a car. What the fuck so, is you want to do them with me? Maybe a little early to get high on cough medicine. Oh. What? Like, we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 10.30. This way, quickly. Ugh, how do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back Yeah, there. Australian Cough Syrup doesn't have skip? that, so that's why I'm do confused. Wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. Hi, well, Jay, where do you want to go? I don't know. I I'll around. Around. I got a prescription to pick up. We yeah, Alan doesn't have that, sir. Do that as in go there, or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, you can't mm -hmm. do that with Seroquel. It's not a fun high. Oh. So what's Seroquel for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's like an antipsychotic, or it's an antipsychotic? I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed your tires. Cool. Oh. Yeah. So, you want to go with me? I Why think can't you just go yourself? Emily I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step of reading Might be a worse friend than Jessica. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with someone cool. This might be a bad me? idea. What? No, I got a boyfriend. But do you actually love him? Yeah. No. Oh, fuck. I love that my parents hate him. Close enough. But seriously, come on, let's go. Skip school with the violent old girl. Well, chat, it's time to make mistakes. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? We can't but fix it. I don't it. know. You already know what you're getting if We're you go back there. Worse. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition <laughs> writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car, so pretty much anywhere oh, we want. Fuck. What car you drive? 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. Yeah, but all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them oh as my God. openers. That's hot. You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I she know, does look right? very Avril Lavigne. Right, let's go. Cool. But first, we got to stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. <laughs> Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here? Or are you just Kristen. some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. <laughs> exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Uh, business like what? Uh, business like... I heard you buy Bud. Oh, Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Oh, fuck Is off. it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. Okay, so what? 175? How about 120 oh, shit. Buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Emily. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Oh, fuck, you took 20 Benadryls. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. Oh, you were really good. Shit. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. Jesus. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just this wait till we bad. get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana is a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Yeah, did you see the homicide? God, they enabled each other. Gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so hot. Yes, Fuck, they did just OD a child. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole. You can't I didn't sell know you guys Jeffrey. were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You cannot you know sell his name? You don't? No, I just call him Nerd Shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30. School's been over. Wow. 
Time is like automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, oh since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? No, no. What she means is like he does not know what that blaze means right now. Blaze, like Blaziken the God Pokemon. God damn it, Jeffrey! That was what? worse she could than I expected. Pokemon. What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. You're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? Jeffrey. They're only up to 493 now. Just by the way. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG Kush? Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make us stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. When she said the Blaziken, you, learn how to pay attention you should have known class. you couldn't try I'll to sell anything. Never. I hate him so much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You've seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. Yeah. I've literally told him huh. to kill himself, and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, oh me too. So he just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got oh a my god. Up. It's okay. What Fuck yeah, do Jeffrey. Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. He's in. I'm not happy for him. After The, the, the school shooter future has been prevented. Jeffrey has a girlfriend. Karen has taken one for the team, and we're all gonna live. <laughs> Probably a real human, thanks to the follower. Wait, he just talked to us? Me neither. Are we gonna do something about it? I think you already know. Oh no. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did actually. It's okay though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big Shit. deal. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Hiya, blub. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow? no. I guess so. That'd be good. In, like, a date sort of way. Yeah, I'd like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Jeffrey. Um. Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um... Okay. What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us uh, either. Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? But they're making all this up. I don't understand. I am a virgin. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon before going down on me? Yes. 493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Y were you yes. cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not yes, only will he would. cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. <laughs> oh, no. You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need you to pay for my treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go! What the? Karen, no! Come Hi, back! Fuck. I feel... <sighs> God, better. that's so bad. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Karen's no reason to believe them. No, she doesn't. Except for 493 yeah, Pokemon. Why do Skittles taste better when they're stolen? Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know. Are you I, a cop I'm now? A friend. And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at I the mall, shock. Mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The yes. The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half. Like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, oh. you hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're going to freak out. Tell me! Oh, my God. Tell me or your friend has to go home. Jesus. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to. Where did you even get... Ugh, you're so stupid. Stupid! Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. 
They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you! God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my I, mom. Why don't you? She probably wow. got me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mouth huh. down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're I cool. Let's do it again sometime. Emily oh, is worse. I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Holy cool. shit. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Why? Just all the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's oh, the real me. Fuck. That is the real unfiltered me. Oh, so fuck this bad shit. I don't shit. want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. Yeah, so How do Sarah I do Cole this paper, dude? There's got to be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss oh, Ames, dear. what is it? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't I... poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two this of you together. This is going to be no, bad. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Okay. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama <laughs> last summer. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was. It's still misogynistic. Understandable. Take all the time you need. <laughs> well, that was I, spontaneous. I died. I, I, okay. How you switch the assignment? I don't have words. No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. I, they had oh, it in fuck. the Cat in the Hat live action movie. She is off a of meds. The one with Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down uh -oh. to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But okay, anyway, now I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Until oh, now, obviously. fuck. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it crosses the line. I've, I've dated bipolar girls. And BPD. Not, not a fun time. They really need medication and therapy. Oh boy. This is, this is bad, but let this be an educational lesson. Yeah, BPD on the unhinged types goes from zero to a hundred, murder your entire family really quick. So, uh, ha 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 ha. Imagine what I'll do with the car if I'm off my meds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bipolar as in Santa Claus, no. Just, just don't stick your dick in crazy. Like, like, ask for their medications list. And if it's longer than three, they probably, that's probably a wait and see situation. It's like a, leave, put that one back in the oven. She needs, she still needs to be a little bit more baked. She's not done yet. Do it. Then stab six times. I, I, I think I, uh oh. I swallow dust. <laughs> How do I swallow dust? I ew. Ew. Okay. No. I just I should have some water to wash that down. My throat's very dry. Ha ha, dusting. Okay. You just dry rushing. Yes. 
Nothing happened. That dust balls. <laughs> it would seem so. All right, I'll be right back. Fucking Windows 98! Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Fucking Windows 98! All right, we're gonna go back and we're gonna watch these circumstances play out in a horrific fashion. Let's see. Bitch what line? Exactly. Miss Ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect little world and I wanna ruin that for her. Oh yeah, totally. Oh boy. What do you wanna do? So I've had this plan for a while actually, but um, Sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh... Hubbly. Fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, hey, do you have Ari. a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm uh -oh. down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell uh -oh. you what to uh -oh. do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo. <sighs> you're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Uh -oh. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. There it is. I knew that bitch was soft. It's yeah, it's always weird. stabbing. What was the idea, by the way? <sighs> I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do Thankfully, anything in class Ari anymore. is okay. Always the same table. I mean, so far, what Ari is in like pretty normal, I guess. Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch school you. School jail. Well, they won't catch us, right? Cause you're gonna keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Oh, Wait, boy. you don't even know the combination. Don't worry, I'll get in there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that This girl? is not good. Just yesterday, triple C's in Alina Park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't get bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. Insane how? Psych ward visits, choked a girl in class, set her ex-boyfriend's car on oh. fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her De all Deca, the time. please help. Buying her Adderall isn't the same please as help. hanging out with her. That bitch is gonna get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired yeah. of her now, so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Oh, sort of. fuck. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on, but why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. By the way, where's your Skill mom issue. been? Uh, she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. she's having a oh, yeah. sleepover. For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Wow, that's, uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. Does your mom ever compliment you? <laughs> no. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, oh, I Jesus will rip Christ. her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, <laughs> if you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh, 
damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky yeah. with Call your gang member boyfriend. Call no way. Yeah, he fucked all this shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin, may as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? What? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. I, uh, and we don't okay. even really, like, have a plan of our high school, right? Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made and- A mixture of what? Shit. So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing Shit. it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off the Okay, trailer. there's no way out of this. Oh, hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest well. of her life. Uh... Are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Oh, boy. Voices where? Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. This is something. a bad, Psychiatrists bad might decision. disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Hi, Look, Shelly, are you Shelly, down Shelly, or what? Totally. Anything you want. This awesome. is not good. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Y yeah. Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're going to do it together. It's going to be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. You cannot Let's fix get some her. Sleep. We sure do. You're not going to kiss me goodnight? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you going to say it back? Okay, now I do want to kill myself. <laughs> And that is why modern there are a lot poetry of very closeted is giggles written. Here. done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no. It was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, <laughs> nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, All work is sex work under it. I met the crying uh, front of the class. Right. This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Well, go ahead when you're ready. No warm-up or anything? I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? Yes. No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. I'm Go very on. concerned. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big mm -hmm. one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole-ass poser. <laughs> yeah. And why is that? Poetry is about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories, too. They do. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? And it was all yeah, a dream. And poetry sucks, too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? Exactly. We can't. The poetry is linked to the poet. Good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around. Lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly! Wow. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Yeah. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. This Basically is the all most the best writers kill point. themselves. Hunter S. Thompson. And yeah, she sounds Hunter very, Ray, very mad. Hemingway. Whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be Damn sad therapy anymore. therapy ruining yeah, everything. what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project <laughs> or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. Ooh, that's actually kind of so compelling. So all poets and storytellers need to be huh. suicidal? 
It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Cause you can't have a good story knowing there's gonna be a happy ending. Ooh, that's very nice, shit. girls. C plus. C plus. That's, that's, it. that's it. Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how inaccurate. many poems have you published? Excuse me. You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say oh. it. That's enough, Emily. Sorry, your world's too cozy for anyone Ouch. to care about what you make. This is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. Truly deep thoughts come at a much older Truly age deep. than seventeen. Okay, that's Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community. Have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? This is Watch great. Us. You ready, Nicole? Fuck. This is not great. It's honestly super humbling when the trashiest girl you know, probably coked out of her oh mind, boy. says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up <laughs> I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Yeah. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So I passed out, I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. Can't say the same for Emily, though. Oh. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. Wow. I... Huh. Wow. That was an ending. Nicole's liver is fucked. I... You won't see us because they make us turn our phones off. But I just want to write this for me. I'm glad we're dying together. It just feels right and I can't think of anyone I would rather do it with. I may as well write this too. I'm super fucking gay. Called it. Super fucking gay for you. Sorry I lied in the hallway and didn't tell you before you shed a bed and change in front of each other. I don't know if that's rape or whatever, but if it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lol. I can die fulfilled because dying together with another girl is a bigger commitment than some soft ass bitch getting married to Jack the construction worker or some other boring white girl who can't pronounce Beanie Seigel. But yeah, if you pass out first, I'm going to try to fall over on you so it looks like we were cuddling. There are a lot of closeted gay women here. Wow. Just got here. Anything on part of the school becoming a spark for a race war? Not quite, but a girl did just kill herself. So... Oh, we also went to prison. But that was actually a pretty good ending. Because she, she learned things. Yeah, she went from bipolar to just... By herself. Ouch. <laughs> Bi and pull. Okay, let's do... Do something evil I with the essay. Wanna, but I just can't right now. I told you the papers don't need to be good. Yeah, they called just need it. Super gay. Yeah, but I want it to be good to me. What, so you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting. I'm plotting heavy. I yeah, so for the moral of the story, it's been don't be gay. But destroys her reputation. This sounds all, like all way the gay too people much are miserable. Effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. Because... And when Ev everyone's comes horrible to shove, in this game. Those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? 
Yeah, Maybe. that one was just sad. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really afraid of rap music, too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Oh, shit. Yeah, she always says that as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, yeah, well, just, I'm just gonna be, anyway. Just be Jekka. Except you not know, white supremacist Jekka. Yeah, Jekka. come over after school. Fuck. Seriously? Your mom's not going to bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck Wait. her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. Wait, is, is this going to be... You had to make this shit about poetry. Are we having trouble over here? These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks huh. ass? Remember, Hunter. four pages. Plus. So, can I just copy and paste modern also, poetry sucks ass until kid. it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use huh. and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of the hoes in Smash. this classroom. Not a big fan, huh? But she's I also a bad person. I won't lecture you on like... stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yeah. yourself. Uh-huh. So, what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. Okay. I could do a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might I, disagree with some uh, of your standards. That's not really a new one. I'll try my that's best. just like every Who knows? Studying old some other opinion might change my mind. Find the newspaper. Reaching, these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Get back to work. She likes Tupac. I don't think she actually likes Tupac. <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the oh, deli? Oh, the deli! Oh. The kosher I deli. I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how oh, I boy. talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. I have more than one friend. I oh, just yeah? made one. Who? She's Emily. bipolar. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really now. And you're not making this up, right? Mom, I'm not gonna make no, up actually. a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You want to meet her? I'd love to. Cool. Because she's coming over in five minutes. <laughs> what? You said you want to meet her. How could you invite someone over? This I... place is a mess. Honey. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect match. Oh my God. Every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. The, the, not the deli. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not going to introduce That's us? Different. Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What? I can't even know her name. Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. You can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, we gotta go to my room now. Well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Oh, no, friend. she's on her meds right now. Emily, what do your parents do? That's good. Uh, my mom is, like, a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your okay. father? He's a boardroom person for a non-profit. It's called United Police Hi, Fund. Hi, socialize. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted okay. to say it's very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll okay. see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. Are you going to see Nick and Nora? Ouch. See him? It's the new... Like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. The fuzz of they policeman? put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch I... a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, the other, other one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. So are you going to see it? No. Why would they make a romance starring ugly people? <laughs> it's, like, different and free-spirited. Are we talking about me? No. Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. Flex you got to get shit on you? Jacko said you're in remedial classes. Oh, it's... Yeah, what of it? 
Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you, so I don't hell think I'm yeah, like your kids. Damn, shit hurts. Loyal fuck to the guns. end. Horse. Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like Britney Spears in 1999 or like Jackie's Britney Spears still best now? Girl. Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. How did they end? Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down oh while God. she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it, Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So... You think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Those chips Nicole, are giving me if you write about issues. rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's going to get her fired. Yeah, but you're going to write Probably. the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid. What do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you want to ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there, like, a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you want to borrow it. Why do you have the Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date one day. Literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not going to marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. You only take French. Giving head isn't a third language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Oh, Let's see God. guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rapper. Oh, shit. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip hop artists, if you could even well call them this that. is one way to make this sure be so fucking easy nicole i didn't know you were in ap history huh no i'm not in ap history then why are you reading mein kampf i'm racist now <laughs> oh all right man ari's cool about anything Oh, hey, yeah, Ar what's up? Ari what is literally so want? chill. What? No, nothing. What the fuck? I saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this <sighs> like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Uh-huh. What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, like, really good themes in a story. Big fan of the message in Mein Kampf. Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. Oh, that means it's super good then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. No. So, no. so can I sit with you? Kristen. Mein Kampf is the Nazi Please. book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So can I sit with oh you? Oh my god. Why do they block MySpace on the Wi-Fi? Cause you're not supposed to be on it, duh. How the fuck is there a narc in remedial class? Yeah, all I wanna do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. To be emo and unclean. <sighs> Tragic. All right, settle down. Your not a single floor between his eyes. To say the least. Yeah, cause they're good as shit, right? Kyler, F. F, <laughs> I'm turning in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive Classic piece. Kyla. I'll give you this stink piece, motherfucker. How do you fail a paper in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Next. Yeah, an MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily! D! <laughs> are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the no. bar they're setting. D in remedial? That's You're gonna very end up on Next. And Nicole. 
Uh huh. A. <gasps> A. A as in A or the loud at or like Shit. the letter. Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. So like the letter. Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician wise beyond your years. As if, ha. right? Literally got an A. Ha ha. Right? I've earned the title. Oh, it's actually perfect timing, boy. because next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur-written work like this deserves an audience. If it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing idea. Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of the English language. Oh, shit. There, there she goes. I have cafeteria for this. It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly oh, be on fuck. the school board? What's the school board doing? Oh, anyway? she was Nazi. Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandals, someone enjoys themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. <laughs> I wish you were in California where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. Yeah. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Wait, Is she what? picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. Uh, she was with a bunch of people, too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? No, Sarah Quilt doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. I'm gonna kill myself. Nicole! No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now! What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. I was so proud to hear a paper you did oh, no. would be the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't oh, tell no. me? I thought it'd oh, be a no. fun surprise. Why would they cater this? Oh, so deli. instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin Not me. Not the oh, so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother was here. Oh, I would fuck. actually choke her. Right this way, here's our star student. Not the hey, deli. Oh, what are you doing with the sandwich trays? Looks like my boss needs me to set up. Good luck, sweetie. School board members, if you could just line around over there for our presentation. Oh, yes. Before we get to the catering, fuck. we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this remedial program. Right. And as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of the school year. Yes. A lot of talk has gone around asking, oh, no. what's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this yeah, I think paper, the pills have we probably think come you'll back see the progress point. that can still be that made That would be better. Here. Nicole, would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. You do Go that. Go ahead. Right. So this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several no one truancy else the violations, no one else the and even more in-school suspensions. I'm all too familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these sexless wow. marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got temple at three o'clock. <clears throat> oh, As fuck, a teen, very I come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of rappers. The lack of instinct and narrow-mindedness of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of the genre owns itself to be a foreign people, oh, yet even Wayne. here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe wait, she's that... Re she's, wait, she's uh -oh. read that? Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the okay, national Nicole consciousness not of the rapper finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers, again, slyly dupe the dumb masses. Politics are weird. Like, really fucking weird. Wow. Like, everyone doubles down till they're she eventually Hitler weird. She replace it. Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, mom.
everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand like, I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, oh, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. Oh, fuck. You can't make this shit up. The school itself was a problem, too, because every guy watches South Park, and Jews been, like, the number one insult for the last ten years. So now Principal Lynn has a mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me? I've never been more satisfied. Wow. I... That was... That was ending seven. Hi, if you're safe in this text, it means you have selected for the Rosa's Kersha Deli sweepstakes. A chance to win. You're very free kidding to any event you would like. Events excluded from this offer are schools, <laughs> political rallies, neo Nazi gatherings, comic book conventions, same thing we know, KKK meetings, book clubs discussing Mein Kampf, and any other anti Semitic events or assembly. We hope you understand. Good luck, contestant. That's kind of screwed up. That's the whole game. Wow. What's this? Imaging nursing unit. Hey, get away from that door! Take it easy, Pizza? <laughs> what about me? P P pizza time? The fuck does that mean? Was... Did someone say they watched like that? That was Jekka? That was Jekka? Fuck, well, I, I guess there was some stuff we still missed. Went through that, went through that, went through that. We we didn't try to steal the shirt. Well, doing these... Actually, we didn't do these options. Well, do you want the truth? Of course. See, we saw you standing guard over there oh, looking fuck, we were running so his wife. strong. We kind of wanted an excuse to get arrested, right? Uh, oh, yeah, we have a thing for handcuffs. Just being tossed around by an aggro man in uniform. Uh oh. back can have some good payoff sometimes. Uh, is there something you girls would like me to know? Yeah, actually, we want you to know your wife doesn't need to know. Totally. Shit. Your wife is probably such a Dominion bitch wife. when you come Dominion home. Wife. But we're two hot girls with no expectations at all. Huh. Well, my wife is a bitch cunt whore who I'm killing first if I ever get fired. And see, that doesn't scare us off at all. Yeah, you're dangerous. We want you more now. You want to just forget about the CD and hang out somewhere? Top Golf just opened. Fuck Top Golf. Let's go to the Super 8. You're so naughty. How old are you girls anyway? Well, we're a package deal, so 34. <laughs> 34 divided by 2, that's, uh, hold on. Shh, you're a cop. You don't need to know math. So what if we're a little young? No one needs to know. Yeah, take us to Cancun where we're legal. I got a place where I'd really like to take you. Thailand? Downtown. <laughs> Shit! Over fucking MSI CD? You miners thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Well, I will admit, that is you good. both look very mature for 13. Never mind, 13? it's really bad at And math. they let you have a gun? Never mind. We can't mind. all be algebra experts. What the hell is this again? The school's sex addict rehab program. <laughs> Alexa, bro. 
I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted with that guy? I know. We get the one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Is that our silver lining? Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's a little entertaining to see what kids this we know here. This is better than oh, being hey, shot at didn't least. didn't know you guys had to go here too. Is this surprising? What? No. No, it's not. Hello? Earth to Nicole! Oh my god, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does Wait. a guy who sounds like a cartoon also have a sex addiction problem? Y yeah. Uh, can those not be together? Do you get turned on by the paperclip guy in Microsoft Office? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, totally. Every time he pops up, I just want to rub against him. R rub against him? That's so... Ugh. Sorry. Last week, we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. Well, no kidding. The well, whole that's, lesson? That's good. Yeah, is that why you're here? Well, if I shared why I'm here, then... I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need to relapse every now and then. No, no, no. Are you peer pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My Valium ran out a couple months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's Valium, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just zen. Yeah, and zen's a good-ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, okay, fine. I was in the after-school gaming club <laughs> playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, and, uh... What Jack and Daxter on the yeah, PS2. Yeah, so I'm playing it, and no yeah. one else was around, and right. I just kind of felt like, you know, feeling around down there. The Jack yeah. and Daxter. Well, too. one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand, while the other was still playing Jack and Daxter. You jacked off to Jack and Daxter? Yeah, no, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I did it while playing Jack and Daxter. <laughs> <laughs> and you finished and everything? Jeff, Don't ask Jeffrey. that. I wasn't trying to do Jack that. And off. I just spaced out and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, huh? So you're doing it and what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter's you get a two ride, separate Jekka. characters, Jekka. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Uh, yeah. Never Why change, Why would you Jeffrey. do that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So was this a group thing? Did Daxter Jack 2? <laughs> uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He's probably the I worst one writing. here. Everyone else should be cool. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so the hard. What happened to Kelly? I think we're gonna need a distraction. This is looking good. All right, fight club. Huh. Hey, Kelly. What's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Let's see. Uh, what? But, hey, I didn't say that. Oh my god, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. If you were attractive, I'd immediately let you. But you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my god, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Okay, Bitch, Ari is here too. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with Wait, God why is and Jesus everyone in this now. Class? Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? Damn. Not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. Oh, hey, right. guys, let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last, virgin? You had it coming, Jeffrey. Oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. <laughs> Do you actually want to fucking fight 
right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you gonna do with that? Stab you and watch the ski pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Promise to kiss me after. No. No! <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Help me. It's not love. It's just lust. It's not love. It's just lust. What the fuck? Okay, girls. Break it up. Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and That's I can right. lock you both into a real Every single program. one. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's intensely closeted. Cold it. I really thought I'd seen it all here. Cold it. I don't want to think about sex for the rest of the month. No, yeah, for sure. God, imagine being those girls. For a week, it'd be kind of fun. You want to be sexed up abusive lesbians? Fuck no. Why not? Because you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Ouch. Just weird shit? You'd like put a cigarette out of my neck so, okay. and lick the burn mark. So you want to try it? No. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. She had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust me. She's kiss her brother on the lips white. Hello, girls. Hey. We're not talking about kissing, are we? Uh, no. It's all right. I'm your counselor. You can trust me with Here anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now, that sounds like it might be name calling. Oh, you bullying assembly. Our bullying assembly last year, correct? Why are you, um, here? I was informed that you both attended the sexual addiction rehab meeting right. yesterday and just wanted to follow <laughs> nice up sleep with again. you. Oh no, it wasn't that deep. I we just flirted sleep. with a cop. How deep was it then? You really get paid to fucking work here, don't you? I'm certainly sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, Holy. if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Teachers are broke, right? See, I think so. Why? If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. What if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck. Oh, whatever. So, are you going to class this time, or what are you doing? Oh, okay, okay. Back here. All right. So that means what else? What else? Rile up potential stalker. Let's see what this is. You know, Jeffrey, don't tell anyone, but I actually think it's kind of cool that you did that. You do? Here we go. Okay. Yeah. I know we were laughing about it, but I've totally been there before. What? What do you mean? I literally do the same thing, but at home. I just didn't think anyone else would be that kinky. Like, while you're playing a video game, too? Avi, it's like the only way I do it nowadays. Yeah, what game? Oh, um, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Five. I don't think there's a fifth one of that. Shut the yeah, fuck up, sorry. Jeffrey. I meant, um, Crash Bandicoot 1. They made one, right? Crash 1. That's a classic. Wow, we're in the presence of a master gamer. Did I mention I had a thing for master gamers? And lost to they is. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, you want to come over to my house and play Jack and Daxter sometime? Oh, uh, I've, I've never really done that with a girl before. But why don't we fix that? <laughs> What'd you do? I guess he turned on. I want you to watch me while I do it. <laughs> What's this all about? Jeffrey, <laughs> we went over how to control these patterns. <laughs> I'm just so... Uh, take me away. I'll do anything for your sweet relief. Stop it. Right now. Wow, Miss Lynn, that's pretty embarrassing. We'll get out of your way for this one. Good luck with the Master Gamer. Have you heard anything from the principal I, since yesterday? I, I, nah, I think the hands were more than full with Jeffrey. I thought I need to say way more to get him going. Wow. He's really got a problem. I didn't even know why you'd subject yourself to that. We got out, didn't we? Yeah, I guess, but playing with some weird kid like that? He's gonna, like, go home and think about you when he's master he gaming. Have Dude, we're in high school. We could be covered in spaghetti sauce. They're still gonna think about us when they jerk off. No way, that often. Are we on Team Nick? Bitch, Zoe 101's a good show. Hey, Emily. What's up? Do you guys think about us when they, you know, do it? I've gotten texts when they think about me doing it. Oh, uh, I got that once. It's like, yeah, thanks. 
I wonder how I'd feel about that if I really liked the guy. Well, no, if Johnny Depp did it, I'd be like, tell me more, but it's never Johnny Depp. It's always some guy who looks like a Travis. If this happened so much, why haven't yeah. I gotten a text? You're kind of too preppy for it, honestly. Yeah, we're more trashy, so guys think we'll be into it. I wonder what being trashy's like. You could pierce your tongue and find out. <laughs> By the way, where are you headed, Nicole? Oh, okay. There it is. Wait, does this... I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is... Oh, oh is it, that was the same oh, one. No. Okay. It looks yeah, it's the same one. Okay. That That's that one. All right. Well, we've gotten the sex addicts to fight. And they're the, the born again Christian girl. Uh, thankfully for the lustful gay woman. Even though that was herself. What else? What else? Yeah, the first day so oh, yeah, the first day saw some scenes left. Let us steal a ten dollar shirt instead. This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Trody? Oh, it's Holy Trody. Shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out. My mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. <laughs> okay, well, wait. How the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Yeah, it's like 80% hey, of dropouts. Like I've seen it like twice. I don't know, the TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the Ouch. fuck up, you albacore eating bitch. Hey, Ouch. whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, I'm sorry. Good. Now what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large? Damn, that's the one size she wears too. Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Fate Joke's on you, bitches. So I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. Okay, grab the small, let's go. Yeah, I was like, how Come the fuck do you sir. think I'm a large? The room on. on the floor. Holy shit, How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean learn? You can't just take the shit in front of them. Okay, so what's next? Oh, Zuvanesh. Uh, we leave Hello. before we get caught. Hello, welcome in. You can't now, that was such a rush. How you doing? Let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. Do you hear well, yourself? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over That's Dairy so Queen? Sad. Should we try Sarku Japan or would the free Zoo samples lady chase after Nesh. us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Sarku. Oh, sick. God, way up way to. too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? Okay, wait, so we didn't get arrested so by the police. I answered my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured huh. I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter? I you think we got Trody fired today? I don't know. I don't care either. Weird. Yeah, read the content our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall. But he has to, like... Support him didn't with that. get shot. Yeah, almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something Since when do you of all people worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing Yeah, if I was dumb as shit being a stripper would be awesome though I'd feel ripped off because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy to just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? Plus, how? How do you know this? Yeah. Because cousin worse than one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. That's not surprising. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. You're not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You girls okay, this is, this is definitely morning. different. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Of course. Unexcused. Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Being a fucking bitch, your problem? Nicole! Excuse me? Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after okay, absence? Okay, let's see. 
This is Nur. Yeah, so, uh, that's Nur. Holy shit. All right, let's do a depression pity potty first. Then, then we'll lie about it having AIDS. Honestly, I don't know. It's just, I, we were both diagnosed wow. with manic depression, and it's just hard to show up anywhere. Uh, what she said, it just nothing makes me happy anymore. Not even cocaine. I haven't tried it, I'm just assuming. Manic depression? Hmm, I'm not sure we've had that as an excuse before. But it's totally real. C come on, isn't it Mental Health Awareness Month? That's in May. Yeah, it's May. It's September. See? We're so messed up, we don't even know what month it is. And besides, Winnie Houston said we need a whole year. That was yeah. for Black History Month. Oh. Uh, no, it was for Mental Health Awareness, right? Yeah, maybe. I just don't know anything anymore. I'm not sad. I just don't feel feelings or care about anything. I'm headed that into a downward spiral. Is oh my how god, you've same. I just want to date a guy in his 30s and kill myself. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm <laughs> totally numb to hearing that because of my oh, that's manic good. depression. All right, fine. I'll excuse it this time. But I expect you girls to seek help if this really is so much of an issue for oh, you. Oh, so stay back in the counselor. Lynn. I mean, my day just a little bit better. I have no emotions gotcha. either way, because depression, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't do shit, Miss Lynn. All right, I think instead of class, you should head over to your counselor for additional resources on your situation. Hey, uh, Principal Lynn, you, you got a minute? Hold on, girls. Trody? I thought you dropped out. Well, yeah, I did, but I think I want to re-enroll. Well, that's Aww, great to hear, Trody. Fuck. Why the sudden change of plans? I think it'd just make going to college a little easier. Also, I got fired from Hot Topic. They said I let someone steal a shirt. So dumb. Oh, shit. Hey, what are you guys doing here? I thought you were skipping today. What? Why do you say that? They were in the mall like two hours ago. Oh, they said they were suffering from manic depression. Shit, god damn it, Trody. outside for a bit? Uh, yeah, no problem. I meant Trody. Dropouts, am I right? <sighs> yeah, who can trust what they say? Manic depression, huh? Suicidal thoughts and all? I mean, I really want to die right now, so we're not all the way lying. Was it all worth it? Worth it for a t-shirt at the mall? I you am must be chest. so depressed. We stole yes. an MSI shirt from Hot Topic. What about that doesn't scream depression? Dude, can we just go to an easier book? This is the easier book. Is everyone in the Reading Buddies program this stupid? Hey, the principal sent you here to help me, so make good or I'm snitching hard. Okay, fine. All right, try this first page. Sound it out. Uh, w um, um, one fist her, two fist her. Are you serious? You picked a hard one on purpose. It's a Dr. Seuss book, you fucking dipshit. Oh, yeah, sure. If it's so easy, why don't you try it, huh? One fish, two fish, red fish, you bitch. Huh? Wait, that last part is blue fish. See, I knew you couldn't do it. This is a really potent punishment. Fuck, now I want to drop out. Is Hooters hiring? Okay. Here we go again. What? School. It's senior year. You're not used to this by now. Are you? I'm not either, but you sound like a sitcom. Here we go again. Who invited this bitch? Shut up, Nicole. This is the girl with the Adderall. Emily? Emily, where the hell did you get so much Adderall? My boyfriend's 25. I can get whatever I want. That's kind of awesome. So what, a seven, eight-year age gap? That's pretty cool. That should work out. Yeah, so have you guys heard they're going to start giving out free syringes at South County? South County High School? Uh-huh. Huh? Before, they were trying to curb the opioid addiction, but now they're just trying to keep all the kids from getting uh, Pepsi or whatever. Yeah. Are they giving free heroin, too, or just the needles? Yeah, just the needles. It sucks. Oh, do you do that? Kind of. My boyfriend got me into it, but it's just lines. Nothing serious. Your 25-year-old boyfriend dating you in high school got you into heroin? You guys are going to be awesome together. But if it's just lines, what do you want the needles for? For him, because he did uh, it so much that, like, eventually doesn't hit as hard, you know? I yeah. think he'll be hitting plenty hard. Just give it time. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what? No, no, she's just talking to herself. So can I buy Addie's at lunch today? Yeah, I'll see you there. All right, I gotta go. But yeah, she has a lot of Adderall. That's the opening comment after she leaves. Well, yeah, she's out there, but... Usually when I look in the mirror, all I see is a self-destructive, pill-popping hoe. After five minutes with her, I feel like Selena Gomez. Like you feel Mexican? <laughs> Never mind. Come on, let's hang out somewhere. 
I have school, Nicole. Dude, fuck that school shit. So from everything we had to do last week, you learned no lessons. Lessons no. are for fat bitches who think Pilates will make their husband want to have sex again. You always find, like, the meanest yes, way Jacka. to say something. So you're just leaving me? Don't be a baby. I'll probably see you at lunch. Where are you going anyway? Oh, there it is. All right, that's that one. Now let's see. Lie about having AIDS. This is a bad option. But there it is. Uh, okay, you're going to want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor and we, um... We tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And the nurse told us we might be AIDS positive because we went okay. so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the... Like the Springfield Clinic? And you expect me to just believe this, shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally Jesus dying Christ. from AIDS. I, I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of... <laughs> Swinger parties with not homeless the, people. Not the homeless, homeless singer parties. parties. Yeah, and it's TMI, but I have a okay, unprotected Jack sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a sex in general fetish. Small world. One of my thirty boyfriends has <laughs> that too. Thirty boyfriends. Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. <laughs> yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh... I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I God have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon, or you're expelled. This sucks. Thank you, Hermes in the car. This is a horrible this stream for really this. Sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. Oh God. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, fuck. but no, I can't, because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say <sighs> we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Whatever. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on Earth? Huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male porn star? Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? About the Saturday thing? Yeah, it was almost late filling it out. Like it wasn't enough for us to just go. <sighs> Look at Magic Johnson. She know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. And the male teachers? Pedophiles. Pedophiles. How'd you know what I was gonna say? I'm noticing a trend. <laughs> no, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well I'm gonna go to Oof. class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an hey, AIDS assembly I'm again? That didn't you. happen because we skipped. That happened because we lied anything, about why we skipped. Well, I have like a okay. vacuum. Are you looking power. for a classroom so, or another excuse right yeah. now? Oh my god, you sound like my mom. Just like empty. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole, you got a minute? Oh. I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. I but I, I mean, nah, 
You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. What? Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... He sounds a little older. But yeah, how are you? Are you a human text message? <coughs> um, uh... Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? Okay, there it is. Damn it. Okay, well, we've lied about having AIDS. What else we got? Those ones. Did we skip in school until lunch? Did, did we do this one? This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? No, we didn't. Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or no, we anything haven't here. Heard of her. Yeah, but it's like ice cream vending Gladdy. machine at home. That shit doesn't even fucking work. No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we six? I need drugs, Nicole. What? So now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Your school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. Ouch. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all oh, wait. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water That's for the ability. plants in AP ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the like school. very slow. Oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. <laughs> yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. 100%. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, totally. I love being a pedophile. There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? That makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah? So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Cause they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him cause they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs <laughs> really badly. What are you two doing? They Shit. actually take university sometimes. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, sometimes. I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone yeah, not, skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's clear. bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency Holy exit. Holy shit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. Ooh, yeah. drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles here? 100% yes. Yeah, this, them, this, no this place is Kelly, their outlier. you've never been hit on by a male teacher? Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. This is the outlier. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being helpful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's Oh my god, better. everyone. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? 
No, we're just getting out of the quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addie's or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually going to buy Addie's? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We got to pick a new hiding spot. Oh, shit. Wait. Okay, this is near. Hide in the photo lab. Hide in the coal yard. Photo lab. This is way better. Why didn't you think oh, of this Oh, fuck, first? Mr. White's in here, I it's kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat line of anything, but you're afraid of the dark. No, it's not the dark. It's just really red in here. I feel like the hoe's in Amsterdam. You're gonna be a hoe in Amsterdam if you keep skipping every day. Hey... What are you guys doing in here? Uh-oh. Oh. We were just, um, developing pictures. Just Karen. But you're not even in this period. Okay, well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the dark room to skip, are you? Some of us actually use this place for academics. Academics? You think a black and white picture of you holding Looks, a leaf just, is going to wow Georgetown? It. Extracurricular activities make you look really good on college applications. Do you see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on All anything. I'm not friends. putting up with this. And I'm going to get the principal, and you guys are like going to be expelled place? for good. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. This is near. These are technically the same option. But let's let's do this one. No, come on, wait. Why should I? Cause we wanted to talk about Twilight. Yeah, Karen's pretty nice. What about Twilight? What's your opinion she's, she's on? She's really naughty. How to read it? Okay, where's the principal? No, Karen. Uh, what she meant to ask was if you like your favorite Twilight Good save, character Good more save. than Ron. Uh. Well, Ron from the Potter books will always be my favorite. Good but save. Edward is a pretty close second. Yeah, there's and actually quite a lot of content. You're gonna see the Twilight movie when it comes out. Well, yeah, I read all the books at the place in Centerville, right? Cause there's less people. Yeah, I know it's run down, but I'd rather the movie be empty so I can watch it in peace. Will the ticket stub go on your wall? For sure. It's such a big movie. I actually took some of the ticket oh. stubs down for a collage I'm working on right now. Do you need any help? Me and Nicole could help. Help you fuck off. Uh, Nicole, yeah, shut up. the glue can be tricky. I have it on a table out here. Uh, cool, yeah, she's we'll be nice. right there in a sec. She's, she's just How nice. How the fuck did you know all that? We were friends in like sixth grade. Oh, Jacka. socially obsolete. You made the upgrade and left her ass in the dust. It's not like I was trying Ouch. to. Yeah, what's the story? I tried bringing her to lunch in middle school and she brought up Harry Potter while we're talking about the Paris Hilton sex God damn it. Oh, that's a bad awkward. And she directs it at you because she doesn't know anyone else? Yeah, so I looked like a fucking baby in front of the 8th graders. Wow, traded loyalty in for the acceptance of 8th graders. Fuck the acceptance. They were going to let me try their cigarettes if they thought I was cool. So she nerded you out of free cigarettes? Yeah, I'd hate her too, honestly. I don't hate her. It's just like, what do you do with her? Ask her to hang out with you. No, I can't. It's weird now. You walk in the cafeteria and see her reading at lunch alone. She's like a hallucination oh. reminding me of how much of a bitch I am. I only said all that shit so she'd forget about the principal. Wow, so you manipulated that poor book reader with her own childhood. She was your bestie, and you sold her up the river, you cold, heartless Ouch. bitch. Fuck off, Nicole. You move every two years. You don't have to deal with this shit. I'm just gonna graduate, go to college, smoke a shit ton of salvia, and forget about her. Hey, was there a slowdown? What's the problem? Too many to list. Sorry, just sorting out the ticket stubs. Oh you God, said you only save them for the special movies, right? Hi, Fazzle Flip. Yeah. Why do you have the ticket stub for Balls of Fury? Oh, balls Is that of the Fury. ping pong movie with the fat guy from Lost? I guess. Here, put it next to the Star Wars one. They're basically the same movie. Thanks again for the help. Yeah, no problem. Well, so anyway, did we, you hear what happened with Kelly last week? Oh, actually helping. No. She was at a party, and somebody walked in on her right as a guy skeeted on her face. What the hell? Why Ew. wouldn't she lock the door? I think she wants to get caught. Uh, what do you think, Karen? What's skeeted? Huh? Huh. Skeeted oh, on? What does that mean? Um, so it's like when a boy... Dude, it's not that hard. It just means to compliment something. Excuse me. Well, why don't you just say compliment? Nicole. It's just slang. Skeet, Please. Skeeting, skeeted on. Like how 
Jekka skeeted on my collage? Oh my god. Exactly. I'm skeeting all over your collage right now. It's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it took so long to put together. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Hang out with me and Jekka more, and guys are going to be skeeting all over Jekka, you. Jekka, please. You really think guys Jekka, would want to skeet on me? Yeah, with your glasses on and everything. You're unbelievable. What's wrong, Jekka? Oh, um, nothing. Jekka. Just nothing. By the way, I like your outfit. Did anyone skeet on you today? No, I'm pretty elusive. She's just being humble, Karen. Jekka really likes it when three or four guys skeet on her at once. Wow, that many? I've always thought you were really pretty, so it makes sense. Thanks. Yeah, and she never wants it to stop. Not until she's gagging on compliments. Okay, so me and Nicole need to go now, but good luck with your collage, Karen. No problem. I'll see you guys later sometime. I thought that was mean. Yeah, so girls, uh, God damn it, if your Coach mom's Kobe. a single, you know who to let know. You know what I'm saying? My mom's married. Why do you want to fuck our mom so bad? Yeah, my mom's the last person I want to fuck. What the hell do you see in her? Whoa, whoa, girls, why you gotta go there? If you don't go to the ATM and get each of us $100, we're gonna report you. Damn it. All right, where's my car? And we want it in fives. You know the purple five? Oh, I love the purple five. Yeah, purple fives, bitch! Who's a bitch? Hey guys, what's up? Uh, hey. Hi, Karen. Oh no. Why is Kyler with you? Well, we just spoke this morning and kind of hit it off. Oh no. Really? Really? Yeah, he's actually really nice. He told me he never skeeted on a girl with glasses before and wanted me to be his first. Did he now? Yeah, baller shot collar, dude. Then one thing led to another and we're hanging out this Friday. And it's all thanks to you, Nicole. Oh, uh, I don't mention it to anyone. If you never taught me about that slang, me and Kyler would have never understood each other, let alone set something up. Oh, God. Or the other four guys hanging out with me this week. Four guys? Yeah, Nicole was right. I'm really popular now, and Shit. all it took was one phrase. I you mean skating? Damn right she means skating. One guy asked to do it at the movies, another guy at the football game, and then one guy was really surprised when I said he could skeet all it's, over it's me in public. It's Oh, fuck. Uh, Some guys are just shy, you know. I used to be like that, but this really broke me out of my shell. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Can I get into your hair, too? Nicole. Why are you Hitler? Is that a band, or are you calling me Hitler? What the fuck is gonna happen when she goes out with these guys? Your little prank turned a nice Twilight girl into the school slut. Relax, she'll probably run away when they whip it out. And what if she doesn't, Nicole? What if she fills her void of friendship with male attention? Uh, are we talking about my mom or Karen right now? Now, when I look at her in lunch, I'm just gonna think about guys plastering the fuck out of her. She was my childhood, Nicole. Hold on, so... The idea of her getting sexually manipulated is less important than your ability to objectify her as a childhood memory. What's wrong with that? Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't care. You're a good friend. I thought I was Hitler. You're a really pretty brunette Hitler with a drug problem. See, if guys came up with that, I'd actually try dating them. Anyway, I gotta go to class. I gotta wait for Mr. Colby to come back with the money. Oh, well, what are you doing after that? There it is. Well, that was, that was, that was that route. Let's, oh, fuck. Uh. You gonna stop by every vending machine on the way? What? what? You know, to keep those love handles plump. That's what you're going for, right? I, I don't have big love handles. Don't That's be ashamed, mean. right, Jekka? Uh, yeah, um... Lane Bryant wouldn't think they're big either. What? No, yes. I gotta go to they're, math now. They're all math positive class. lesbians. You're doing good at math? A for yeah. the year? A plus, actually. Is the plus for plus size? Yeah, if you're so good at math, why can't you count your calories? Is this really necessary? Is that extra no. cheese at Chipotle necessary? Jacka. I get that every time. Hey, no, we support it. Let's just hope the chairs at Red Lobster can support you too. Oh. It'd be so embarrassing for the chair to break on your first date with your black boyfriend. Black boyfriend? What the hell? Oh, you don't like black guys? Because I think they'll love you. Wow, fat and racist. So picky with men. At least you're not a picky eater. <laughs> I did not raise it! Shit, where'd she go? Hopefully not the principal. I feel like we just gave her more fuel. Yeah, that might have entirely that was not... backfired. No. Yeah. God, I'm so hungry after doing that. The Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits? Fuck no, Chipotle. You don't like the Cheesy Biscuits? They're okay. I'm a whore for the Cheesy Biscuits. You say you're a whore for everything. Oh yeah, like what? 
Bottled water, massages, internet, Burt's Bees, McDonald's French fries, Percocet, American Spirits, Blink-182. We need to hang out less. We need <coughs> to get the fuck out of here before Karen comes back with a principal. New hiding God spot. God damn it. Thanks, Even Nicole. So a single Addie. Great. It's like Catholic school all over again. Are we going in circles? Yeah, this does look familiar. There you are! You have a lot of explaining to do! Shit, Shit. Back to the bathroom. It's gonna be crowded. Look, there's a perfectly good explanation. Oh, I'd love to hear why we're talking to yourself as a pedophile would ingratiate yourself with your class. A couple students told me about it. They said it means I'm a cool teacher. Cool teachers have pizza parties and Jeopardy PowerPoints. They don't imply they're molesters. Come on, it was a an Jeopardy isolated PowerPoint. incident. It won't happen again. Then why did Kelly scream, I knew it, after you tried your little slang? What? No, you haven't heard? I knew it is actually slang for you're awesome. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? No, but I guess I am. Oh. Oh, it's empty. I, I told you this is a good hiding floor. spot. Ew, do you smell that? Oh god, I guess that's why it's empty. Who the fuck threw up in here? <laughs> oh my god, they're still here. I just wanna be loved! <laughs> you bullied her into being fucking Shit. bulimic! Dude, she was probably already bulimic. <laughs> I told myself yesterday would be the last time. I'm sorry, Daniel Radcliffe! <laughs> You told ya, we had nothing to do with this. Well, if we don't get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. God, we gotta change, too. We probably smell like vomit by now. <laughs> yeah, now I can never look at this shirt again without thinking about how we made a bulimic girl relapse. <laughs> can I have it? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going back to class now. Figure this out on your own. Well, shit. Okay, next option. Hang the courtyard. Emily's out of her mind if she thinks she can sell at those prices. Mad you can't afford it? Please, yeah, I have three in my ziplock. I'm fine. Yo, guys, what's good? What are you doing oh, here? What? Not going to class? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm using my PSP to look at porn on the <laughs> You can't just wait till you get home? Just to say I did it, you know. Sadly, it's not working around the, you both get this fucked era up in the middle of, of class. the difference that could wait in your home. Wi-Fi particles. You do too. You pop perks in front of the teacher. Yeah, that's because I have an actual medical condition, okay? You guys didn't bust your knee up playing lacrosse. Yes, yeah, so the PSP can only connect to WPA2 networks because of the difference in security protocols. How I know? I tried in the 2010s. It, it doesn't work. I was very sad. Nerd. Yes. Are, are you confused? <laughs> Wait, no. If we're all getting fucked up in class, they cancel each other out. Yeah, so you still need to answer why you're looking at titty pics on your Game Boy. It's a PSP, dumbass. <laughs> why are you looking at titty pics on your Fisher Price Blackberry? Yeah, that's a better name for it. Makes it sound official. You have a busy schedule? Shit, yeah, busy telling bitches like you to fuck off. By the way, since we're all skipping, you guys want to, like, fuck around a little bit? You just told us to fuck off, and now you want us to fuck but you? Damn. You're watching way too much porn if you think that's gonna work. Yeah, we only like being treated like shit when you're creative about it. Yeah, let's see what you got. Shut the fuck up, Jekka, pelican nose ass bitch. My nose is actually perfect. Nice try, though. Yeah, but the oh. way you dress shows you might be insecure and overcompensating for your introverted childhood. Oh my god, see? Now I'm gonna be up all night <coughs> reading into that. First she'll hate me, then she'll want me. All right, whatever, dude. Oh. Tell you what, I'll let you guys have the courtyard, but you gotta pay up in prescriptions, dog. I ran out of Oxy this morning, and I just need something to take the edge off. You called us bitches 10 seconds ago, and now you want our drug. Okay, everyone in high school is doing drugs but me. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, but just need drugs. Can't help ya. Dude, this is so fucking not straight. Come on, I'll throw in five bucks. What the fuck do we do with five bucks? Uh, okay, fine. Seven. I don't even care what you give me. Just help me out. Oh god. Okay. Let's let's see what happens. Let's give him Adderall. Oh, your Ziploc. Adderall? What the fuck does Adderall do for knee pain? It's like for focusing. It'll help him focus on something other than his knee pain. <laughs> okay, here you go. Sweet, awesome. All right, I'll see you yin yang bitches later. Is he calling us Asian? Yeah, I don't. Do we look Asian? Last I checked, no. Then where the hell did he come up with that? Do you have one of those Chinese letter ass hats? 
No, but I actually wanted one in middle school. Did you want to be a stripper? <laughs> Can a girl just do crazy shit to her body and have it be for herself? If it makes staring in the mirror more fun, go for it. Would you get one? A Chinese ass tat? No. Okay, what if it wasn't Chinese? Just of anything. Mechanical Animals lyrics. I haven't heard that oh album. Oh my god. It's pretty good. Just pretty good? You get a pretty good album tattooed on your ass forever? I'm gonna die before 30. Won't have to deal with it that long. Oh, why would you get married anyway? Shit, the coach is coming. No, wait. I think he's just talking on the phone outside. Y yeah, I'd be mad at OJ if he didn't kill him. Fuck these bitches, man. Does he not know he's still at work? The fuck I gotta meet girls at a bar for? I teach gym. My students are way easier. I don't think he knows anything. See, I can't decide what's more exciting. Cheating on my wife or buying a shotgun and blowing her fucking head off. <laughs> Who could he possibly talk about all this with? Hey, hey, for a pastor, you got a shit ton of fully automatic weapons. I can't listen to this. We need to go. Where? Anywhere but here? Hopefully somewhere that doesn't have a middle-aged pervert screaming about how much he likes killing Coach women. is very... Huh. I might have Very well-adjusted. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember when the Jets had a white quarterback? You really think we should hide in the no. principal's office? I mean, it's kind of the last place you'd expect to look for kids skipping. That's true, but are we just going to sit here till the bell rings? We go through her drawers and see what's up with her. You're going to go through her stuff? So not worth it. Would probably just be like pens and folders. I don't think so. No way with her. You think she's smuggling something? Let's see. All I know is a woman who shows off that much cleavage at work is into some wild shit. Yeah. I disagree, but what? Is she going to have child porn in there? She's not a man, Jekka, so no. Yeah, that's true. Why do they always bring it to work? That domestically beats me. I have no fucking clue. So what could a female principal possibly have then? I just feel like she'd be into Satan worship, or at the very least have a sex diary. A Miss Lynn sex diary would be horrifying. She's like mm. a teacher. We say that about Stephen King books. We still read those. Dear diary, <coughs> hot candle wax hurts so good. Oh god. No, it'd probably be like a thesaurus of words for good. Yeah, she probably sex with perfect grammar. My husband showed an exquisite exhibition of lust for me. Husband, <coughs> she would never be married. Marriage is for ugly people. Oh shit. Step aside, girls. There's a perfectly good reason for why we're in here. Sorry, but we'll have to talk about this later. We have a bit of an emergency. Is it a fire? Do we need to go? No, one of the students is having a seizure. Oh, oh fuck. God. Yeah, they really gotta fix that ceiling light flicker. It wasn't the lights. A student had an allergy to something, and now they're having a fatal reaction on the floor. Totally oh, shit. Been there. Not a seizure, though. Yes, hello? I have a student who needs immediate medical attention. We think it's a seizure, oh, and we need an ambulance ASAP. Oh, Kyla. Isn't an ambulance ride like $5,000? Yeah, Fat Joe flexes the most on his way to cardiac surgery. What caused it? He took an unprescribed medication. I, I think he said it was Adderall before he passed out. Oh, fuck. Hold on a sec. What is it? Uh, well... Nothing. We just realized we gotta get to class. See you later, Miss Lynn. Good luck with Kyler. Yes, the front exit is always unlocked. Wait, how did you know it was Kyler? <laughs> uh, hold on, guys. I forgot my big golf oh, job. CMT. Hey, do you know how Kyler passed out? Is he a friend of yours? Not really. Um, he's like my boyfriend. Sorry, girls, but we can only divulge medical information with family members. Family? He's my brother. You said he was your boyfriend. Can he not be both? He shouldn't be both. Will you <coughs> stop judging her Swedish heritage and just tell us? So, essentially, his body shut down to the point where his lungs are barely <laughs> functioning. If we didn't get him sooner, he could have lost a lot of brain cells. I didn't know five was a lot. But do you know exactly what caused it? We won't know anything until we get him to the hospital for a toxicology report. Since you're family, would you like to ride along in the ambulance with us? This must be very hard for you. Nah, it's okay. I don't care that much. Um, okay, so if that's it, I have very pressing matters to tend to. Where is my big gulp jug? <coughs> Are they just gonna wait for him to get that? Yeah, I see Kyler in the back there. They're not driving off. You don't think they can, like, stomach pump the pills and they, find fingerprints no. on them, right? No way. I don't think so. Cool. Yeah, I don't care if he dies. I just don't want to be held responsible. Yeah, same. Thank God, Nicole. Do you think we should go to class now so this doesn't look suspicious? Yeah, we should change, too, to screw up his story if he tries snitching on us. Good call. Where are you going? We gotta get our story straight. Wait. There's... there's no odd class. Wait. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing. Oh no, it's just, it's, that's oh, the hey, same. Nicole. Damn it. Oh no, it's because Kyler was in art class. Right. Let's... Let's, let's, uh, let's give him Xanax. I got a Xanax, it's a pink one. 
Whatever, it's tiny, but it'll do something, right? You're just gonna have to find out. Can you not be a stuck-up bitch about every single little thing? Why are you complaining? You got your pill, go! Fine, bitches. Can I listen to Coldplay on my iPod. And Coldplay isn't gay, either. <laughs> what is wrong with him? I don't know, but I'm really mad I like that he's so nearly done. Now. Why? We're just exhausting on the and the vending machine's too far away now. Why did I decide to skip in school? We could have done something cooler than this. I still got the Addies in my Ziploc. I would, but I just gave my last Xanax. If I don't take the Adderall with something to mellow me out, I'm gonna be grinding my teeth all day. Have you tried weed with it? Marijuana's for people who talk like ninja turtles. Girls, we're not talking about illicit activities, are we? Like no, relations with children? getting fucked up in illicit activity. But yeah, so what's up? I should ask you the same. Class is in session, but you're in the courtyard. Oh yeah, we have a truncated schedule. Really now? I haven't been made aware of this. Good. Yeah, they gave us one because we have issues. I don't think it's mentioned uh, any Just to be special. clear, what exactly does truncated mean? Like the definition? Yes. It's, uh, well, our next period back is English, so we could tell you then. Such a shame you girls get into so much trouble with bright futures ahead of yourselves. Come with me. Why do you always say it like oh, that? Oh, shit. Let me try something a little different here. Do you girls have thoughts and feelings for one another? Uh, uh I think Jekka's kind of spoiled. And I feel like Nicole's a bitch. Not quite what I was looking for. It seems that almost every time either of you are in trouble, you're always together. Is there something between the two of you that you may not realize? What does any of that even mean? Well, He's asking if we're lesbians. Yeah. Oh, you just love that, wouldn't you? Now, please, there's no need for contextual assumption. We could say the same to you. Be mindful of your venomous commentary. In my professional opinion, I believe it would be helpful for the both of you to trial oh, some boy. sort of affection to clear the tension between you. Trial affection? Are you telling us to make out in front of you? No, I'm asking you to physically express how you feel about one another in the safety of this judgment-free okay. room. Okay, fine. Pat on the back. Good job, champ. Can we go now? Nicole, will you please refrain from being intellectually and emotionally dishonest? What does any of that mean? Dude, this isn't American Pie. You can't just get hot girls to tongue kiss in front of you. Yeah, you at least have to pay us. I'm afraid you're only hurting yourselves in fighting this exercise. Who the fuck lets you work here? Hope I'm not interrupting anything serious. No, this is pretty fucking serious. Uh, what can I help you with, Principal? If I could borrow your help for a moment, there's a student entirely passed out in the hallway. Uh, oh, oh my. Of course I could help. Who of is course it? he's it's really Kyler. interested. I, I found him out on the floor, unconscious. I know CPR. <laughs> I remember my first Xanax. But you gave him a pink one. Aren't those tiny? Yeah, but if he's never done it before, it hits really hard. He's like six feet tall. You wouldn't pass out over a pink Xanax, Nicole. Am I a doctor now? I'm like a backpack pharmacist at best. How would I know? What if he found a Percocet and took them both? Can that kill you? I think we should ask. Shit. Uh, hold on, guys. I forgot my big gulp jug. Hey, do you know how Kyler passed out? Is he a friend of yours? Not really. Okay. Um, he's like my boyfriend. Sorry, girls, but we can only divulge medical information with family members. D okay, the yeah. delivery of this is good. You said he was your boyfriend. Can he not be both? He shouldn't be both. Will you stop <laughs> judging her Swedish heritage and just tell us? So, essentially, his body shut down to the point where his lungs are barely functioning. If we didn't get him sooner, he could have lost a lot of brain cells. I didn't know five was a lot. But do you know exactly what caused it? We won't know anything until oh, we get okay, him to the it's, hospital it's, it's for the toxicology. It's the same. Good call. Where are you? Okay, sir. So the only thing we got out of that was that they're gay. Sir. So Damn it. What are other options? Hang out at home. I think it's our last one. It's our last fruit. You, you wanna watch Mythbusters? <laughs> it's like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you gonna do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. <laughs> So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We Aww. literally just left school to avoid men who go, This is true. Where the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. 
Okay, well, you hate your mom and your brother and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a Damn. year. How are she you addicted? Have, vapes. have an alternative? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if he ran a nursing home. <laughs> this might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug oh, dealer come movie. On. I don't know, the ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Great options. All right, let's see. Let's do a I line think of pills mom's could pills. Be a lot more fun than you're expecting. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What, are we gonna snort polio meds? <laughs> Don't they have a vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. Oh, that's My great. mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like Australian 20 deal. years. I don't know if she could even function without my dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Ugh. Yeah, after the mom jeans, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks, now I have to think about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. Why does it hit so fast when you start it? Fuck. Doesn't Vicodin always hit like that? I never tried it. No, it takes like an hour when you take it like a pill. Wow, prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does a little at first, but then just creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. Okay, the odd style has shifted. Now crushing up pills. <laughs> what the fuck? How does your mom function like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Oh yeah, my. that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like, like, like none of their business shit it's really hitting now. Oh yeah, I feel it too. It's like Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You wanna watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. We might have something left to fix that. Why the fuck do you wanna watch Mythbusters <laughs> so bad? Uh, I don't know, it's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. You wanna try a mystery pill? Okay, I'm not no. even looking at the label, but I'll idea. crush it up. Mystery pill? What if don't, it hurts Don't do me? that. Dude, you're viked up, you're good. All right, fuck it, line it up. <laughs> Is it good? Oh my god, oh my god, what did I do? I don't feel anything. Really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Met Metroprolol. Generic for Betalock. Betalock? It should say what it's for, right? It says, use for high blood pressure or tightness of chest. Oh shit. Let me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? A chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Miss that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How wound up is your mom to always need these? You don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you, too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? I think you're missing the point of a mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, you She's pass not gonna out. be fine. Oh, I feel like a guy's told me that before. Ugh, chest pains. One pill left just fuck. to get up these stairs. The women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh, shit. Hey, Mom. Um, we were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. Shit. I don't have time for excuses. Just where's my beta lock? Beta lock. Um, what do you need that for? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Why is the bottle empty? Oh, my fucking God. Uh, Jekka was having a heart attack, too. Oh, God. Shit. It's getting dark. Call 911. Okay, Mom. Mom? Oh. What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? Shit. Okay, well, Jack is alive. So, how was the funeral? Fuck. When is expected. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. 
That's somehow not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Because how does this lead to other endings? No, there's a fucking trust fund and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to LA or anything. Nicole, this Wait, how does this lead to anything else? Question, but uh did you cry at all after your mom died? I Wait, no. But I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously need to be on something. I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. Shouldn't you go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this going to be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? Can it be both? <laughs> I'm going to class where you headed, Nicole. Wait, what? I... Wait. What, what happens now? Uh, our mom is dead. Wait. How How does this continue? I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right Those now. Those never oh, shows hey, up. Nicole, you over here too? Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You there. Wait. <laughs> Nicole, so nice of you. I'll pray you. Your cause, your sponsor for the community service hours. You had two weeks to set. Okay, so there's just no no option to go home. Ouch. Well, I. I'm just saying no of that. Yeah. Huh. Well. Let's smoke cigarettes. Why is smoking indoors so bad anyway? Because it makes the carpet smell like cigarettes. But it smells good. Cigarettes are like air fresheners. They make you look cool too. I feel like a doctor in an 80s movie. Yeah, take a fat ass drag before you tell a mother of three she has cancer. Like, sorry, yes, bitch. Don't, I'm just don't living over here. A single pill. Pill. Never heard of her. I'm so glad we could do this. It's so hard to smoke in front of the school now. What happened? So my perfect time to go out and do it was like 9, 9.30. And in the last few weeks, the fucking counselor is always out there trying to talk to me. Oh, but no. Like, there are schools is crazy. It also is apparently an American thing. And also, yes, there's a decent chance everyone here is too nerdy to experience a lot of this. Because I do know there's a lot of bush raids, so people did a lot of molly in high school, so... I was not a part of those. My friend's heavy mother did suggest I go, but I didn't because I was a goody two shoes. So yeah, this stuff happens. It's just that most people here are very nutty. You're in trouble? No, that's why it's weird. It's like little small so talk, commenting on my outfit. You're too pretty to smoke. It just ruins my whole morning now. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And no matter where you are, he always finds you. Does he use the dress code to hit on you? Literally every time. That looks a little low cut for school. Looks right down the titties. Yeah, when they catch you alone, they savor the fuck out of that good Samaritan stare. Like, how are you this horny at your job? Go look at porn on your work computer Jesus. and get fired for it later. And he's fully aware of the leverage game, too. Exactly. I'm the cool counselor. You can smoke but as soon as I tell the principal he's flirting with me, he'll immediately rat. Wow, so it's either don't smoke or smoke and get your titties stared at. Easily, the Shame. second one. I literally can't function without this now. I still haven't found a drug where I function. It's like you turn 12 and you can't have anything perfect anymore. 
What the hell are you guys doing in here? Oh shit! Uh, doing what? I don't know what you're talking about. You see all the smoke yes, in the here? Mom said you can't smoke in the house. Mom also said move the fuck out. You're 27, but I guess that didn't register either. As if. Like I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't know the basement was your video game office. You happen to sleep in seven nights a week. There office he is. Sleep seven nights a week. Working hard. I don't sleep there every night. Okay, I got other places to be and shit. Since when are you so defensive about living in the basement? I thought you liked it. I'm not defensive, and I don't even sleep there. Oh, I know why. What? You're trying to look cool because there's a girl here. No. It's the cigarettes. They make me look hot. Look, all I did was come up here starving for lunch, and now my appetite's ruined because of how bad it smells in here now. Yeah, I never want to eat after I smoke either. Me too. Cigarettes are actually kind of healthy. <laughs> Newport's my new personal trainer. Do whatever the fuck you want because I'm snitching hard, bro. So not the way to win me over. Shh, come on. Can't you just go back in the basement and play with your toys? Video games are not toys. That's it. I'm calling mom. Uh, okay, okay, wait. This better be good. Video games are not toys. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Socially sacrifice Jacka. Use his obesity against him. What does that mean? Uh, let me Let's get the smoke odor spray in my room. You guys just chat while I'm gone. But oh. yeah, uh, it's an office. Oh. In the basement? It's a basement office. Yeah. Right. So so you hang out a lot? I guess. Doesn't everybody? Oh, well, you know, some people get busy with, with school and stuff. Are you in school? Taking a hiatus, kind of. Was working on my master's in game design. Of course. Where was that? DeVry. Kind of under the radar. Not really. They're on TV every day. But yeah, all that, all that stuff's kind of boring. You like hanging out here? Not right now. Because even if Nicole isn't around, you can still come here if you oh, want. God. I like hanging out. You want to hang out with a high school girl by yourself? How old are you? 20, uh, 27. But it's just a number. Like, whatever. Stop I saying like numbers. You Please. like numbers? Yeah, yeah, numbers are cool. Fucking math and shit. Math, yeah. What's 48 divided by 4? Oh, shit. Um, the, uh, 12. It's 12, right? Yeah, that's right. Cool, yeah. Why, why do you ask? Because when you learn how to solve that, I wasn't even alive. <laughs> Tabloids are such a guilty pleasure. Zac Efron gay? My condolences to the hoes. What the fuck is this? A bedroom? You really left me with your brother to go up here and read a magazine? I didn't think you'd stay down there that long. Cause I thought you were coming back with a smoke spray? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I just disassociate. Oh god. Do you even know what that means? No, but I heard a girl say it once. Sounded like a good excuse. You have no idea how awkward that was. I was hearing music yeah. down there. I thought you were having fun. No, he just put on a bunch of techno music. And then he got mad after I called it techno. <laughs> Breakbeat. I was about to break the fucking stereo before I came up here. Okay, so he talked to you and played some <gasps> shitty music. What's the big deal? Not Your brother was hitting on me, Nicole. Seriously? He was asking me to come over even when you weren't here. What's that sound like to you? Sounds like he wants to score. And you went up in your little room and let it happen. I can never come here again. It's too awkward now. That's a little dramatic. He's in the basement most of the time anyway. But what if he comes up? It's just weird now. So you're just never coming back? Unless you kill your brother? No. But then I gotta go to jail. Don't even stress over it. I don't really think I want to hang out anymore anyway. Oh, Are you shit. serious? You get hit on by gross weird guys all the time. Yeah, but after that, they're blocked out of my memory. If I have one who's always at my friend's house, I can't do that anymore. It's like a Jewish girl marrying a neo-Nazi. She'll never not think about the Holocaust. You are being so dramatic right now. It's like you don't even fucking care. Okay, bye, Nicole. I'm done. Wait, that were is you actually like... On the dramatic <sighs> side. Camel Crush, the most Ouch. interactive cigarette. <laughs> Nine, ten in the morning. So far, so good. Jessica, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Enjoying yourself out here yet again? I guess. You guess? Is everything okay? Jack is free. Oh no, everything's okay. Good. And if it ever isn't, you know I'm always open to talk about it. Uh, totally, yeah. Thanks. By the way, you're looking beautiful today as always. I hope your vice here won't tamper with that. Got it covered, don't worry. So, what have you been up to over the weekend? Um... I downloaded the Carter 3 off LimeWire. <coughs> oh, I see. Is that a movie? I'm not familiar with the first two Carters. It's an album. Right. Are you liking it so far? Doesn't everybody? 
Well, hopefully they could play some oh, of it at homecoming this, this year is so... if it's school appropriate. Oh. Yeah, if I'm even going. Now, you wouldn't be having trouble finding a date, would you? Excuse me? It's just that smoking habit of yours oh, might fuck. leave a smell that could put the boys off. Really don't think it puts any guy off. Well, in any event, if you ever need to change to get the smell off, you're right. always welcome to use my office. Why wouldn't I just use the locker room? The gym teachers would catch that smell immediately and bombard you with questions. Ew. Now in my Ew. office, it would be our little secret. Ew. High school can be very hard, so it helps to have an adult who really understands you. Totally, yeah. Uh, so is that it? Now you're not trying to get yeah, rid the, of the me, voice are actor, you? It's very okay, good. I never want to do that. <laughs> just playing around. Uh, but before I go, I just need to remind you of the school's dress code once again. What about it? I'm seeing your shirt alone oh, has a few infractions. You get a good look. Bitch! Hey, what's that for? For reading your little anime book in front of me, you fucking Lego collector. I already said this. It's called manga. I'm gonna call your mom and tell her sorry she'll never have grandkids. What? No, <coughs> don't kick me down there. I don't need to, because the more Mario trivia you know, the less women want to fuck you. And you know a whole lot of Mario trivia, don't you, Jeffrey? Not <laughs> the Mario the trivia. Canon of the Mushroom Kingdom. You are gonna fuck so many kids in your 30s. Video games and anime make me a kid like her, huh? That's like asking how does heroin make you a drug addict? I'm getting real tired of you picking on me. It won't be so fun when the shoe's on the other foot. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me in Skechers? Well, um, uh... I'll take the gun you're saving for the cheerleaders and shoot you in the fucking face with it! All right, that is quite enough, Nicole. Jesus. What? What'd I do? What I've heard in your verbal attack on Jeffrey is very troubling and downright heinous. Yeah, you forgot everything they said in the bullying Shut assembly. Shut the fuck up about the bullying yeah, assembly. Those work. Confronted by a staff member and not even an ounce of remorse, this he is how Virginia Tech shutting. happened, Nicole. Wait, do you mean he's doing the shooting? Because you should probably talk to him then. Go to class, Jeffrey. I'll deal with this troubled student myself. Hold Thanks. On. You've always had the backs of us students. This is mandatory counseling, Nicole. You'll be in my office every day for the rest God of the year until you show improvement. Fucking every day? For how long? You'll be excused from your classes for one hour. This used to be my break time, but now I'll be seeing you in my office 9 a.m. sharp starting tomorrow. Is that clear? Dude, that's well, so early. Well, that's is that good. clear? Sure, whatever. Now off to class, both of you. How is that rest of the year punishment? Um, what did Jeffrey do? Nothing. Wait, then why did you... You can smoke by yourself again, right? <gasps> That's the oh. nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. It's kind of sad. Do you want to hang out later? I could hang out now. Let's get oh, the fuck out of fuck. here. I really can't miss class today. Are you going somewhere anyway? <sighs> and shit, there we go. God, they deserve each other. In a really fucked up, codependent, toxic way. I fully expect the next game is going to be a lot... Hopefully, we get to be Jacko. That'll be fun. She's doing it because she's manipulative. Well, yeah. Every single person in the game is manipulative, including the pet pedophile she just saved her from. Okay, let's see. Use his obesity against him. What about lunch? What about lunch? Don't call mom. We could just go get you a pizza and, like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, you can't miss lunch. You're gonna be so hungry. Oh, say it like that again. That's hot. God damn it. Dude, we'll look the other way on your minor fetish and get you a pizza, okay? Does he have a major fetish? No, his <laughs> major fetish is a minor fetish. <laughs> What's the fetish? I told you, a minor fetish. I know it's a minor fetish. What's the fetish for? Miners. Like guys that did coal? Not those miners. So shitty baseball players? What? No. Then what's the fetish? Um, he's into girls under the age of 18. Oh, that's not good. Why are we getting him pizza? Are you guys actually <laughs> gonna get me food? Yeah, sure, we'll pick it up somewhere. Let's go. Wait, I didn't even tell you what I wanted on the pizza! What is it? Okay, uh, pepperoni, ham, 
bacon, meatballs, sausage, and sliced sausage too. So like the crumbled American sausage with the more Italian sliced sausage, chicken, buffalo chicken, extra cheese. Is this a pizza or a grocery list? So you got all that? Uh, yeah. Could we borrow a 20? Oh, yeah, here you go. Mom left me extra pizza money today anyway. At 27. Okay, we'll be right back. My Fucking God. Fucking dumb bitches. I had McDonald's in my room the whole time. <laughs> now I have two lunches. Uh, why didn't we call first? This is gonna take forever. Why did we even go to the barcade for a pizza? Why not? They have pizza. No, but we could have gone to Joe's or Mama Lucia's. Mama Lucia. Yeah, what's your point? It's gonna be shitty here. We're in the Beltway. The pizza's shitty everywhere. That makes sense. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Jekka. Oh, it's Kyle. Who the fuck are you? He was like... Uh, I'm Kyle. Once. I sat behind you in French last year. French too now? No, French the language class, remember? I let you copy off my test. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I didn't think I'd run into anyone here. Are you guys skipping too? Maybe. Why are you skipping? Uh, just needed to blow off some steam, play a couple games here and stuff. You he, skip to play video games? You That's really horrible. cool and would never discourage girls from having sex with you. Well, why are you skipping? You get fucked up? Why else? Cool, yeah. So, you wanna hang out? Do I wanna hang out, or do I wanna go out? Uh, both? I don't know. No, I don't even know you. We had class last year. You've gone out with guys you don't know before. How would you know that if you only had one class with her? Yeah, what the fuck? Forget that. Come on, what did those other guys have oh, that shit. I didn't? They were older and more attractive. So it's all about looks with you? It's not just looks, they could buy me alcohol too. But I let you copy off my test, you got this a B so plus. Close. What, are we fucking over B fuck. pluses now? At least lie and say it was an A. If it was an A, would you have considered it more? What do you think the answer is? Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know, literally don't be you. Kill your mom, even I'd go out with you then. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, actually, then you'd be halfway cool. You guys can't mess around like that. I'm not messing around. Yeah, we're not. It's either me or your mom. Pick one. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, guys. Oh, I am serious. Kill your mom and I'm all yours. Uh, oh, damn, I left my credit card in the car. Credit card? Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. Wait, Visa, Discover, what's the credit limit? Uh, oh, no, it's like the token credit card you swipe to play the games here. This is why you're a virgin. <laughs> it's like one step forward and 12 steps back. Oh my god, I know. You were convincing there for a second. I was? Kill your mom and I'm all yours. That was actually hot. I'm all yours. Perfect timing. Is the box two colors or is that grease? We got the pizza! Fuck, I forgot to buy cigarettes. Now you remember. Wait, you're not old enough to buy any? No, the little gas stations don't even card you. There's one right off the oh, beltway, but we didn't go back that way. They are not paid enough about? to get That one cards you. They carded me. Was it the Indian guy? Yeah. He'll always card you. Go on the days when the Mexican guy's working there. How the fuck would I know what days he's working there? When you have a car, you'll know. Dude, where is he? The grease is gonna get solid. Hello? What if he's in the shower? Good one. Were there this many scuffs on the carpet before we left? Holy shit, what happened? Wait, his laptop's open out here. Is that usual? Uh, oh god, not with 20 porn tabs open. Literally 20? 1, 2, 3, huh? 16. Who needs that much porn at once? People with more game systems than exes. Every tab is a different fetish site, too. Like what? Uh, jigglyjihadist.com, <laughs> below the border, latinas.net. Sure Everyone in this game is unlikable. Hi, it's your one of you. Thanks for this 23 months. What an incredible time to come in on. Thank you so much. Asiangirldynasty.org I didn't think your brother would be into such wow. racially charged porn. I didn't think my brother would be into women at all. Wait. Oh god, what? After those, there's a bunch of milfdaycare.com kidnappedbabysitters.html barelylegal.gov and almostlegal.co.jp I've heard of barely legal. What the hell is- Holy fuck, too young! What is she, Asian? Oh god, that kind of too young!
Young, the Russian roulette of internet history. Are we in the system now? I'm not a lawyer. How the fuck should I know? If you only look for a second, five second rule, right? That's your food on the floor, not child porn. Oh my god. What are you girls doing here? Why is there a police officer? What are officer? you doing here? What the fuck? We made an fuck? arrest at this residence ten minutes ago, but forgot to secure the evidence. You arrested my brother? On possession of child pornography. If you'll excuse me, I'll need that laptop. Wait! What? Were you looking at this almost legal website while I was gone? It was just left open like that, we swear! I don't know. You girls have a lot of explaining to do. Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh. Lie. Uh, I think you're the one who needs to explain. He is? Yeah, because we might have seen the screen, but look at the webcam above it. I see it, but I don't follow. We're both still in high school, and you walked in on us shooting our own child porn video. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure seeing it live is way more illegal than seeing it on a screen. Caught right on video, barging in on the set. Pathetic. I've never heard such BS in my life. You were standing here fully clothed. Yeah, because you walked in on the start of the video. Right? What's porn without buildup? You had a pizza in your hand when I walked in. Oh, shit. Well, no, because... I was playing the butch pizza delivery girl. And I was playing the lipstick lesbian with no money for the pizza. Yeah, and I'm like, bitch, how are you gonna pay for this pizza? Then you walked in and ruined the whole scene. Now we gotta do it all over again. You're basically forcing us to make child porn twice. That's fucked up. So go ahead, arrest us, because there's gonna be some spicy outtakes played in court. Oh, God. Look, girls, why don't you just give me the laptop and we all Holy forget shit, we saw works. anything? So you can destroy the evidence against you? No, thanks. Yeah, get the fuck out of here before we call the other Wait, cops. Wait, why do they know why lipstick they lesbian? I'm like, oh, shit. God, that was close. Okay. So if he's in jail, you want to eat this pizza with me? I'd rather not have gout. I also didn't take the laptop. So then it got to the part where he's like, what do you mean, you people? And I just turned the movie off and went to sleep. Why did oh, that work? yeah, that's... Wow. Robert Downey should get back on heroin and his movies wouldn't suck anymore. Right? Yeah. Am I boring you? What? No, it's just like, I'm exhausted from yesterday. Yeah, that was like an anomaly. Holy shit. Was it? Or the week before that? Or the week before that? Why do our lives have to be so fucking eventful? <laughs> that's a legit question. Shit. Do you believe in God? Do you? No. Me neither. You don't think- We are not going to church. I don't know that number. I wonder oh, who wait. this is. Let me guess. Bomb threat rapist murder guy. Oh my god. Yeah, wait. Hello? Did they just, like, Hello? not notice the that the brother got arrested for child porn? I knew it. Because- You have a collect call from- it's your brother, bitch, pick up. <laughs> you accept these charges. Press one. Yeah, whatever. Nicole, why is not mom picking her phone up? I don't know. Call her up and ask her. All right, whatever. Look, I need you to do me a oh, major solid. Fuck. You still have that pizza? Maybe? Why? Okay, so I need you to take the pizza and bake it inside of a cake and then have the cake sent to me. You want me to smuggle you a pizza through a cake? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll just let you have a pizza. Well, no, there's an outside gifts limit, and if you bake it inside, I can have the cake and pizza. That's genius, right? Holy fuck, he's fat. Hey, okay, bye. Wait, wait, is that your blonde friend? Yeah, why? I met someone in here who wants to talk to her. Hold on a sec, okay? I'm scared. That's gonna be a really expensive phone call. Thanks. Uh, hello? Wait, who Kyle? This? It's me, Kyle. Kyle who? We were at the barcade yesterday, remember? I oh, shit. Yeah? So, I thought it over, and I killed my mom. So oh, fuck. You want to go out in ten years when they let me out? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, come on, you promised! You can't back out now! What do you think, Nicole? I'm thinking how the fuck are you getting out in ten years? You want to hear how I killed her? Would that turn you guys on? <laughs> what the fuck? Hang up! You said you'd be all mine! All mine! That was cool. I've never felt worse in my life. Dude, don't worry about it. The fact he followed through means his mom was probably a total bitch anyway. I guess that's possible. And look on the bright side. He killed her for you. You're technically the hottest girl in school now. You're kind of right. There might be a Lifetime movie about this where Miley Cyrus plays you too. Ew, fuck that bitch. I don't want her to play me. Then who? Uh, I'll think it over in class. You going this time? So, I believe that that may have, we know, bribed the cop. Not to change the subject, but you look kind of hungry, dude. Oh my god. How can someone look hungry? Yeah, these sirens are fucking crazy. Work, you know? 
Why don't you go ahead and pick up your evidence and take this pizza with you? What's on the pizza? Everything but vegetables. You wouldn't be trying to bribe a police officer, would you? No. Are you asking to assert your morals or asking to see if we'll up the ante? Let's just say the law is written in pencil. <laughs> what else would you have for me? Jesus Christ. Fifty dollars. Cash. I'm not risking my pension over fifty dollars. No, no. Also, um... Uh, old white guy. Uh, I have my dad's World War II DVDs. Now you're talking. <laughs> Keep going. You drive a hard bargain. We also have the complete series of Sex in the City on VHS. What kind of yuppie garbage is- Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did I say that? I meant home improvement. Oh, now we're talking. Tim Allen, legend. She's also oh. got this old camera. It still shoots and everything. It's rolling right now. Yeah, you could pawn that. Then the $50 turns into $57. Interesting. However, you'll need to have way more than that if you want me to risk my this pension. This is not working. Damn. What if it was $58? I found the lens cap. Again, lens cap or not, you still need to have way more than that. What if I put on the table something I don't have? What's that? A gag reflex. Oh, hell yeah. Why didn't you say so? God damn it. What? I thought you felt bad for a minor offering head and just leave us alone. Minor? I thought you were 18. Thank God no one saw me agree to that. We have you on camera agreeing to that. <laughs> oh, damn. You're fucked, dude. Sorry. How was I supposed to know how old you are? You're a literal cop. You're supposed to ask for ID. Still want to keep that pension? Okay, okay. Let's not do anything hasty now. I, I don't need anything. You're both free to go. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, wait. The fuck do you want, chomo cop? Can I still have the pizza? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Came for evidence? Left with pizza. What are we going to do when we're adults and can't pull that card anymore? I'm pretty sure a cop getting bribery head is illegal regardless of what age you are. So then it got to the part where he's like, what do you mean, you people? And I just turned the movie off and went to sleep. Oh, yeah, that's... wow. Robert Downey should get back on heroin and his wow. movies wouldn't suck anymore. Right? He yeah. also still left the evidence. Am I boring you? What? No, it's and, just And like... that now... I think... I think that's everything. Done that one. No, fuck. Done that one. Gotten every ending. We've gotten the sex addicts to fight. We skipped school with the violent old girl that was super gay for us, but lied about and then said decided to just do her Romeo and Juliet suicide. Come to think of it, every side route and also main route leads back to every woman in the game being gay. But being very closeted about it and doing fucked up shit instead of just being happy with themselves. Huh. I, I feel like there's a message. I, I feel like there's a message to that. Um, yeah, we've, we've kind of... That, that's everything. Yeah, just a lot of be gay, do crimes. That's, that, that's everything. I... I'm, I mean, that was, that was great. You yeah, got the video, we got the video. The, the McDonald's watch for some reason. That was incredible. I can't wait for the next one. Wow. Yeah, and our, our mom dying was not an ending next one there is next one in a couple years it seems that they did kind of tease it and they also did release an animation about jeffrey being a school shooter so yeah yeah our mum dying and our brother being arrested for being a pedophile are both b plots huh thank you golgrim for the fuller Glad you enjoyed it. 
the field trip is over. Yes, so we return to less deranged content. Remember, this game is a joke. Never take anything seriously. It was 2009. But yeah, here's a Discord. Here's my Twitter. Here's my YouTube. Follow me in all of those. I will probably also stream tomorrow night. And uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. It's gonna be great. Yeah, we've, we finished that in two streams. That's a pretty good record. It is 2 a.m. So, I do, I do need sleep. But this is lovely. Needless to say, I, I do not endorse any of the content in this stream. Except being gay, that's actually pretty fine. 200 thanks they, for the stream. I, Sleep honestly, well, totally normal teacher lady. Thank you. Honestly, I think most of the problems could be solved if they if they just didn't feel so weird about it and do all the crazy shit instead. I I guess one of the messages is that repression leads to fucked up crazy people. And how you should get a therapist who isn't a pedophile. That that would help these people a lot. What what else? What else? Um Huh. Oh wait, yeah, we never saw what happened with like the principal and and Nicole's mother. Because they they were flirting on the phone in, in the first game. We, we never got to see, like, any. Damn it. Is it anime? Right. I am looking forward to that. Yeah, kill your mum. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that, that bit was fucking insane. Anyways, thank you all for coming. Let's, let's raid. Let's see, there's... Oh, Whiskey's live. I do love Whiskey. What's Lumi doing? Lumi is doing Factorio. I also do love Whiskey, so... Let's raid. I, oh wait, Whiskey hasn't started. Oh, wait. Wait, disappeared. Oh shit, Whiskey's- okay, Whiskey's stream is not showing up for me. Damn it. Uh... Sure. I- I guess I can do Lumi then. Weird. I, I guess Twitch at 2am is odd. Let's see how you spell Anakolumi. She's alive for you? I- the fuck? Whiskey literally is not showing up in my, my sidebar. That's so weird. Okay. Anyways, our raid message. Uh, 2009 was a great year when nothing bad happened. There we go. That's the message. En enjoy. Lumi is gay. I don't think Lumi is gay, but she she did do she did do Warhammer painting. Yeah, that's that's the good raid message. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming. Enjoy Lumi. She's doing Factorio, which is a significantly less nihilistic game. In fact, you are beating the elements to build a spaceship. It's actually quite optimistic, and I reckon you guys could use like a dose of optimism. All right, good night. Enjoy Lumi. Behave, behave. And I will see you in likely tomorrow's stream. Okay, it's going. Goodbye. It's a real bed bug infestation. It's really gross, bed bugs. Paris. This should be a wrap song. Ew. Bed box in Paris. 
it's just not it's not just bed bugs in Paris. No, but it's like terrible in Paris right now. 